one I'll know I'm going to really enjoy, too. That's a player. He's got a duo. Oh, shit. That was a PMC that Raw just dropped right there. There's another one. Where's this man? Just slumped that dude right there. Oh, there now. he is. He's prone. Oh! <laughs> Bro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> is there another? Yo, imagine getting one tapped by a white name like that. Oh, there's Can a nade. He's in the stairwell. Or he's oh! Did there's he go upstairs? More. Yo, what? There's two more. There's a four man. I think there might have been some team damage there. <clears throat> I think in that chaos, because I think I heard someone healing after he ran one's away. One's on the stairs. One's in by the elevators. Oh, that's a good gun. That's a good. Oh, it's an M700 though. That's tough. I think the one went upstairs. Is that an M700? What yeah, is that? it's an yeah. M700 with a voodoo. Just not used to the stock that it's using. Great nade if they're still in that stairwell. Oh! Oh, well, there's two. Oh, great shots. Oh. Bro. Wow. Let's go! Come wow! On. You got the 7 and 40 in this thing. Yes! <laughs> Yo. Let's go. That just happened, Woo! chat. Let's fucking go, dude. That just fucking happened, dude. Corky, there's the highlight reel. There it is, dude. There, there it is, That's dude. a poor man fucking reported him. That's a clip, bro. <laughs> that's nice a work. Quick report. That's a report. Four no. of them yeah, that's what I just that's said. A report. <laughs> so that's a, all four of them reported him. Oh my god, GG's. <laughs> Yo. God, I'm feeling. It's a two hour account. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, there's another. Oh my what god, there's that? another player. A Run five out. Man? It's a five man. Oh, damn, well, dude. Thank you for coming in, so too. Oh, again. no, shot. There's another one. Yeah. What? Oh, that's a nade. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, I'm not peeking oh. it again. I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm not peeking it again. Oh, he's going to peek it again, though. He's going to fucking do it again. That guy's like role playing being the juice man. What is that? What's up, Ranger? What's up, buddy? Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, man. We're having a good time with it. How's the arena raids going, Chew? Ooh, that scared me. Man's crazy. Oh! Yeah, Ralph we'll stayed here too long. Might be just time to leave. Yeah, I think he needs to dip. I think he's gonna stay for the fight though. Knowing Ralph, yeah, probably. Oh. Did he hit that? I think it would be fun to get you on this, bro. Three hours, no hole, like just as much fun as you can have on a standard account. All right, Your buddy. Game? Good I luck. love to hear it. Good luck. Go smack people up, dude. Let's get something set up, too. Uh, DM either Zane or myself, and we'll get it scheduled. Oh, I'm game. I can't read. Yeah, dude. We'll figure. I'm gonna. D I'll DM you, bro. We'll, we'll, we'll slide in those DMs, dude. Yeah, dude. We'll figure it out. Does have 69 yeah. rubles? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, so I got two more. I think there's. They might be trying to steal Rouse loot. I. Oh. That guy survived. There's up up on the third floor. Did you see that, bag. Katie? I did. Yeah, How a, did he survive that shot, dude? It's got to be a weird hitbox with that curtain. Yeah. He's got two more people here. This must yep. be a two-man that came in. It is. It's a After he team. wiped the four-man. Yeah. <laughs> He's creeping. You can hear the one moving around to his left. He's going to try and sneak his way down this ramp. <sighs> He's just trapped in this corner of the map. This is yeah. literally like where he spawned, and he's just been stuck fighting he's here all raid. Been stuck. It looks like he's retreating now. I don't quite know his thought process here, mm. but given think, the slow walk and the... I think the goal is to rotate, take a different angle. Yeah. Ral's not much to, to leave a fight, usually. You can hear the one on the wood still in the uh, apartment up there. Hit in the back. Guy on his right. Oh, totally different PMC just got rinsed. Ooh. Ooh. A vector, dude. I, 
Vector is just nasty. I love the Vector. I love running a Vector. Look at that scab just eating. <laughs> <laughs> you saw him just like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, he's still gonna he's gonna catch these two trying to come out of here. If they keep trying to push this, I think what they're doing is covering while the one guy scoops loot and they're gonna dip. You can hear him. Oh yeah, they're jumping. They're they're still trying to fight him over there. I don't think that was connected. I should have no, used the sniper. I don't think so either. Yeah, that was a sniper moment for sure. Jumping on his left. Oh, they're right in front of him. Oh, jumping on his left is spooky. Oh, his gun just jammed. Ooh. Watch these. Dude, this is so tense. Did that go under that nade? Yeah. Ooh. One guy died and then he died oh, there. Oh man. Dude. That was such a tough fucking raid. Brother. Good effort. Bro, the, the, the gun jam. The gun, the gun jam. jam bro. Yeah, the, you got the, cucked by that vector. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You would have had him. I think you would have dropped him. I think that guy died there right at the end. He did. He did. Yep, yep. A 6 PMC raid, dude. Crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here like he needs to take this dub and get out for the XP, and then you go, I'm not leaving my loot behind. And I was like, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't leaving without my goodies. <laughs> yeah, like, well, shit. All right. <laughs> dude. Awesome. Well, welcome, everybody, to episode two of uh, the Loot Sack, the standard account challenge. Um, we are here with Ralitar today. Uh, he's... Just a beautiful man, beautiful person. We love having him around. He look at <laughs> look at that smile. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Ralph? How long you been gaming? Uh, How long you been streaming? That kind of stuff. I've been probably playing video games since I'm like four. Uh, all the way back, and then just I played games a lot. I was always into competitive shooters. Like played a lot. I was ranked. I think our team was like fourth in the world for SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. Oh, wow. like we had a whole website and everything, and like we did all this like these meetings, and we won money, and that was like when I was twelve. Yeah, uh, so that's so... like back in the day with Major League Gaming <laughs> Hell and yeah. stuff, right? Uh, it was before Major League Gaming. Oh wow! Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was kind of weird because I was like twelve, and I was like hanging out with like a bunch of college dudes, and we were just like, "Yeah, let's go make some money, dude!" And <laughs> it was kind of cool because uh, I got to learn like a lot of life lessons from people older than me, so it kind of changed my perspective growing up. I can uh, see that. Yeah. And then from there, I just moved through, like, the next game. Like, I remember playing and streaming H1Z1, like, and running into, like, Ninja and, like, Flamehopper and, and playing against those guys. It was cool because, like, I've killed Ninja, seen how he reacted then, seen him rage, and then, like, now I see where he's at. And it's like, cool. I could have, maybe I could have done that. But uh, I tried streaming a bunch on and off when I played Counter-Strike, when I played Apex. I played Apex competitively, made some money off that. Uh, and then I moved in into an apartment, couldn't play any FPS. So for like three years, I was playing no FPS games. Uh, oh, wow. It was awful. So my aim was trash on any FPS game. I came back, I started playing Tarkov in 2022. This is my fifth wipe. Uh, I played Tarkov for probably about a year, and then I started streaming it. So I've only been streaming for a year and like four months, year and something like that. Wow. And yes, you... I'm I'm just a goofy idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe myself. I try to be nice, and I'm just yeah. dumb. Well, I can kind of identify with that a lot. Like kind of same thing. I played a lot of games, you know. And then me, I was on the when MLG.com was a thing. That was when I kind of got into competitive gaming. And so I was on a team. You know, we did that for a while. Same thing, hanging out with people way older than me. Probably people that my mom would have never wanted me to hang out right. with, right? Like, <laughs> if your parents had known. Yeah. Yeah, I used to play <laughs> Call of Duty with this this old, you know, old for me at the time because I was, what, like 13, right, 14. You know, this guy was like, he was in his, like, you know, our age now, right? Like, he was, like, early 30s, <laughs> drunk every, like, just fucking pissed yeah. drunk every time we played together, dude. <laughs> 
His mic sounded like garbage. He was always talking about wanting to fuck our moms, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then oh, I ended yeah. up, you know, same thing. He was like, hey, you know, let's get let's make this team. You know, we played Hardcore Search Destroy and Call of Duty 4, right? Um, and then it just kind of, like, opened up the door for, like, wow, I really love doing this kind of stuff. And then um, always wanted to stream, never tried it, right? And then came back to it with, with Tarkov, right? And mm -hmm. so, you know, you say that, like, you know, you tried streaming in the past, you know, um, some stuff got in the way or whatever. What What do you think is different about the Tarkov community when you started streaming here that's maybe made it... It sounds like... I, I would imagine this is your longest run of streaming, you know, compared to when you tried to do it in the past. So can you maybe talk about, like, what your opinion there or, or maybe what the magic is? Uh, I think a lot of it goes into the mindset when it comes to the streaming. So when I did it in the past, it was just when I had some free time, I'd throw up the stream randomly, did nothing for it. It was just, hey, I'm streaming here, whatever. Um... I did have a pretty good run a few times uh, where it was consistency. So back then I did have, uh, I streamed old school RuneScape and oh, wow, the key yeah. to my success in old school RuneScape was I was very fast through when it released in like 07 scape dropped, old school RuneScape dropped. I was like one of the first to get through a quest line. So there was a lot of attention on me from that. Um, so I just did really long streams there and built it up there, but it was always consistency. Um, right. this time coming around, I made streaming something I did as like kind of my getaway. Uh, I had a lot of different things going on. I was like, I wanted to have a place where I could hang out and have fun and, you know, just make someone else's day a little bit better. Right. So when I came to streaming this time, it was, this is something I'm going to do every night. It's for myself. I want to make it for other people too. I want to make it somewhere we laugh, we joke around, we have fun. We talk about our feelings, um, and just kind of decompress and step away from everything else that life has going on. And I streamed every, I set a schedule, I stuck to it, and I just consistently every day, I started making content elsewhere. Um, I would really just say it, it was consistency and just talking to other people, I feel like made this time different. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened, but here I am. Consistency it's, is definitely the name of the game, right? But yeah, and um, it sounds like you really set out with the goal to create a positive community, which mm -hmm. I see that being. A really successful route for a lot of creators right is that's i mean that's what that's what we want to do that, that that i think should be the goal as content creators is to create this safe space in this community of like-minded people where we can just be ourselves and decompress from the long day right it's it shouldn't be performative right this is who i am i just want to hang out with my friends um, right. i think you know that that genuineness really speaks to people right um and they can kind of you know we're we're all human we can see through bullshit right whether it be in the screen or right in front of our faces and so i think that has a lot to do with it yeah yeah one one of the things that's really interesting to me and kind of what i was touching on there too is like with with tarkov specifically i think this community has like a really high saturation of that mindset um, which I think, you know, in my opinion, makes it like a really um, awesome space to be a part of. You know, is that something that you've kind of seen as well, or what's what's your kind of your thought there? Yeah, I I I don't know what happened, but like I've just met so many wonderful people through Tarkov. Like everyone I've met, you know, there's always not great people, but sure. it feels like, and I, I feel like I have a pretty good meter for that, where I associate people like with the people I trust, and I feel like are good people. I try to always surround myself with good people, but it's like. I I don't know. I just randomly end up these places. People take me in. Like I just get adopted. You know, I'm just kind of <laughs> hanging out. And then next thing I know, I'm playing with someone, and I'm like, yeah, this is fun. And then we hang out, and I, I just get adopted by random people. I don't know what I'm doing. I just end up places, and it's awesome. I literally seen it happen in in Vegas with TwitchCon, oh, yeah. dude. Just yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> it's really amusing to watch because you're so tall. So it's got this like big dude just being adopted by big old groups, and you just kind of like want to pat you on the head, but I can't because I gotta like <laughs> jump up to do it. It's yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys, I, I I hung out with you guys, and then all of a sudden I would just I imagine you guys just see this blob just walk in away, just you and just then you disappear. just see me like, <laughs> like four <laughs> hours later I'm somewhere else, just randomly right. placed. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It just happens. People. It was great. It was great. <laughs> no, we, had a, we had a blast. And that was such a good time meeting everybody from the Tarkov community, right? And getting to feel that vibe firsthand, right? We, we've all met such great people within this community, right? Mm -hmm. And have been able to do great things. I know that we've done a couple of tournaments for charity. Uh, and I know that you've done some stuff for charity as well. Did you want to tell us a little bit about some of the charity work that you've done recently? Uh, I did work with Games for Love. Uh, I think we raised like, I want to say it was like $1,500 for Games for Love, which wow. uh, they help wow. get like 
kids in hospitals who have prolonged stays, they get video game systems to them. Uh, prior to COVID, they would actually get like athletes and pop culture stars. They would come and visit the kids and hang out with them. It uh, helps cover medical bills. It does all this cool stuff for kids. I really resonate with that. We raise a bunch of money for that. Uh, and I also work with Stack Up to connect gaming with veterans and get them in touch with each other, mental awareness with veterans, uh, connecting through gaming communities. Um, and we raised like $1,200 for that. And that's what that's got amazing. the pink hair started. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's and fantastic. I, just, I think it's crazy. I can just be here being an idiot and help people's days and then also help other people. So I I don't know. It's just cool. It, it, it's cool to make a difference one way or another. As someone whose hair has also died because of chat, isn't it wild how much they love doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I originally started as like having no face cam. I was like, yeah. I don't want to stream with a face cam. They're like, we want a face cam. I'm like, all right, <laughs> if you guys do this, we'll do it. And they're like, right, I remember the Mishka mask days, dude. Yeah. I remember those. I used to just be yeah. the man behind the mask. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just, that's fun. And I actually ended up loving the pink hair. You know, we did the pink hair for the charity. And I was like, yo, I kind of... I kind of like vibing with it. Yeah, I'm redoing it in Texas. Yeah, I'm redoing it in Texas. Going pink again. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! I love it. Yeah, dude. Some of the charity work that we've been able to do in this space as well. You know, it's just like um, it really is a very like I said. It's just like the the saturation of like people that want to do good within the Tarkov space. um, It has just been crazy, right? it's, It's humbling even like it's so inspiring there's some there's some people that do amazing things uh with their platforms and that's you know that's i think what we all strive to do is to to reach a point where we can just reach as many people uh as possible and 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 uplift them right Uh, i know that's that's our goal right um it's yeah it's really great to see that um, if we could get some uh, more information about those charities uh, after the show, right? If you want to drop us the links so that we can share those out with people, that would be great. Um, yeah, I can do that. But yeah, we'll just uh, kind of move right along. Yeah, um, well, one of the other things I wanted to talk about too, you know, you in your early days, you did a lot of competitive gaming, right? And that's one of the things that, that Tarkov Space actually has a lot of as well is there's kind of like a thriving um, events community, right? You know, with Evasion, with Hunt Premier, um, with Sicario, you know, there's quite a few groups of people that love to put on, you know, um, events, you know, we're putting on this challenge, you know, a lot of people have their own um, individual challenges that they like to put on or community like games that they host. Um, you know, we've got like Hammer TV with the offline labs and stuff. There's a community based gr- group doing arena stuff now. Um, you want to talk maybe some of your experience with the tournament scene in Tarkov specifically um, and kind of like maybe some of the steps or plans that you have for the future there? uh yeah the tournament scene for me it was something i was always kind of interested in and because competitive gaming but it's kind of nerve-wracking in tarkov because it's not like other competitive shooters where you know you have a lot of opportunities Mm it's it you go through your opportunities pretty quick especially like rule restrictions and everything so i ended up doing the hunt premier tournament on labs and it was my first one it was like my third wife i ended up getting 20th against like some big people and it's just been yeah, me progressively too. getting better <laughs> yeah you whooped my ass with that axmc yeah. 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 i remember that tournament yeah it was really really I took impressive a cannonball to, to the that. chest <laughs> i I, uh, I killed um exfil camper i killed yeah. him i took that and then i was just running gunning with the axmc and it was just i got zach i got you i got a couple other people they weren't ready for it yeah um but i've kind of grown and learned from that and ended up like 20th my first uh next tournament i got sixth uh in a duo tournament with sick uh, i got seventh in twitch rivals playing with sick and Stankrat. that was a blast um and then uh the most recent solos i got ninth um and that was like so close like i was in third place until the last raid and then like between me and fourth place there was like three points difference so like i'm slowly super gaining... tight midfield yeah yeah right. i'm slowly gaining more skill sets in playing in the competitive scene and learning how to go, how to manage, how to go fast, how to get things done. Um, right. So I think I'm going to keep swinging harder and harder. And uh, right now, I'm just... Oh, we played in the Evasion tournament, too. The trios with Miss Trash and Sick. I think we got like 12 or something. That. I remember yeah. that one as well. Yeah, yeah. I was I was 60 points off of having the, the single most points scored for one person. So I was like, you know, doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, but it I had think... some really impressive finishes. 
it's been fun. It's I, I live for that stuff. So I, when you guys told me come here, I mean, I mean, that's the uh, name of the game with Tarkov, right? Like the game itself is very challenging. I think most of us that play it a lot, we still, you know, even though we bitch about it, we still enjoy doing the tasks. Um, you know, we like we love the little ding and the dopamine hit of, of completing something. Right. And I think that mm -hmm. um, the tournaments are really fun, too, because especially any of them that do the offline or on the custom servers provided by BSG. Right. Like getting an opportunity to play in an enclosed environment where you know that there's no cheaters. Right. It's all other creators, people that are really good at the game as well. So, you know, that every single kill is you performing, you're, you're playing at the top of your game because everybody else is doing the same. Um, it really makes the game hit on a different level um, that I think once you start playing in the tournaments, it's hard not to want to like look forward to the next one. Um, I think it just, it, you have to have such a different mindset. I've never competed uh, in a competitive Tarkov scenario uh, outside of like the league that we did for it's only when pixels, we first started. Yeah. Right. When we first started, which is, was somewhat competitive, but it was solo runs, you know, points on a, on a leaderboard style thing. It wasn't like go up against them at a private server. You know, everybody goes ham for two hours. I imagine that there's such a different mindset in playing that way, right? You've, you, I mean, every raid is go, 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 go. You don't have time to muse of like, oh, maybe I'll go and look for a boss or maybe I'll hang out by crack house and we'll catch somebody. Like you don't, you don't have time for those musings. You have to know what it is that you're doing and have the next, like the backup plan of A, B, and C all ready to go for different scenarios, right? In order to be successful at those events. It's very impressive to me to watch, you know, somebody that just, you know, like you said, you came in and it was like a third wipe and come in on labs, which first of all, are you kidding me? Labs? Well, I, I, I've been there like three times my entire Tarkov career, right? <laughs> like, I don't, what? <laughs> and, you, and to come out 20th in that, that's really impressive for your first tournament. And you've just gotten better and better and better and better since then. So I'm really excited to see what more you can do in this competitive space and we're getting more tournaments by the day i know you competed in the the streamer challenge as well which you actually did really well in uh you were you were top like 20 percent there until the last couple of days you know when you had some other priorities come up and you couldn't quite finish but yeah i had the internet go out so i was top 13 for the first three days and then on the factory day my internet went out so i lost the whole day so yeah. I ended up giving up. I didn't play the rest of it. I think I still was like 140. Yeah. yeah. I only still retained it. a ton of. Yeah. 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 So as you just imagine, had you continued to be able to push through that, which by the way, that, that challenge was absolutely brutal on everyone that participated <laughs> eight hours a day. Are you freaking kidding me? That's ridiculous. Uh, so just <laughs> kudos for even giving that you're all for the three days. I would have given up too, to be completely honest with you, right? If my internet goes out, yeah. I can't compete on that day. Like, no, but there's no point, especially seeing all the numbers that those people are putting up. But, uh, yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a wrap. So it's a bummer, but you still did very, very well in that. Very impressive to see. Yeah, Thank I think, you. you know, as as we play, right, the big thing that, you know, separates some of the, the, the big guys from, you know, people that are newer at the game is just consistency, right? There's so many variables in the game. The mistakes can be so punishing. Um, you know, can you maybe talk about, like, what's kind of the mindset that you take into those tournaments, take away from them? You know, what, can you kind of talk about, like, how, you know, I think we only really improve when we make conscious decisions, right? You know, we kind of analyze what we did wrong. Can you maybe talk about some of that in light of, like, your progression through the tournaments and kind of how you've approached that? Um, when I played the tournaments, like, I've slowly grown to learn, like, what I need to do in a tournament. And it started out, I would get too fixated. Um, a lot of your tournament performance isn't just your raw skill. It's your decision making on a micro level and a macro level. Um, mm -hmm. So when I go into a tournament, I think of three different play styles I want to use in that tournament. And the way I will rotate between those is depending on what other people are doing. Um, because in my opinion, you're not going to get to the top of the leaderboard without killing other people. So if I'm going for like, let's say uncontested points at dorms, grabbing those filters, yeah, I'm getting 14 points. I'm heavy. I might get caught on a rotate. Maybe I need to switch it. So I always kind of draw up a plan between where all the points are. I will change my game plan going in based on what other people are doing, my aim, uh, how many points I put up. Mm -hmm. I now have a kind of a, when you're looking at tournaments and they're on similar scorings, you always kind of want to look and say, okay, I'm going to need roughly this many points to be where I want. That means I'm going to need this many points per raid. I'm going to do these, this many raids through the tournament. So basically I will sit and be like, okay, I need to quickly adjust. I'm putting up 
25 points a raid, I'm going to probably need closer to 30 or 40 to close out where I want to be. Uh, so I'm going to go for more PMC kills. I'm going to try and get more contested points. I'm going to push a little bit harder if mm-hmm. your aim's really on. And being able to do that during the tournament and even changing it from raid to raid, just being flexible but decisive, I think, is the key mindset that I determined is important in those tournaments to get better. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. being able to pivot to those those different mindsets and those different plans that you've set before beforehand. Well, and the the pace on a lot of those is so quick cuz a lot of raid times are cut down too. You know, you're not getting 40 50 minute raids, you're getting 20 minute raids, and so people are moving quickly from point to point. The longer that you spend, I think, and you know, and I've I've experienced this firsthand as well, and I'm sure you have, right? That that waffling, right, where you stop and you do like one or two, you're like, wait, do I go oh, new gas or or crack? Uh, 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 and then you go, and then that's when you end up running into somebody, and they catch you out on a rotation or something like that, right? And had you just been decisive in the moment, right? You know, mm-hmm. like it's it just seems to me like that stuff happens less often, right? Like when you're when you're moving with you know deliberate intent. Um, and, and not, you know, getting stuck in one space on the map. Cause that's the thing too, is, you know, it, while you're making those decisions, like, oh, I need to push PMCs for points. Everybody else has kind of got the same things flowing through their mind. And so every time you shoot a scav, every time you sh- get into an engagement with a player, th- those precious seconds that you're hanging around waiting and healing, whatever people are collapsing on you in real time. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, um, yeah. Um, being able to you also have to play in the mindset of your enemy as well. It's not just your mindset. You need to be aware of what other people are doing. That's that's kind of the thing is where are people going to be rotating? Where are people going to be moving? What are people hunting? You need to play like you already know where everyone is and what their plans are. And when you play around that initial engagement, you end up coming up on top. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree, right? And then there's a certain element of like, you know, even like in professional sports, right? You know, coaches look at, they watch tapes from other teams and they look at like, what do they do in these types of situations? Like what's their decision process? And you can kind of do the same thing in the Tarkey oh, yeah. space. It's really difficult to change like your over, like your archetype play style, like in the moment, right? And so a lot of these guys, you know, that you, <clears throat> you kind of know what they're going to do, right? I know, you know, almost down to like the kit sometimes for some of these people, you know, like what they're going to run in a tournament and you can really play around that um, and, you know, try to be like, uh, anticipatory, right, in, yep. in the decisions that you're making. Yeah, and on the flip side, you know, if you are a little cognizant yourself, you can make some decisions to counteract that, right? Like, we, we saw you do that last weekend, right, you know, on, on one of the runs that you did uh, for evasion, right? If you can think to yourself, oh, this is what I would normally do, so I'm going to do this differently and do it different. And sometimes you'll catch people out. I've seen that happen a lot, right, especially in tournament play, right, where they you'll catch somebody that does know you well or that just that's the most obvious thing to do in this situation. So you do the opposite. Yeah. Right? And in, in a game with as many variables as Tarkov, right? Every time you do something that's unusual or outside the norm, it almost always pays off. Um, it, it's like, you know, it is a game where gambling really does work, right? You know, so you're going to lose sometimes, but like you can really gamble on some plays and it'll pay off big time. Um, you know, you, you got to hit those clips, right? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> got to send it. Well, we're getting close to uh, time to start the challenge here. I wanted to start kind of talking about that with you a little bit. You know, we've we've talked a little bit in the DMs leading up to this, but um, you know, the the kind of to lay it out for chat and anybody that's maybe new and anybody maybe on YouTube that's catching this. Uh, the kind of the idea is we're going to drop you in on a standard account, right? It's brand new, fresh account. You're going to be level one. Uh, you got the tiny butt. You know, you got the the, the alpha container, which. Um, is a, a, a really really annoying restriction um and you know you don't think about it until you get in there especially with the fresh account when you're used to running with the gamma like how impactful it is losing those those couple spaces right the, the timmy <laughs> stats too catch people out right you're not gonna be able to run far you yeah. can't carry anything you're you know yeah it's, we're not uh, wearing the good gear and then yeah. of course the ammo restrictions this wipe are just brutal um yep. and so you know it'll the idea being you know we drop you in with all of that uh, annoyance and hardship in the <laughs> true tarkov form and give you three hours to see how many levels you can put up we're going to be yeah. tracking a whole bunch of different stats across your run uh most of that you know everything is for fun but we are putting you up on a leaderboard and as i know that you love being on top right so kind of the main thing that we're tracking and we've talked about this is basically your level and your xp uh, one of the things that we think is true of Tarkov is there's a lot of different facets to it and a lot of different ways to play that are 100% valid um, and everything will get you levels, right, and complete quests. And we didn't want to, like, pick just, like, PMC kills or, like, scav kills with the streamer challenge where it can be gamified or it's, like, honestly, in some ways not really fun to watch, right? 
mm-hmm. or is opening up to experience, you know, I think opens up all the different ways that Tarky is playable and, and let people really kind of show what their play style would do against other creators, right? So, yeah. um, lots of other fun stats to compare as well PMC kills, grenade kills, all melee that fun kills. Stuff. Yeah, melee no. kills. You know. <laughs> Whatever you can think of being a stat, we are probably tracking it. So, you know, just go have fun. Yeah. You want to talk yeah. about your, your plans for the run or um, you have any questions about it that maybe you've thought up in the last little bit? Um, kind of last thing I do want to point out just to our chat and your chat, you know, p- please nobody try to queue tonight uh, in the true spirit of a challenge. We don't want anybody yeah. feeding points to Raul. I think he would also not like it if you did that. I think that would cheapen, cheapen the win. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to win on dishonor. Um, I don't have any questions. I formulated my game plan as looking at it of how can I get the most levels in three hours? Yeah. So I'm mm-hmm. really sending it on the full risk, full reward. Okay. Um, I'm going to do some really risky things and it's either going to end up, I'm going to be really wealthy and like, I'm going to pass trap in two raids <laughs> or, <laughs> or um, I might be broken out of gear and just running in with pistols and hoping for the best. Hoping so, for the best. <laughs> so it's really okay. going to depend on my performance, but it really, really has the ability to, to, to do some, I don't know if you want me to talk my strategy right now. No, you don't have to give it away. It's up to you. If you want to talk specifically or if you want to just let it show through in your gameplay, you know, we're not, we're we're down for the surprise. You know, I kind of know what's coming down the pipe, but, um, you know, I don't think anybody. I can spoil it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Up to you. Up to you. Uh, I'm actually just going to go streets and try and hunt Caban. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to streets, hunt Caban and just the, the horde of scavs. And I know I did it. I killed Caban, like my second streets raid this wipe. I know it was a 55k XP raid. So Ooh. my plan is to try and hit 15 as long as I don't get smoked a bunch because I suck. Uh, I'm hoping I hit flea in under the three hours. Okay. I like this goal. That's a good plan. I like it. So, it's yeah, unique got... too. It's definitely not what I was expecting to hear. To remind chat and anybody maybe that hasn't seen it yet. Oh, Jesus, it's so huge That's when so it comes big. in. It just comes in massive for some reason. <laughs> That's what she said. That is what she said. <laughs> Chat, to put it into context, you know, you heard Ralph say that he got 55k XP from a raid hunting Caban. Trap got 46k XP. So one of those, hours. one of those in three hours will put Ralph up on top. Um, streets may be the play. We may see a lot of people maneuver to that strategy. Um, Trap really focused on quests tasks. and tasks. Yep. Um, so, if, you know, we, we look at it from that perspective. I imagine Trap will have you beat by the end of this run. But uh, it sounds like you got a good game plan. And then were you able to get logged? I think we got you logged into the account, right? Yep, I'm on the uh, language screen. Yeah, I'm not doing yeah. a single task. I will have zero tasks done in <laughs> these three hours. I can tell you that right now. Well, I, you know, you might hit level five and then get some dailies that you could pick up, right? I don't, yeah, you you don't have to Salili progress was. through the regulars, yeah, right? You yeah, you might find them Salili was. Who knows? Oh, you you got to do uh, ground zero shit before you unlock the Saliwa task this time yeah. around. And I don't oh, think, right? yeah, I don't think he's going to go to ground zero at all. That sounds like a trap. I, I do no, got I a question. If if you don't see Caban, do you think you'll go check for for Colinte, the new guy? Uh, probably not. No, maybe I might wander over there. My plan is probably going to just be hoard a bunch of scavs because I can still, as long as I don't die to player scav hordes, which is probably most Absolutely of my deaths possible. will probably be a horde <laughs> yeah, of player scavs likely. just running yeah. up on me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can probably out. still bump out like twenty to thirty k XP rage just from scavs. So. Uh, you, I'm probably just going to be wandering, scabbing, looting, and Caban. You might just have to put on the uh, the fake scab kit, right? Get the nope. your, Yo, get yourself one of the hockey the masks, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad, dude. Put on put on the press armor, dude. You know, you might, might get away with. You might get away with it. I might. <laughs> I might. I might pull it out. Just a little naked AK and be like, "Hey guys, I'm in trouble. There's a PMC in yeah, here. Come help me out, bros." <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't have trusted me. Uh, <laughs> it's all in the name of the XP, baby. That's right. <laughs> all right, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch screens here, Chad. I'm gonna get your feed pulled up. You can kill your uh, Discord. I know you said Beautiful. that that one causes you a little bit of. Yeah, my main PC is struggling, so I'm gonna turn that it camera off. Is not happy. I got you. Let me pull you up. I can type. I forgot how to type for two seconds. Hold on, chat. Just bear with me. Close this, close this, put that up.
Just as a reminder, chat, we are going to be on the same delay as the rest of Ralph's chat for his feed, so we might respond to stuff slightly after Ralph has responded. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, so kind of for the what we'll do is um, we'll have your audio up while you're in raid, and we'll mute uh, in Discord. That way we're not like in your ear and bothering you while you're trying to focus. And we'll we'll kind of react to things live at the same time that your chat and our chat would see it anyways. And then, um, you know, if you want to talk to us, we'll be in your ear. You know, we'll be able to hear you, and you know, we can shoot the shit. And then we'll we'll just annoy you as you're loading into raids and stuff. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just mute in Discord then. So when, I, you well, know, well, we'll are you guys gonna definitely no? We'll mute. Um. Oh, got you. So that your audio, you can mute in Discord too. That way, you're because okay. we'll have your full stream audio up. So everything that you say to stream, we'll hear. And so you can even just talk to us through that if you want to. Um, that way you're not having to fuck around with Discord while you're playing. But that way we, we can let you just kind of focus on what you're doing. Okay, okay. That'll work. Word. Okay. I think my feed on you died. All right. Thank you, everybody, that hung uh -oh, out for that interview. Warrior, thank you for coming in. Retro, good to see you. C, Veronica, Fire Maneuver, thank you all so much for coming in. I appreciate you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Uh, good we're to gonna see you We're going to talk all. a little bit more to Ral after this run. Um, but we're super excited to get started. I know that he is stoked for this. Um, and if he pops off like he said he can, it's going to be pretty fucking impressive. I'm just going to say that right now. We talked about it last time about how it would be kind of wild to see okay. your language and all that. I was waiting for you guys. Uh, do you have a preference on the name or can I make it like something really suspect for a fresh uh, account? Uh, just, just to like farm reports. Yeah, see if I can get this account banned. Um, I, Trap named it Loot Sack 1. I, we haven't really talked about that. No. Why mm -hmm. don't you just name it something sussy for fun, and then Katie and I will talk about that, and we'll we'll make a decision for that going forward. But for if you want to make it something sussy, I don't give a shit. What do you guys think about that? Is that would, you, would you report that white name if he kills you? <laughs> it, it doesn't even seem like it's supposed to say anything. Like you just rolled over the keyboard. Yeah, did you face smack the keyboard? What happened here? I just went with what I, I trusted my heart, the heart of the cards. I just went with whatever <laughs> I felt I needed to press next. And you just In blindly four, let two, three, whack. That's what I got. That. <laughs> that that feels pretty reportable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you okay. should take the three out, right? In forty-two, whack. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can leave it. I love, I love it. I, I'm here for it. I think it's got to be eight. Eight feels like fake, right? Eight, eight feels fake. I'm, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, right. like you, like you just copied it right, right out of like a password file and just made it your name. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, what I was saying uh, a second ago is that we talked last time about how impressive it would be to see somebody hit fifteen. Uh, during this challenge, so I'm I'm pretty excited to see if you can do it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty excited. Yo, bullet with somebody. Do my best. Uh, All right now, the, here's the question: what's the, what's the first kit gonna look like? First kit, it's gonna be the default M4. Oh yeah. Uh, you gonna you gonna put try to put a sight on that thing? You can buy one level one. I think I can buy the MRS. I think the MRS is usually what I run. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. What can I buy? I don't even know the what bushes I can are buy back. Level bullet one. Hey, that's the struggle, right? Uh, the level one. No flea access. You got used to it again, and it's it's. We've ripped it away from you, Lou. Wow, thank you yeah, so I much for the, the sub. The buddy. key is gonna be good to see you. Me surviving a Kaban raid, and then I'm gonna be like, you're gonna. It's snowball effect for sure yeah, from there. Yeah, hundred percent. Honestly, even one. Like if you get into a streets, kill a PMC, and then you get out right, and like, and then the next one, you know, you get a Kaban, right? Like those, they're gonna roll pretty quick. Yeah, I just need <laughs> the one Kaban, one Kaban kill, and boy, oh boy. No, but this is our uh, standard we're account cooking. challenge. So we're putting, we put Rao on um, a fresh account. It's a level man, one get, like, standard no account. No money on a standard account too. It's it, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, the, let's the, the rep, the, the money, the space, the free stuff. Right? You only, get, I think you only get two M4s instead of like what is like three or four with the. You know, you get yeah, all that extra just... armor. You don't get the mechanism backpack. I don't think. No heels. Yeah, no heels. It's it's Ooh. it's rough out here. <laughs> oh, this is 
They should just give you a pistol with one bullet in it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a bandage? Do you need a bandage? Yeah, yeah I got a bandage. Well, yeah, bullet. We... It's our new... Um... Do that. Okay, I think that might be Ooh, the load. We should add I the episode one to ammo. that command. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to... I need a heavy bleed stop, too. Oh, this is... <laughs> it's tough. It's not great. It's not great. <laughs> Ooh, let's take this off because I, I need to be light. Um. Bullet. The challenge. All right. Is I think I think this is going to be the kit. I, I think three mags with the M4 will probably be enough. One stack of butt ammo, PKs, emergency PKs. I just need to survive one raid. Like I said, one raid, and this gets a lot easier. Um. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. You just need that snowball oh, of the gear, right? And I'm not going rolling. nighttime. We're going daytime. Okay. All right. All right. You want to be able to see? I got you. That's, uh, I like it. This man is confident. Confidence. I, I love it. <laughs> we're, we're sending it straight in. It is. So, love, we do this on Thursdays now. Uh, I got the DMCA <laughs> free music, just so you guys know. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate you. you. It, yeah. it doesn't. I'm giving you the warning because it doesn't sound DMCA free. Well, you know, hopefully it is. I said, okay. <laughs> you know, here's hoping that it is. <laughs> it is. I promise. I promise. <laughs> you getting sheep on it would be crazy. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be insane. That'd we, be insane. We have goals for this, you guys. We really, really do. I promise you. Uh, please. Tell your friends, share it yeah, with share it around if you don't other mind. people if you don't mind, right? Um, retro, uh, we are DM Zane, right? Uh, or me, right? If you guys want we just need to, you to stream. participate. That's, that's pretty much the only real requirement. Right, yep. That's the only requirement that we have is that we want you to stream the challenge so that we can interview you and show off your gameplay like we're doing for Rao here. Um, but if you guys are interested in participating, uh, does not no skill level required, no affiliate or anything like that required, uh, please just reach out to Zane or myself in the Discord. Uh, there is the Discord link if you don't already have it. Um, but we would love to talk to you, learn more about your experience playing Tarkov as a content creator, uh, mm -hmm. as a person, really. We just want to know more about you. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, the challenge is fun, right? We, you know, who doesn't want to hop back into a standard account and, and play at level uh, one? You know, with, with no, there's no limit. You know, there's no, it gets wiped in three hours. So yeah. just fucking send it, right? Lose yeah. everything. Who cares? Go for broke. There should be no gear See, fear or anything like that. You know, it's a very true, just like, I'm going to send it. I'm going to do whatever it is I want to do. You can go meme. You could go naked with a machete for three hours. Right. You, you could rat no, for three hours. Yep. Yeah. You know, I think one of the things that makes it fun is that, you know, it really opens up that, like, that aspect of Tarkov I was talking about earlier. How Tarkov, you know, it's a game that rewards gambling a little bit. Yes. Like, yeah, you know, does. you want to take those risks. You want to bring in the big gear. You want to go for the big kills. You want to hunt these people down, right? Go for the bosses. And when you when you run for those, yeah, you might die and lose. And that's the name of the game for Tarkov. But when you succeed, the, su the success is massive. Um, so... You know, it's, you know, I, I think it really opens that door, you know, especially and then if you're still struggling with gear fear as well, knowing that like none of it matters, right? It's going to get wiped in three hours anyways. Like I'm just going to put everything on. I'm going to buy the best stuff that I can. Like who cares? Right. 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 Yeah. It's a, uh, it's, it's a fun challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, people are having more fun with it than I thought they would. And we have a lot more. Excitement. Hey, quick question. When I log into this account, uh, it carries all my settings over, right? Yeah. All your check. Okay. All your key binds and your graphic settings and sound and everything is to like local to the launcher. So when you okay. log in with different accounts, that'll all that'll all transfer over. Thank God. Uh, yeah, that would have been tragic. Yeah, it's actually we when we tested it, we were like, "That's super nice, actually." Like, <laughs> yeah, and then because it's life. because yeah. it's not like the weird private accounts that not weird, but like you know the special private accounts that the hunt tournament like uses. We don't have to have you like download another version of the game or whatever. We can give you the credentials like right. You saw how easy it was. You just need the creds and then the verification code and then you're in and then you can just play. So yeah, straightforward. Yeah, you can catch episode one on YouTube. Bullet, it's up there a little bit higher up in the chat. I can paste it right here too. Um, yeah, we're only doing this on Thursdays Yo, what is because got if I hit level eight this first raid, dude, that's gonna be nuts. <laughs>
Does he have to just put Ralatar's number one in his bio forever now? <laughs> <laughs> if I've one raid his entire challenge. Yeah, that's to toxic. Am I being out. toxic right now? You haven't even started I mean, and you're already toxic. <laughs> you're, you're doing a certain level of shit talking right now that one could consider to be toxic. Mm, 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 okay. I haven't put R R tweet Ralatar's number one, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's what we got to do at the end. We'll, we'll do seasons, and at the, at the end, whoever goes last on the leaderboard, right, we'll give them a taco thing that they got to oh do. Oh my gosh, a taco thing! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go naked to streets and tell everybody that whoever got first on the leaderboard is the best Tarkov player ever. You just have to and, go around and, wiping until you die ten times or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta spread gosh. the word. <laughs> Become failing fantasy football at this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except it was you. No, I think it's it's fun. You know, I think it it'll be kind of interesting to see how we cap. We haven't really talked about how long we want to do. Like before, we maybe refresh the leaderboard if we ever do. I was hoping that the snow would last a little bit longer, but it was kind of bummer we only got to do one run with snow, and now now we're done. So, so something that that does highlight though is that the game is constantly changing, and mm -hmm. so right, and they just rolled back a patch that has changes in it as well, right? And so right, here we go. It's going to constantly be changing like that. Good luck, buddy. You got this. Thanks. Good luck, buddy. You got this. Thanks. All right, here we go, chat. Ew. Ral's goal, right. Ooh, as you meds. talked about, meds. is to hit the kabusi. Ooh, new goal number one, meds. Oh, there's at least one meds bag in here. Probably hoping for like a propital or something like that. That would be huge. Augmention. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it. Ibuprofen would be great. Yeah. Like any type of like... He's got a Vaseline in his butt. Oh, hold on. More impressive med or pain would be great. You're muted to Discord, right? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Been playing like a month. You're gonna be so bad when you get back. Nah, but it's like you riding a bike. It. You can crush it. No, you're an adjective, brother. <laughs> now you're on this side of the loot sack POV. Oh yeah, quirky. Hey, you, get to, you get to watch it live at the same time that we see everything okay, go down. So we're here to commentate for you. One of the things that I've really liked about Ralph should be able to get our first swipe is that he, he moves a little bit slower than he used to. I've been doing the same thing. Listen to us via the trap stream. I love it. <laughs> was trap watching us too. That's awesome. Bummer about the level one account with the M4 is you get stuck with that front sight. You just can't take it off. It's part of the gas block. You feel like you progress so much faster than last wipe. That makes sense, Bullet. Yeah, I mean, you get better every time. Yeah, you know, just I think that's ideally that's human nature, right? You know, the more things, the more times we complete the same task or do the same things, the better that we get at them. Your second wipe. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a huge improvement in second wipe to first wipe for me, too. Mm -hmm. This is a high traffic area that Ralph's trying to skirt around right now. And pretty much mm -hmm. everybody goes over to... Oh, we just got I heard an ad. I forgot to run room. an ad before we went oh. into this raid. I'm the worst. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Bad streamer. Quirky chick, that makes sense. I'm so Once happy Once again, my big goal is Kaban. So I'm not... Really gonna spend too much time elsewhere on the map. We, we take what we can right now. Feels bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you bad. guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bad chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bandages. That's a dub. Splint. That's huge. Dude, Ral is mad farming the the meds right now. He's just trying to stockpile as many meds as he can. I wouldn't think running around in peacekeeping mission gear would get you seen and clap. Said you're doing the clapping. My big Dude, concern is you just want to get that shit over with. Is success early? Right, what do we think? We don't have a lot of. Is, is Kabusi here is, today? Yeah, thank you, Veronica. Did he hear this right? Appreciate that. I'm gonna try my best. You guys think I was gonna survive this first raid? We don't have a reserve, um, so the first couple raids I... we really need to be oh. good. I want to say yes if see, Kaban's not touch there. Car. I think if he runs into Kaban this first raid, he might just get booty schwacked. I've seen Rob play. Don't get me wrong; he's very good at this game, and I've oh, seen yeah. him kill Kaban. It's also kind of creeping lot. me out. I haven't right. heard anything. He definitely knows the yeah, strategy. That's Rob's right, dude. This this raid has been dead fucking quiet. Yeah. There might be a guy in front of him. People do like to hang out around over here by this I don't cafe. Think so. All right. He's still on the med hunt. Oh, we got shots. 
It's over by Concordia, maybe construction. Oh, there's a shot over by Cinema. He's got shots Sniper on both sides. That's Sniper Scav popping off. Ra wasn't sure if he saw a guy over here to his right earlier. Maybe he actually did. He kind of ruled it out. Um, but it's very possible. You know, the, the early streets raids lately have been pretty crazy. People aren't really moving as quickly. And so really I feel like a it's... scope disadvantage. Yeah, I, I agree. It's kind of dumb to be taking these long angles. That might Dave be what happens ammo. if mm -hmm. he runs into the Caban. Got to hit them headshots. And if one of those guys got an Alton on... Welcome back, Bullet. Sorry for the ads, you that guys. The door is open. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we yeah. are going to be better about those ads going forward today. I'm so yeah, there's sorry There's the about marked that. room scabs. Yeah, yeah Raul, Raul mentioned it. He, you know, it was something that Trap was struggling with as well. The scope disadvantage. It really, really, really is tough. Tarkov, true. Twisted. Twisted. I'm actually playing a lot months, more cautious dude. than I normally do. Wild. Thank you so Usually much for your support. More. Twisted, when we get you on here, Full dude. send. Yeah, Twisted, we got to get you to come run this with us, buddy. Are you coming to do the loose sack challenge, my man? Oh, Ral's got a player right in front of him, or is that a scav? I think that might be a scav. Oh, shot the oh, pole. Oh, saved by the pole. Oh, a little bit of blurry on the, okay, the aim's smoke not good. in front of him. Aim's not great. He's not, not on good. it today? Get us started. <laughs> you know how bad you'd be if you started playing EFT again? What have you been playing lately, Guru? Oh, that was a good shot. That was solid. Oh, 50-50 on the survive poll. Ads are done. Welcome back, Quirky. I'm so sorry, you guys, for the ads. That's 100% my bad. You guys haven't missed much. Ral's just been getting uh, meds. He heard some shots over by Concordia, and then, again, the sniper scav on cinema started popping off. So we kind of re-rotated back this way. Ral's kind of taking it easy. He's trying to make sure that he doesn't push too hard too fast, I think. This is good. Yeah, he's, he's taking some pretty cautious rotations right now. That's uh, a better armor for him there. Do you think he's going right to take now. it? He's not going to. Uh, he might still. He said it was oh, going to make nope. him too heavy. He heard yeah. footsteps over this direction. Oh, he just dropped a player. Not sure nice, if that was a nice PMC shots. or not. I'm pretty sure that was a PMC. Those are good shots right there. With scouts getting in on this map so early, you never know. That is true. It was definitely a player. Um, I guess it could be a scab. I've been caught off guard by him before. Something interesting about the challenge, you guys, right? Like, that fuel, basically worthless. Ral's never going to get his um, generator made. Oh, He's getting pushed by another scab here. It's an AI scab. Yeah, it's so interesting to see what people choose to loot here. Right, well, it doesn't really bring a lot of value. We'd have to basically just vendor it, and it's heavy. I don't want to loot him. He's in a really bad spot. Apex brings out too much toxic. You're trying to cut back Call of War mobile game. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. If that's not a PMC, we're in trouble. He's got more footsteps in front of him. There's somebody else around this corner. Oh, there's a lot of shots. Oh, eating the nade. That was an impressive nade. Oh, there's Pinched. a... Oh, this is not this looking is good. not good, yeah. He's got a scav or a PMC up on the third floor above the marked room. There's no someone way that was, that guy, right? Someone that was probably in the marked room and then climbed out of it and then heard Rao. So now Ral's got to probably push that to stop that that guy from getting the angle on him. <laughs> Streets is a tough map lately. It really has been a tough map. Just not trying to burn yourself out on Tarky. I feel that. Okay, so we still have this guy to worry about. Yep. Definitely a player there in front of him. It looked like a peace scab though. I'm not sure if it's a oh, player. We are. we are in the shits. Somebody off to Rouse right now. P scav down. Oh, dude. It is an army. It is just relentless. How many player scavs are going to chase this man? We are not I, he said that's what he was where you want to be, I repeat. It's those army of P scavs. <laughs> I think this guy ran all the way downstairs. I don't think he's up here anymore, but he might be. Or he's dead. Oh, oh he's oh dead. Oh, my God, we're no, and that's a that's a, P a that's a PMC. That's huge. That gave him a scope. He's got a scope now. Huge. Wow. Like a dinner bell for peace calves. True, yeah. Luau, true. Stay away from games to get you two wound up. You got to, right? You got you to gotta maintain your peace, I think. Mm -hmm. This guy definitely snuck into marked room when he didn't belong there. Oh, he killed somebody else. Poop schmear. What a name. 
We're definitely in danger, well, though. Oh no, that's that guy. That's the guy that Rao killed. That's that. No, I know. Yeah. yeah. He definitely got reported for that shot in the name, though. I'm just gonna say that. Right <laughs> uh, dude, the name. The name. His name is with so that ridiculous. Shot, dude, I reported that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, you would report him 100. percent I would report that every freaking time. Crap's got the scope on him now. Oh yeah, now we now we got the juice. I had we the window. RFB. I had the window open earlier, and like a bug got in here. Not a big fan of this scope. What do you think? Is that another player? That was a scab, I think. Pretty sure. Um, I don't even think I have my switch scopes. Button, button bound. Yeah, the scope on that RB, not ideal. Not ideal. Thank you, Katie. But this is exact. This is kind of exactly what we wanted. We want, uh, we want to shoot a ton of scavs. We're just going to farm as much XP as possible. I think I killed another player over there. I think I killed a player scav. There's a player scav here. That was an AI scav. I didn't bring a CMS. Do you, do you even get access? I, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't no. have a surgery kit. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He said, oh, no. <laughs> I've become aware of the errors of my way. Exactly. <laughs> my stream is a little bit behind I realize. Zane, so if you catch me looking to my right right now, it's because I'm actually watching Zane's screen. If you pull up traps, or uh, not traps, rounds feed directly. I did. I'm like 10 seconds behind you still. All right, really? let's get mm -hmm. healed up Weird. here. I don't, uh, it, it's Twitch. Oh, you know, Rao's stop, getting stop, pushed. Stop, 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 yeah. Oh, player scav AI. Dropped. That was, that was AI? Yeah, yeah you hear him uh, calm as he came around the corner. Maybe it was a player and he tried to calm as like a panic. Hunting me. But I think that was an AI coming to loot the body. Yeah, I guess I was uh, operating on the assumption with the lean, but they do lean now with all mm -hmm. the new AI changes. It could have been a player trying to like last ditch, like, like, like oh, I'm a scav, and so he hit the voice line. It very so it could have been a player, but I think that might have been an AI. You want to break Luckily the toxic behavior? Augmenting. <laughs> you you kind of bring it out. It, it's just those competitive games, man. It'll get you. We're really we're you. really just gonna rack up a bunch of kills right now. I think, yeah. you know, Rouse had a really What's successful up, raid. Not having the CMS yeah, a med is tough. Box I'll be able to hit. Yeah. yeah. He has a lot of bodies. I'm shooting loot. loud, so all, all the AI scouts are going to be drawn to me. Getting out of here alive, right? We all know that. Uh, okay, he's the hitting XP bushes, hit. so I should have a second loot. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, he's got AI scouts pushing him still downstairs. Of course, it could be a player. Milk, milk. But yeah, that's a, a player. Very, very impressive opening raid so far. Mm-hmm. He's kind of getting exactly what he was aiming for. Right, yeah. I mean, Trump, he hasn't quite made it, it over to Lexos yet, but he doesn't need to, really. Kaban's not here, I don't think, so. Switch out our rig. That is true. We haven't heard any... Uh, like the explosion or heels. Or machine like guns or anything like uh, that popping right. up. And typically, we probably would have heard that by now. Five, right. seven, six. Okay, okay. The rig management, though. All right. I'll eat all those empty one-by-one -one spots. <laughs> I'm gonna. This RFB is gonna be huge once I can get a different sight on it. Choices. It's tough just early with this with the scopes. You guys, he just doesn't have a lot of access to like very many um, like better sights. Honestly. Yeah. Well, and unfortunately, the sight that's on the RFB that he got isn't the greatest. Like, yes, it gives him some range, but it's. Yeah, not a good one. It's not a good one. And as Rao said, I don't know if you heard him mention it, but he doesn't actually have his swap sights bound. Oh. So it's not even a, something that he has bound on his keyboard, so he can't swap to the little red dot, red dot that's on top. That is interesting. Um, is that he just, just he doesn't run those. He scopes never runs those kinds of scopes. That's why. Yeah. So he just doesn't have it bound. That makes hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Hard sometimes. Get away with this. Uh, he okay. still potentially got a. Um, Player, I oh, know he killed to get the player a over here to the, the right. Uh, the M4 too. This M4, I'm getting used to where it's aiming. Yeah, he killed the other player that was over here. That guy tried to go prone and loot the uh, his buddy, and Rao got him to the window. There was a man hitting bushes earlier and like breaking glass. Yeah, with the sheer size of streets, if you're confident on this map, I think it is easily the the best map for Ooh, someone for loot as far as like a oh, one did, raid uh, run goes. The way someone he's looted kind of looks. Someone looted. Oh, oh, ah! oh, oh! He almost took a took a bullet right there. 
Let's say that looked dangerous. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The player scab's angry. We ran. Oh, I don't have any more nades. He's definitely coming back. No, I think that P scab just got laid the fuck out. He's not gonna repeat that. He's gonna come over here. You hear that automatic fire? And try and shoot me in I the back. I just hear it. Yeah. Oh. Coming through a nade. That maybe is the P scab trying to push him. Rob right. may have misjudged which direction this guy's gonna push him. Yeah, from. that's the player yeah, scab I, I saw earlier. He's peeking the same angle he peeked a second ago. What do you mean, Guru? Uh, there's been quite a few changes in EFT as far as this wipe is concerned. Uh, yeah, you'd have to check the patch, honestly, like the notes. Can I? Yeah. Can uh, I bolt this? Depends on the one. The last time you played. AI scav angry at Rao. He's not in a good spot right now. He's kind of running out of options here. Yeah. <laughs> He's got AI scabs closing in on him. A P scab that knows exactly where he is and is trying to get the angle on him. And he's kind of trapped and couldn't get over that fence. And, so and in the middle of all of it, homie don't have no arm. Yeah. But somehow, I have a feeling he's going to get out of it. One. One. Bro, wants that XP, dude. He's looking for it. This is tough. All right. Using the arm early, really putting a damper on his plans. Not so, having the CMS. Yeah, something to think about. Also, though, I just, you know, as a, we're sitting here and, and we're watching, we're going to dip. this raid a long time. I don't right, want that P-Scab holding me hostage. Think, you know, 20 minutes in raid. Because uh, we, we started the timer on when he went to his first raid, right? Just hit it. He's at 34 minutes. So he's been in there for 16 minutes. So 8.40 was his start time. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, he's coming up on a 20 minutes in raid, right? Uh, it's right there. And uh, streets raids are an hour long, right? You 50, know? 50 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm running up a little bit, you know. Um, but, uh, it could be interesting, right? If he doesn't get the scav movement that he's looking for, right? He could, you know, he could be wasting time. He could be, yeah. yeah. Like, he's definitely got a lot of downtime here with, oh, he's trying to hit the scav arm through the wall. Trying to pen him here. Well, this is bogus. Yeah, there's a, there's a sniper scav laying prone there. He's trying to kill him because he can see the arm, but he can't get the That's hit That's a on. waiting game. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, he's that aggroed onto me. Through. It won't pen. I think he's because the guy's arm is phased it's, through the wall. Oh, I see. He's trying to, to get the, the arm the collision for the game to. Yeah. To trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More shooting off to Rao's left. He's got to be running low on it. Oh, I think I just saw a tracer. Now that I'm thinking of it, right? This is the one he picked up off that PMC. That also put shots on him. Yeah. It also put a lot of rounds on him. So. I think Rao's probably he's probably rocking like maybe 30, 40 bullets I'm not left. A good spot. Yeah. You've not been in a good spot for a while, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, on his right, there's he's got movement. Right there. Oh. That's a player. You spotted him right as he took that shot, too. Yep. <laughs> Woo. Angry P scav. Oh, we got him. He tagged him. It's got to be the same one that's been chasing him, yeah? Oh! oh! Crazy. Out of where? Yeah, it looks like he got hit from across the street, maybe? That's nuts. GG's, dude. That was a yeah, tough I spot. I don't think it was that guy who killed me. I don't think it was killed me. He, I don't think because, so either. Yeah. The way he hit. It looked like he might have got caught from across the street, just from the way that your player fell, but... Yeah, I don't know. That was uh that was tough to see w where and how you got got there. Either way, very impressive first raid. Uh, yeah, it was tough. Yeah, it was rough losing the arm that early. Yeah, well, yeah, I forget yeah. the CMS kit was a brutal, brutal hit. Uh, I don't even think I have one. Right, I'll start. Can I buy one level one? I from... think you do have one. Um... Yeah, I don't. Can can you buy one? I'm not even sure. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't think I can get one. 
Did they not give you CMS to start? I could have sworn we got CMS no, to start. You get them from Jaeger to get started, and Jaeger's locked. Oh, snap. So about that, no questing. Uh, no, I'm not questing. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it. I like it. Commitment. No CMS. You got this. Yeah, dude, it's crazy they didn't give you one. Uh, I really... Once the player scabs started flooding in, that really... That was wild. Yeah. Oh, it's that, that unsilenced M4 dinner bell. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we actually might be rocking a little MP5 with the 20 rounders. I like it. Yeah, then the 9x19 still goes hard. I uh, I personally love the 9x19 round. I know it gets a lot of hate, um, specifically the STM. Yeah. I love the STM. You got a pistol mag in there, buddy. Oh, yeah, good luck. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was tough. Yeah. Because I yeah. tried playing it slow, but it, it well, was... Oh, and then you got, more... you got jumped by a, a shitter PMC that went and did the sneaky way into the fucking March room, well, dude. Bug abuser. Yeah, Yeah, dude. he deserved what he got, though. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, right, you cranked him. I think he left a raids, so we're going to have to buy some cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Eat up, dude. Eat up. Nom, nom, dude. <laughs> yes. Oof. See, that's the problem, though. If I have, like, two of those raids, we're in trouble. Yep. Yeah, the yeah. money goes quick and the gear goes quick. Yeah, that, yeah, it's it's it goes your favor or it doesn't, right? We were yeah. talking about how huge finding that scope was actually on that RFB is a bummer. Yeah, I just there were so many players guys creeping. I don't think mm -hmm. I was getting away from them. No, yeah. And that sniper's got proning, so I couldn't run away. Oh, yeah, tough. Mm -hmm. That was a really impressive shot, though. I think it was on the on the RFB guy. That guy definitely. Yeah, up in the window. Yeah, <laughs> With that name me, and that me, shot. Me, me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, a couple of. The, I bet the P scav that went prone to loot his buddy too that you got through the window. I bet he reported you too. <laughs> I, I wish we could actually track that metric. How many uh, times did the account get reported during the run? That'd be, be a so great nice. Track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think a. I thought a uh, abandoned marked would be good because all the um the scabs scabs trying to hit it farm up but oh, the yeah, yeah. scabs the peace scabs flooding to bug abuse it kind of yep. makes it really bad yeah, yeah they're gonna go there like crazy and the relax room is like high high traffic yeah for, but until that gets yeah. patched it's just gonna be a problem yeah so i got a i got another game plan for this this raid i like it coming i like, I like it, it the pivot you want to talk about it or you want to surprise us uh it's really gonna depend where i spawn True. spawning is gonna determine what way i go you think you're going to try and hit some med um, boxes to start again? I mean, I think finding yeah. a CMS here would just be massive, right? Yeah, that's the game plan. Uh, did I switch butt ammo? I think I did. Um, I think the game plan is going to be to try and go to the high med locations, just like that. Yeah. Um, that raid is, is just load up on the meds, because even having the extra PKs, the extra light bleed stops, all of that. That was huge for you, just being able to pump through the pills. Mm-hmm. If, uh, Ads if aren't this cool one goes bullet. bad, we might be heading. Uh, my backup plan is woods. So uh, if we, forty-four if we end up minutes. No kids, it's probably before the be next round. Of ads. Thank run. you guys for the reminder. Ooh, pistol woods run. Are we gonna? Are, are we breaking out the Ketter? Maybe, dude. You think the uh, Ketter makes a comeback? The Ketter could make a comeback. It, it's really it's gonna depend those, how I do. For those that don't know, that's that was that was OG Ralatar. Oh, yeah. Back in the no cam days, running around woods with the Ketter like a menace. Dropping seven PMCs. Yeah. That's a throwback for sure. That's oh, from yeah. the, the Mishka mask days, dude. That actually, I got a uh, the TikTok on this day. One year ago, I uploaded the first Ketter Predator. It, did you really? Wow. Today? One year ago today. I That's the crazy. Well, happy Predator. anniversary. Yeah, dude. Yeah, those were your first set of Tic Tacs that, like, that took off. Yeah, once I moved away from memes, those were like the first ones that kind of popped. Mm hmm. Yeah, dude. What spawn are you hoping for? Let's talk about that. Well, that's a good question. I want to spawn by the coffee shop or by car. Okay. Yeah. And both of those are like southeast corner of the map, right? I have no sense of cardinal directions. On <laughs> so so Ca Carl put him closer to Lexos so he can push that right off the rip. 
And then um, coffee shop will put them kind of in a good position to catch people out going like relax factory or to back off and rotate towards uh, like Pinewood. That'll put them over by Pinewood. See, like me, I work off of Cardinal Directions and off of the Map Genie. And so I'm like, I have no idea what he just said to me. <laughs> uh, off, off Map Genie, the by the car is the south like middle of the map. Okay, yeah. Car is like very dead center. On the main road. Yeah, right? on the main yeah. road. And then like southeast is where theater and like courtyard <laughs> is. Yeah, it's like east is <sighs> by the coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah, see, it, my brain, it just like, I don't know what it is about streets, man. I cannot figure it out. So every time we go streets, I'm like, I don't know where the fuck we are. Unless we're in the southeast corner of the map. I've got that part down. If we're, <laughs> if we're where theater and courtyard and the car and all that is, I know where we are. If you've, we are You've died over there else, enough times. You've got it unlocked now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Um, but if we, if we are anywhere in like the, the north run up the far east road, right, up where like finance and all that stuff is and vet. Mm-hmm. Right, I know that section all the way up to like uh, Lexos and construction, right there. Right, right, and then even north of that, actually, I know what's north of that. Uh, like yeah, the, so you got most of the map down. The now. right side of the map, I got down. If I if I end up on the left side of the map, the west side of the map, I have no clue where the fuck I am. Like Concordia <laughs> and and all those those places. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, I have it's- the way it works for me. I have a visual of the map in my head. I can yep. visualize like the whole map, and then it's just literally buildings. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. What's that like? <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I would say like I, I see it in three D, like in my head, like and like just what it looks like. Yeah, no, dude, I got a two D map and oh. a, a "you are here" button. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy, good luck. You got this. You got this. Thanks. Ooh, Expo spawn rough. All right, chat. It's not quite what he was looking for. So um, not where we want to be. A good option for him here would be to go. Oh, 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 oh dude! No shot it's right not out the what gate. You wanna see. Cook spawns, dude. It's a tough spot for Raul to start. Thought that might have been an AI scout for a second. Boy, oh boy. Is Raul gonna be able to get out of this one? Say, He's shooting M six two, so I have to be full caught. health. He's crawling away, chat. He's crawling away. So we're gonna crawl He's crawling this, away. and then we're gonna make a break Fuck for this, it, dude. bro. I believe. Come on. Oh, get down, Ralph. Get down, ah! buddy. Get down. <laughs> Thank God this guy's a terrible shot. Right. Can you imagine me the other PMP right now? I'd be so fucking frustrated, bro. I'd be like son of a okay. bitch. Can we talk about paid actors for a second? We told you guys not to queue snipe. Like. <laughs> He's getting a little bit of stam for the Yo, last I run. I can't talk shit because that would have been me. If he was moving like that and I was you shooting at him, missing. I would have yeah. missed so <laughs> much. I would have been erratic. so yeah. tilted. I'm I would have been like, what the actual fuck? I can't believe he got away from that. That's crazy. Right, there's GGs. some med spawns up here. Yeah, cut right. them jukes, dude. Dude, Rob put the Nikes on for this <laughs> challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's kneecaps are on the ground. Not, not <laughs> I got the, the Jordans. Not the start of a round you want. All of my heels being blown through. That's crazy. Off spawn. All right. Yeah, dude, he is out of heels. Chance for more players here. Um, this area that Ral's headed to off to the left, if he does go down there, that is a quest spot. Um, it's kind of an early quest spot, so a lot of people are kind of constantly going through uh. that kind of section. Be interesting to see if Raul. It will put Raul at a huge disadvantage if that other guy pushes him. So I go to the new section. No one will be there. I can safely loot it. Nope. I think that's, right, that's what he's talking about there. Night. Yeah, maybe I do. Good night, Echelon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us, bro. I think I forgot to tweet. I didn't do the tweet there. You want to see if it holds true? But you think there might think be some sort of hidden MMR Judy and I that came back here. In I think that I saw med spawns back here. Oop, med bag. Let's go. Another three, man. Glass all. We'll use the door. Bullets are precious. That'd be really interesting, Luau. Nothing back here. I want to chat about that. I definitely want to chat about that more. Back Not what you want to see. New sec yeah, 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 yeah. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Okay. I'm really hoping for a CMS here. That would be Tough. ideal. 
You really need something that you can put limbs back on. Some you know? bandage. Little bandages. Let's take some these bandages. The same tree. Let's go. Not perfect, but X Saint God. <laughs> Another three man. Eleven raids. Blueberry. No one wants to kill you. No one wants to, or are you just not okay. letting them? This was a less than fruitful adventure. Yeah, Rao really uh, whiffed on the med spawns there. That's rough. Oh, okay. Well, that, I know there's some med bags sense. up in the cardinal apartments. We can go hit. Well, we do know that the but game the question, at least has the capability of tracking what level you are and putting you in separate lobbies because they do it on ground zero. Guys left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, and it would make sense that there is some type of mechanic that tries to, as a new player, put you with other new-ish players, right? So that you're not getting... All right, you imagine you load in on your first raid ever and you end up fighting like fucking Landmark. Here. Right, you get Landmark Those and Those guys think, maybe and gave up on me, and I might be able to just sneak Dude, behind them and get Overwatch again. check. But it is really interesting from... I think I might like, actually do that. Or Cheater's perspective, for that matter, right? Like, this is either just going to result in if instant you're able death, to abuse that. or it might be the biggest brain play. Oh, you tied 18 seconds into Rashala? Rip, dude. I could probably weigh in on it, too. You noticed in your hardcore runs, you didn't realize until Trap mentioned it after his challenge run last week. Ral or, uh, Trap did have a few bot I also oh, want to sure. move <laughs> relatively fast because I don't want to be is caught. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, how did that guy hit right. him in the chest on the first shot and then like whip every single well, shot? And why didn't he push when he right. was just prone behind so the car responding. healing? He <gasps> was stuck, dude. Ibuprofen, huge. Oh, dude, massive. Massive oh. to find some ibuprofen right Ral's now. Ral's got sprinting. The scav. Easy XP right there. Yeah, we well, we're going to talk about that. That ibuprofen is huge. Your, uh, during your challenge segment. First raid ever, 18 seconds into Rishala. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, your first raid ever? That's hilarious, actually, dying to an NP to a boss. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what do you got that, for me? That, I would say that's my luck, but it wasn't. Drink? Um, I think Heavy bleed stop? My first raid ever we got out, it was a customs raid. Dr. Disrespect's cooked. But I do remember my first ever PMC kill was as a scav with my knife. <laughs> yes, it was. I panicked. I just pure panicked, and I like I had a shotgun. Something to my right. And I laid into the guy a couple times, right? And then I just pulled out my knife because, like, I thought that was like the standard thing to do in Tarkov when you ran out AK of bullets. Just you rushed just him. rush with people with your knife, like what you would do in any other <laughs> FPS, right? So is this connect? I don't remember. Freaking flashing. Yeah, it uh, does. And he killed me right as I killed him. It's gotta right? be right. Uh, and I remember, AI I was like, right? oh man, I didn't get him. And at the end screen, I saw the little question mark, question mark, question mark. And I looked over at Zane, and I was like, Zane. Does this mean I got him? <laughs> Zay was so excited. He was like, oh my god, that dude just quit. <laughs> I got fucking melee kill. This guy was wiggling. It's not great. Oh, oh. it's an AI scab. Yeah. Just chilling there. Bonked him. I'll shoot the ship's left out of you your entire night and eat your words. Yeah, dude. It, it, that was it, not the one that he shot at originally. Um... If science teaches us anything, it's that if you have a theory, it's going to prove you wrong. Ooh. Last bullet. That's a lot of scabs here. I didn't know so many scabs spawned here. Oh, the glue key, dude. Oh, a good helmet for him there. Yeah, that's some, some good stuff. And the rat nick is nice because you can't buy that anymore. Is it really <laughs> Echelon? That's awesome. Take this just in case. That's crazy. My first raid... Um... I don't really remember my first raid. I don't think anything super memorable happened. Mm -hmm. Your first raid was like, a really, really long time ago, too. It was like 2017 or something like that. Yeah, well, no, it was 2020. I thought you had played Tarkov before that. No, my first time playing it was after we'd moved here. Med bag. Okay. Yeah. I thought you had played it when we were back in Utah. Oh, oh my God. My Again, heart, out of Jesus. Nowhere. Okay, that scared us. <laughs> <sighs> that scared the hell out of me. Well, those are the ones that kill me. That was a, out of nowhere. That was an yeah. AI scab, bro. What? It, he hit me three times right there. Oh, he's oh, the triple tap bug. The thorax bug. Made no yeah. noise. Absolutely no comms. Yep. Nothing. <sighs> Just out of nowhere gets triple tap bug. Getting That's brutal. tarked. All right. That that, that was a Tarkov moment for sure. Yeah. It's time for Woods with a pistol. I love it. Woods with the pistol? Yep. I'm here for I, it. I like this. I like this. Going hunting. Dude, Sturman's going to be like. here. You're going to fucking smoke him. Get that SVDS. Uh, Sturman can get the smoke for sure. 
All right, let's see. If only you had an impact nade, right? Pistol and an impact. <laughs> <laughs> and a dream, I'm bad dude. with impact nades. I will uh, probably blow myself up with impact nades. I I actually I like I like throw them. Uh, I don't know. I, I like I jump the gun with them, right? I just like I throw them a little too early is the only way that I could. <laughs> I, I blow my load a little too fast when it oh. comes to those things. Hey, happens so those all, buddy. Don't worry. This right. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is getting. It's fun getting seeing the different strategies. Brown's got the money still. He hasn't really burned through too much cash. He's just burning through the gear. Listen, trap. I take it back. Okay, I, I didn't mean anything I said. <laughs> <laughs> I still think the plan was a good one, right? Um, execution is difficult, especially on streets, right? And it, and it being Tarkov, there's just no telling, you know, what could happen. Point in case being an AI scav that makes no noise and then triple taps you because that makes the game harder somehow um, instead of broken. But, <laughs> you know, True. so yeah. I, I wouldn't be too discouraged about that. It was a good, It's a good plan. Well, and honestly, no, like, like you said before, all it's going to take is like one good boss raid and then you're there so yeah. a little bit of gear come up here and then back to streets and right yeah go play a little bit of the most dangerous game on woods right be the oh, yeah. be the hunter <laughs> <laughs> okay There's you're definitely right getting there. reported by any pmc any pmc you kill this raid is reporting you, you 100 right? <laughs> <laughs> no shot no shot, you don't get reported this way. You kill anybody on this raid and report it. You 100%. <laughs> bro, the PMCs haven't even been the problem. I know, <laughs> bro. Sweet moves getting out of that car. I know oh, you yeah. saw that. Oh, dude, that was... We My were, we were like, how, how was that guy missing? He was like, he cranked you on that first shot and then whiffed every subsequent one. Yeah, I talked a lot of head. shit. Yeah. And then I remembered, had that been me, I would have missed all them shots, too. And I would have been slamming my mouse like, what the fuck, dude? Chat, we're going to run I a little bit of ads while you load in, okay? I love just, you guys. I was an alligator. Whoop. He is whoop. This fucking zigzagging, dude. Serpentine. Dude. He, he couldn't prepare. Yeah, you brought, I, you brought the honest. Jordans with you on that raid, dude. You were, you were putting on the swagger. I'll be so honest. Had that been me solo, that would have been a confirmed leave moment. I'd have been like, like, I'm, I'm done. done. <laughs> I'm done. No, no, you gotta, you gotta strap on the Nikes and send it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant as the, the other, other player, side. If she the other side of that, dude. As oh, you man. alligator away from me, dude, and I miss all of them shots, it's a confirmed leave moment. I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can test your luck. I'll go sit in the same drink, car, right get up, and bolt, and see if you can hit me before I get to the garbage can. <laughs> see if you got what it, take, what it takes. <laughs> I don't think I do. That's the scary part. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I know if someone's moving like that, I'm missing every shot. Oh yeah, dude, a hundred percent. Because you weren't zigzagging either. Like it wasn't just like left, right, <laughs> left, right. Like you were like left, left, straight, left, right. Like <laughs> <laughs> no pattern. I don't know what I'm doing, so they don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right? And there was, there were back. leans in there at some point, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> like. I started playing Rainbow Six Siege in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that definitely, uh, that would have dampened the beginning of my raid. I would have lost all confidence <laughs> in my ability to play the game. Yeah, I have a 30% a survival rate because of scavs only. Uh, scavs are my worst me. enemies. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. Because, like, like I said, they don't make any noise. And then you get triple tap bugged and things like that. I've I've been getting wrecked. By scavs, specifically the scav armies. Those are the ones that keep catching me out. I'll be away from cover, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, all three of them are on me, and I've just got like no chance to recover. I'll drop the first one, right? Turn on the second one, and then the third one drops me. I have been experiencing the most absurd one taps from scavs. Like that one, I had one, I was doing the jump over to new gas on customs, and one was in power window with a shotgun and one tapped me to the nape. Like, I have no just been shot. no warnings, just obliterated. That's uh, by scavs. insane. From power, yeah. you say? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just mean. All right, you got Yeah, it. I'm, I'm, I'm not cut. All right, chat. He's a hunter. We're hunting.
Pat, I've got a lot of optimism. That is very interesting, chat, that particular aspect of it, that we started this challenge mid-wipe, right? Um, and it's something that we'll definitely be cognizant of moving forward. Ooh, wantoned. That dude just turned around and stared right at him. Um, making sure that we run the challenge in a time period that is relatively the same as far as the competition in Tarkov is concerned. Um, and so what that means like is if we start at the beginning of wipe right we'll probably run a leaderboard for maybe the first six weeks of wipe and then start a new one right because now we're into mid wipe and it's a little bit harder for the people that would be participating mid wipe than it was for the people participating early wipe right and so we are going to try and be like i said cognizant of those of those differences in the tarkov economy i'll call it right um economy is not really the white word um would be a good word for that. Game state or game state? Game state. Game state. The pain was on a sick. There he is. Puppy's acting like he's afraid of something. Is he really? Uh, I don't think ads are running. If they did run, uh, thank you guys for coming back. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're it. done. They're done. I ran him as he was loading in. Makes sense. Very so I honestly can't go to the sense, mill. Right, we're uh, a little bit down the bad. Difference. Playing uh, the most dangerous game. Oh well, yeah, he's in a tough spot too. Just with the, he's only got a pistol. White what progression quality, average. Man? Yeah, uh, it's that's a hard thing to summarize, right? The the active state of the Tarkov gameplay and like where people are at with their uh, progression, right? As far as ammo level. Uh, traders is concerned. Is it a scav that's just not reacting? Be but I don't know where the hell that SKS is shooting. Yeah. It's so interesting that it looks better on your guys' view than it does on mine. <laughs> you guys are. I'm capturing my view. To stream to you guys, so you think it would look worse on the stream, but it looks so much better on the stream than it does on my main monitor. Just because of the, like, blow up. Yeah, I think it's just because of the theater mode that you're using. Uh, oh, it's because it... I know what it is. It's yours, your monitor's a 4K monitor. Um, and it's probably and not... 1440p, and this is 936. Yep, 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 yep. But the, but the window capture, it doesn't deal with that it, Yeah, it's, it's not scaling it correctly, so it's, uh... Literally just making the same amount of pixels bigger. Oh, this is dangerous. Again. This is dangerous. That scab does not want to go down. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no. Oh, not oh, like no. this. Not like this. I played the dangerous <laughs> game and it didn't pay off. chat. <laughs> not the arm. A rail by an AI scab with a shotgun for like 250 meters. Dude, they probably counted as like right, 10 shotgun really shells. Right now. Uh, the scabs are something else. Where's the scab that's closer? <laughs> Where's the scab that's closer? <laughs> there I feel is. that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Nothing humbles you faster than a scab in this. Okay. Dude, these scabs are just eating. I mean this. <laughs> Where's that SKS? Uh, this shooting? SKS. I have no <laughs> idea where it shoots. You got the nerf SKS, dude. I just. I, I think it like shoots like at the top of the iron sight. I just, I, I think it like shoots That's like at the of top of the iron sight. Paid off, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> that thing, it's all over the place, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, iron it's like SKS. Not any yeah, better. It, there's no shot. No, no telling where that shot's going. Oh, dude, you officially have a degree in business. Yo, congrats, Ashley. I was Ashley. really hoping for something. Huge news, dude. Rough Congratulations. Sight. Yeah. Don't put that that rear sight. Ooh. Oh, Cal, pretty big. Oh, he got a, oh. yeah, a Tom. Oh, an eight pack? Okay, oh, dude, on. this scab is juiced. 
We're kind of cooking right but now. At least he has heals now. He's he pulling out the Taz. He'd rather Can use the Taz. <laughs> Yo, did he hit that? No shot. Oh, no. It's still alive. It's still alive. I thought he did, dude. Oh, oh who's my like, God. you got to be shooting oh, me, dude. Oh. <gasps> the chest. Not like this. <laughs> the dolphin like died. This. It shoots where I aim it? No, it doesn't. I promise. These guys in this game are built different, dude. They're crazy. They're cracked out of their minds. Dude, Echelon, congrats, buddy. That's that's hype. Guys, I'm I'm really uh, I'm really fumbling a lot of bags here, <laughs> and each time I miss, I feel the pressure of dying to a scav go up <laughs> higher and True, higher. Dude. I was talking to him about it earlier. He was so pumped for today, and I was like, I'm about to watch you just absolutely crush this run or get tarked, so, like the hardest yeah. you've ever been tarked in your life. Was, I'm skill issue and left and right. With how pumped and how much shit he was talking, right? It was either going to be Perfect, the most impressive or, yeah. run you've ever seen in your life or a sunny side egg right up on his face, right? Nikita style. Um, to, to no fault of the Back zone, to the trusty to pistol. Clear, you guys, it's not a skill issue. It's just oh, he laid down. Tarkov has other ideas. <laughs> calculations for guns. Right, we're gonna reevaluate. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna come over here. We're gonna reevaluate. What's up, Busta? Oh, you gotta get that op SKS. He just he came in with the pistol. He's just using what he finds, right? I'm gonna cover Steve with the blankie real quick. Chat. He trembling. Chat. I am gonna take a second. I'm gonna comfort Steve. I'm not quite sure why he's so. Bro, I can't right kill now, anything unless I have a meta a if I can meta M4 him and and hold him for a sec. So I will be right back. We're re about oh we got a we got a sight on an ADAR. A little seven and forty. Ooh, some good ammo. Don't worry guys. We're we're gonna cook. Starting right now. We're gonna we're gonna put that in our bag. We're gonna put on the big boy heels. Ooh, All right. Big boy heels. Oh, he's got a scoped gun now. I got the ADAR. That's an ADAR, right? Or the M4? He's got the Woodstock and he got it off a of scout. I think it's ADAR. He's got the nice front grip on it, though. Yeah. And then you got to take off that rear sight. That'll help a lot. At least now he'll be able to hit things. Hopefully. Camp outskirts? No, no, no. We need... We need to put some XP on the board. I like that at every step of the way, Rao's constantly thinking about like the, the true goal of the challenge is just We're putting up as much vengeance. experience as he can. We're going for vengeance. He's going We're back after those scabs. scabs, you guys. I knew it. I knew he was going after him. We're trying to see how high of a level oh, sorry, anxiety, we can get a puppy. standard account in three hours. What a good boy. I had a good game plan, but I, I skill issued my way to failing my game plan. So now we're reevaluating and we changed the plan from running streets and trying to kill Caban. Um, the player scabs really really complicated that a bit and then the ai scab really sealed our fate we died both raids so now we're on woods and the plan with woods was just like redeem ourselves redeem ourselves he's looking for these scabs he's on the hunt chat what do you guys think about the new uh painkiller effect of swipe I think it's a dub compared to what it was before. 
desaturation, I think, is a way better way to handle that than, like, blurring your vision. Now Ral's putting shots on target. EK Circa 2020 back? Yeah, Mark dude. Cussies. That'd be Cussie nice. doesn't have a lot of, um... A lot of opportunity. Couple guns here, couple silencers. No scopes, so that's kind of a bummer. But the foregrip and the silencer is a pretty big deal. You know, you haven't used it at all. You can see it on Rao's screen right now, Guru. You see how it's like a circle of color? We're the trying edges to get of his screen are kind of like grayed out. Bigger raids. Oh, Salewa. Oh my god, Antis? A, a little Saliwi action? The big goal is to get uh, bigger raids with a lot of scavs, a lot of uh, boss potential. I just don't see customs doing that for us, so. Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty good. Like, I think it's fine. You see how the edges of the like screen woods, are great. There can out. be a lot of scavs. There's a lot of good loot on wood, so it like has the ability to bring us back to life. Ooh, another Salewa. Those are good heals to have. Grenade, pretty big. We gotta avoid that M700 though. That's a player shooting. Ral definitely has to be careful about running into that guy. Only got RRLP in the mags. Right. I'm gonna organize my loot real quick. Not super helpful if he runs into like a big PMC, but uh, fold this, switch that, get the fresh Lewa in there, uh, drop the Taws. You might just want okay. What, baby? Good. I feel he better. The smallest attention that he might just want attention right now. Oh. Is he chilling? He wasn't trembling for me as soon as I started to pet him and stuff like that, and he, he was wagging his tail a bunch when I came up. Yeah. Fallen like oh type thing. As you got up. As I got up. He's licking his greenie now. <laughs> I'm getting there. I had to, you know, I had to take He's get all my loot, then go inside and, and just take a quick glance at it. I think I gotta pick up your time. shorts. On. I'm wearing my adult daytime shorts. My dad shorts. Dad shorts. I'm gonna put comfy shorts on. Okay. No Ral not to die. Don't die, Ral. I don't know if he heard me. Probably not, because I'm not uh what does make me nervous is the lack of PMCs I'm seeing. That always makes me feel like there is a random snipe coming in from my head somewhere. Since I did lose the arm, I do have to stay PK'd up. Am I getting slow in my old age? Yes. It's more or less just in the setting of an M4 now. I'm restricted on time, I, I so I stuff. don't want to rush. I'm catching up, I'm catching myself. up. Does stash time count in the three hours, or is it pause and only raid time counts? So stash time counts once you've started your first raid. So uh, the timer doesn't start until you've gotten into your first raid, but once that's happened, yes, stash time does count. Come for your stuff. Oh, you got We're comfy shorts on, We're going to try and collect you know some that meds. Means, that means I get to see the booty, and I get to smack it. Oh, yeah. That's what that means. <laughs> That's what that means. So, uh, he's got an M4 to get that off a player now. Uh, it's an 8R. He got it off a of scav. That's not an 8R. Yeah, it is. It's got the nicer foregrip that scavs sometimes spawn with, so it looks like an M4, but it's an 8R. Yo, what? Mm-hmm. You can't see the wood stock right now. I was but just about to say yeah, I no didn't realize stock. how little sure? I start with. Yeah, so the the front sometimes instead of having the wooden thing on the front, they have an actual grip. That, that's definitely like. But it's uh, the same no, it's receiver. Got the, it's got the same gas block as an M4. Very big they increase. Yeah, they both do. And just because it's the same receiver and everything. Beginner stuff. Oh, oh yeah, you know where you're quirky. What? Yeah, you can prep stash before the first raid. It hurts yeah, so I need bad. This man to hit tab. Yeah, you'll see it when he opens it. It's an ADR. I need this man to hit tab so bad. Is that a person? So you can prep and stash prior to first raid if he you He just killed to. a guy in a bush. Yeah, who's in this bush? Didn't he, didn't he just kill a guy? I thought I saw I blood come out I about bushes in so long. I can never tell. No worries, Quirky. I don't think so. Maybe not. I thought I saw blood come in out of bushes that anymore. Shot. 
I thought he got somebody. For sure. I've been shooting at a lot of bushes, a lot of trees, a lot of greenery. A lot of greenery. All right, I'm going to take two seconds to step away and take some Tylenol. Sadly, my jaw is really bothering me tonight. Okay, love. I'm not fighting my own shadow out here. I just I was wondering if he's going to make the fudge joke. <laughs> fighting his own shadow. I don't I don't know. I, my hat goes late, off to anyone camp. who plays this standard only. I bet there's a lot of scaving going on in that world. He found some SPP. That's actually not terrible, but I think it's only like eight rounds or something. It's like barely even usable amount of ammo. I think I might have heard somebody here with Rao. Need a drink. See if this box got looted. It did. Could have spawned empty. Oh, that was Ooh. 995. Really Ooh. good ammo there. Yeah, food table got hit a little bit. Oh, they didn't take the sugar, though. Some Not people leave the, the sugar behind. Ooh. Ooh, a little cyclone battery. Actually, that was good money. Actually, I should take that for money, huh? Forget that gun. Nice. Cyclone battery, good money. Gold chain, also good money. Riles juicing up here, chat. This could be what he needs to get him back in the game in order to go to streets again. He's going to need to find something to drink here, though. He's pretty far hmm. away from extract. Uh, because he spawned on the other side, outskirts is going to be his we way out here. need some drinks. Oh, wait, no, he spawned outskirts. Path. He's going to have to take the other side. I will get us some drinks. There's a hot rod on that table. Ugh, a grizzly. You get excited for things okay, like the grizz on. and the AFAC right there, too. <sighs> what did you get rid of? I feel like the bolts probably you can get rid of, chat. Get rid of that. Put this up here. We'll get rid of that. We'll take the Grizzly. We'll get rid of that. We'll take the IFAC. Ooh, yeah, ibuprofen. ibuprofen. That's we'll a huge that come ammo. up on the on the meds. There's a drink. Literally juicing right now, chat. The only bummer, you guys, is it would be good for him to run into, like, a big group we of scavs or some rank. players. He's just not putting up any XP right now while he's getting some gear. So that is the tough thing about doing something like this is he's losing a lot of time uh, for XP farming on maps like Streets um, by staying over here on this corner of the map. You know, not a lot of scavs up here. Hopefully Bunker's yeah, got a few for him. Nice. He could have gotten lucky and found, like, a scope or something, which would have been huge, too. It's not worthless coming up this way. It's just... Right, just like we were talking about earlier, everything in Tarky is a gamble, and sometimes it pays off, and sometimes it doesn't. Anything money in here? That was going to be a second tool set. Dusa, hey girl, how are you? It's good to see you. Happy pre-Friday. Oh, I forgot the, uh, the hot rod I saw earlier. Oh, going back for the hot rod chat. I'm leaving without my hot rod. Is that a kvass too? Oh my god. We're big chilling. You know, one of our friends came in a hundredth out of thirteen hundred in a magic tournament. That's awesome. All right. We're going to we're just going to look for some scavs and then probably make our way out. 
I'm gonna wrap yeah. around out here. I think Ral's gotta start making his way to extract so he can start focusing on an EXP raid. Got harmed from darts. Getting out Huge this raid. Snow we might, we oh, might go back to streets. Like a snowman. Oh damn, Dusa. Dusa, what? What about you? We now? have an what? ADAR. We no have some nine nine five. What happened? <laughs> this might be a I go back really to streets. <laughs> start up. I, I do agree. I do think this is what Ral needs to make a streets raid pretty doable. He doesn't have money, so he can't take car right now. He's still missing an arm. I, I feel like he's got to make his way to extract here soon. Oh. Dusa, I don't know how to throw a dart. I think I'm going to need you to show me. He's got movement up here with him. Trying to make sure that there isn't one sneaking off here to the left. You got some kind of fucking problem. Tree saved that scav's life, chat. Cool, right? <laughs> that his stream is still just like five seconds ahead of mine, which really Oh, sucks. I can't wear I that. No. Right he got all of his Salewas in this raid. I think there's two more Salewas. Yeah, Salewas kind of big. <laughs> Them Salili was. The Salili wee wee wees. It's a big come up though. Yeah, I missed it. Is uh, it really doing, an AR chat? Is he lying to me message, or is that an I'm doing a zero to it's hero an ADAR. account. Or a zero to hero. I'm doing a standard <laughs> account challenge partnered up I'm being hosted by uh, the Shooty Loots. We get three hours to do uh, a your house so you can't fresh account to everywhere. see how far I can make it. That makes sense. That's the responsible thing to do. And I am struggling so far. One on, one on. Great tap on the scab. Okay. I love the those scab voice lines. They amuse me. Chat, I am curious how much the fact that he hasn't gone to ground zero at all is affecting his matchmaking, right? As a lower level account, right? I wonder if if there is some sort of hidden matchmaker, right? If it does, woods can be like a an absolute do nothing for zero than it does for everywhere else. Like you can easily do a woods raid and not see soul. It's tough because like even it's I do, crazy. like you're saying right now, like you can do woods raids and just not see anybody. Mm -hmm. Like I've definitely done woods raids on my main account, like late in the wipe and just not seen oh, a not single seen person. A single person, yeah. yeah. I I I would say woods is my favorite map. Um, I kind of like that aspect of it. It feels pretty natural, right, for something as big as Woods, right, and as yeah. covered as Woods for you to run a raid, even if it Ooh, is Oh, he's populated. taking shots from oh, down in the good. swamp. Yeah. Trying to be harsh on the XP gains. Him not going to ground zero. I, yeah. It's mostly, I just think, the deaths. The deaths are so punishing in this game and, and in this challenge. Yeah. Had he had he got out in that first streets raid that he'd have, he'd be, he would have been set up. Great, right? He'd had, I'm always he'd struggling, had a but I think this weapons, was a uh, ammo. He would have been sitting on a nice XP stack, right? Got that level one strength. He's trying to find this scab. It was, you know, it was the oh, gamble that didn't pay it off. That's a PMC. No way! It is. You're right. I think this Woo! was a nice. This was the pace we needed. This rate slowed us dude. down a bit, but we needed to uh, recoup. Yeah, where I was making. Oh no, it was a scab. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. So I think this is kind of like exactly it what we like need to do. It looked like one from that far away from my screen yeah, as well. Is that a, okay? I thought that was a dorm mark key for a sec. <laughs> that would have been was, nuts. It was a good shot, regardless. It was. Dude, it is an eight R chat. It is, yeah. Yeah, I told you. I I, I believed him, but I just like I I, I also didn't, didn't at the same time. I, didn't I got at you at the same time. You know what I mean? Like. Mm, I need to sacrifice two slots. I'll get rid of all oh, these mags. What am I doing? Okay. All right. Remember to chat. He does not have the money to take car. Quirky, do you play? Oh. Oh, did he taking shots from the bushes? Oh God. He's literally shooting him through the trees. And this area is back to being the most terrifying place in Tarkov when it comes to scabs because dude, of how tall the grass is. All the grass here, dude. Yeah. It's one of the scary spots for sure. I wonder what that area on shoreline looks oh, like now no, at the rework. Oh, I just thought about that. Yeah. Probably terrifying up there. Right there, we're for uh, Path John to Lighthouse. Scavage. Yeah, yeah. And all the John Wick scabs. I played it a little bit. I played it a little bit, yeah. a little bit before the, the snow. But 
backseat gamer. Oh, that's okay. I, I don't think I played this. We, I did play this white before the snow a little bit, I think. Because we think played so. day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You played it with no yeah. snow. Quirky, I get that. I get that. I enjoy commentating and doing this more than mm. I enjoy playing Dark Ops myself. I do play. Um, I'm just, you know, mediocre at it. Some days I'm good. Some days I'm really good. Some days you're like, holy fuck, Katie, what the hell? <laughs> um, and some days, whew, some days, I am the spaciest space cadet on the planet. <laughs> um, and I'm a T-Rex that, <laughs> that doesn't see things unless they're moving very <laughs> blatantly in front of me. True. Well, it's a tough game, too, Quirky. It's very punishing. All right, chat, we're through the first hour of the challenge here. Rao has yet to have a survive. Is this going to be the one? I think this is going to be... No, not yet, Trap. He has not out-leveled you. He did not have the luck that he was hoping to have on his streets runs. Unfortunately, he got uh, player scabbed on the first one and then an AI scab just sniped oh, him out of damn. nowhere on the Impressive second one. Impressive shot. Yeah, yeah, he got jumped by two player scabs on the... The first one was the player scab. The second one was a... Uh, he got hit with the AI triple tap bug. Yeah, the triple tap AI, AI scab. They're just yeah, yeah. done in for my yeah, life. So he's, he's kind of doing a... Yep, yep, yeah. We so like he's doing a recovery run. Did I cancel my PK? <laughs> like a rough I stuff did. around here, you know what I mean? <sighs> but okay. Better, yeah. uh, better have that safe word on the ready. <laughs> but yeah, so now he's he's doing a refresh run on Woods. He's trying to get some yeah, gear and reset reset. his pace. Um, and then I think his goal is Good he's going to send it right back Woods to was the backup plan if we fell apart on streets because, let's uh, be honest. Quirky, thank you for confirming. Not big on you surviving. Here. Appreciate you. <laughs> we know. We now, now know. Now we know. And this this you, woods raid no has gone. Oh, there's it's car exactly money. How I'd hoped it gone. Ended up with the car money. That's good though. He's that. That's a big dub though. Pick up that money for car. Woo. And if he continues to make this rotation on out, he'll be out in the next five minutes or so. Anyway, nope. so she he knows. He's just looting. I mean, yeah, De De Deuces hangs out in Trap's chat a yeah, lot. Deuce knows. Right, so she knows. She knows. <laughs> now I know. You know what I mean? Now I know that you know that Deuce knows. Now we all know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're getting ready to make our boogie out of here. Us, our final trek. Yeah, yeah. Push with a lot of M4. Yeah, yeah. The eight R. Yeah, the eight R. The M4. Both. Oh, right. ZB14 key. Yeah, he, he was running the loud M5 at one point too. That this guy's got a Zell. Gang. This is a scab gang on him. Oh man. It's a gang. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. They are so coordinated. It's insane. The, I told you the scab. There's so many. Me. He's got a heavy bleed, two lights. Oh, oh no, black we lost head. Our head. Oh no. This is Uh oh. This is Wrong wrong heel. Oh chat. god. Chat. Oh, oh this is so my bad. He needs to do the heavy lynched body. He's my just whole the thorax. body. My whole body is tense right now. Bro. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever oh, seen this before no. in my life. Oh, this man no. is the most chicken nugget, I have chicken nugget everything. I've ever seen. I can't, I can't take this. Yo, can we get some nuggies in chat? Who's oh, I, ca I can't take this, dude. Oh, my God, you guys! All right, it's, we're just gonna leave. In one shot, and we're he's dead. We're just gonna pat this finger is, We're gonna get out of here. Terrifying. <laughs> Traps just got uh, the big got fingers. Some you know? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna bop in a bucket. Oh my <laughs> god, <Jesus>. chat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. It went south so fast. <laughs> I saw the Bro, one running and he had the armor the on and you called out the gazelle. Like that is the most terrifying thing. Yeah. That's what he just said. It's when they're so in a clump, bad. those scav gangs, dude, they are built different. They are terrifying. They are terrifying. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> you have a bucky. <laughs> if car's up, I can take car. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> You can do I'll it, buddy. It, he's, he's not having a good time, Kiwi. Yo, it's good to see you. He's trying his best, you guys. 
Yeah, it's not up. Dude, I cannot believe. <laughs> how is he still alive right now? <laughs> yeah, not happy about Wait, how is, I thought I thought car was still guaranteed. On I can't once. run. It is, unless someone took it. I think it just. I didn't can't run die. Before. I definitely can't die. But dude, when those scams spawn, the We're groups of three, walk. where they spawn in a tight group of three, chill. they are so aggressive so and terrifying. And they're, no. they're coordinated. They, 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 they lost too. They caught him when he was yeah, out. Yeah, I'll make it to yeah. Northern Walking. He was walking. out of cover. Just yeah. got and they swarmed him in such a way levels. that he couldn't get cover. Yeah, they had him from two different angles. Yeah. Yeah, they they're really but, coordinated. Check the it's pin crazy. Message. We're doing I, I a standard account challenge. So I'm giving given a standard account. Like, unless somebody takes it, it is always there. Yeah, it's guaranteed. We're trying to see how well we can do while they are. Monitoring you, our every mistake. If you look at it when you when he hits his uh, if he pulls up his extracts again, you'll see that very it, hardly for being it doesn't have the question right marks now. next to it. He's got a broken uh, this is limb awful. too. <laughs> uh, does he have a splint? I'm not even sure if he knows he's got a broken uh, thing. Not that it matters. He's I literally don't think just he a can thorax. do anything about it. Crazy dude. Sylv. You got no tummy. All right. So thanks for the raid. How was your stream, brother? I appreciate you. Oh, this is brutal, and he's having a pain. So he's about to be out of food and water as well. His stomach's gone. Yeah. He can't run. If he takes one sprint step, he dies. Yeah. If he takes any point of damage at all, uh -huh. he'll die. That's why he's got to manage his so, food and water here, yeah. too. Keep nugget alive. Gonna keep the Dougie alive. Yeah, and he's also has to manage his pain so that he can continue Live, to die, Tarkov. Yeah, right? we're we're so, all for two. This is three, and it's not. So he's on a constant cycle right not now. Not in the best place. I'm gonna be honest with yeah. you. If he gets out, if he can get out of here, there's not there's no scabs yeah, bad, between okay. here and my bad, the extraction. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was You're just saying. Oh, there's, there's scabs. Jerk oh, he's not going to car anymore. No, 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 no. He's going through old sawmill. Yeah, I see. The only thing that he's got to worry about at this point is player scabs and PMCs that are just here super, super late. Like what happened? A horde of scabs spawned. On top of me. Yeah. yeah, any any and any player interaction and he's dead here. Me violently. Yeah. Unless he gets a lucky one tap. And I was or leaking like all first. over the place. I managed to yeah. save my thorax, but it cost I, I me my head. I know for my player scab runs, I take this route that he's So I really don't know right which now. one was more right. worth. It's a sunken. But we, we kept one Nerve of them. We lost everything yeah, else. Dude, this is... Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> I cannot believe wow. you don't get access the CMS kits out the gate. <laughs> the standard account is so rough. Dude. <laughs> you know, Yo, I actually might have to run. If yeah, I run, I, I won't die, right? I can take yeah, he's gonna die. He's, if he runs, he's going to die. Because I'm going to run out of drink. I should be able to run. Oh. I don't remember if I can yep. or can't. Yo, yeah, no, his, his chat's telling him. I think if he I runs, run. he dies. Yeah, if he runs, he's going to die, chat. I think his chat's telling him. Oh, Hopefully. no, don't do it. Hopefully. I see his chat telling him, no, you will. I'm just. Dude. I don't remember. Right now, I'm in like a panic. <laughs> and I don't remember if Please I Please don't hit that sprint. Dude. Don't hit that sprint button. I gotta keep an eye on my water. He's going to be so or upset. I don't know if he'll die. <laughs> He's just gonna, he, he will die. He's going to be so upset with himself. He will 100% die. I think runs. water is fine. It's starvation that you die Trap from, right? Trap's telling him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hydration's fine. Starvation's the one that kills you. He's like, yeah, dude, go die. Yeah, dude, hit that shit button. Hit it right now, dude. We're going to walk. We're going to mosey our way down. He's, he's, he's got a plan. He's got to stick with we'll it. We'll find out yeah, in a second, like I think. In I, I chat, genuinely like, no, don't, don't do remember. it. Don't do it. <laughs> we'll wait till he gets out. You know, I'll tell him, or whatever the end result of this is. Yeah, dude, we can see I, the promise line is right in front of us. He's like, he's he's like, like I'll see you try it. it. Oh, I'll dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll all cry. I will. I'll start bleeding again. Don't run. Dude, if, he, if he actually spreads right here. Oh, dude. Okay, you see how card doesn't have well, question marks? Listen. It's because it's a guarantee. All right, chat. Somehow... He I, made it. I think he made it out he of that raid. It. That's crazy. That's a fucking tum tum. <laughs> Chicken nugget extraordinaire. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was stressful. Oh, dude.
Um, God awful. I hated that. I'm, re- that I'm, so I'm really intense. glad you didn't sprint because you definitely would have died. No, <laughs> Petey would have died. We were sitting here. We were like, please don't do it. I was sitting here like weighing the pros and cons, and I was like, wait, I have Sick. enough food. Thank you so much Sick. for the raid, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome yeah, in everybody coming in from but Six a Chat. Nugget, dude. We are the Shooty Ludes. If you don't that. know us, my name is Zane. This is my wife, Katie. We are currently running episode two but of I that. The Loot Sack. It's our standard account challenge. We've got Ralatar here running that's... with us. He's about a third of the way in. He just we had his first that. survive of the night. He's been getting tarked up a storm. Um, he's running on a fresh standard account. No assistance. <laughs> no um, CMS. <laughs> yeah, no CMS. He's he's hating it right now. He's hating it. <laughs> he's not having a good time. Zerk said, thank you so thank much you for so that much follow. follow. Ninja, I'm sorry. We have the alerts turned streets. off for the challenge. Uh, we'll get you those points refunded. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy your stay with us and that you find this uh, this particular challenge entertaining Touch. like we do. He talked trash about you. He dude. came in really confident. He trap. was confident. He was gonna. He was gonna he, succeed. He was he like, "This was is gonna like, be easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill way. Caban. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna beat Trap in one raid." Yeah, dude. He was. <laughs> he was confident. He was real confident. He was like, "I did Caban early this wipe, and I got 55k XP." Right. All right. So, so he was. What do you make it? Sick. For, Thank you so much for the raid, come buddy. Come back. Tell me what you made for dinner. All right. I want to know. Bad Ralph finally got a W. Yeah. Same. He needed the survive for sure. Yeah, he needed that. That survive was massive, though. They gave you some some gear you needed, dude. Put you back on the on the come up. How you feeling? Yeah, that's scav feeling, army. But... Yo, dude, yeah. that's scav, scav army, dude. When they yeah. you, you talked about it, we were talking about it here too. When they spawn in clusters like that, the little scav gangs, yeah. they are the vi- they're vicious, yeah, dude. And they're they vicious. catch you out every time when they spawn like that. They they know that you're like out of cover and they pinch you from the start, man. It's brutal. Well, I think yeah. one of those guys had a gazelle on. That he one, did. That the first, first one guy, that you were yeah. just pumping rounds into. Well, I got really excited because he was the first one that I saw. I was like, oh, that scab's got a zell on him. He's going to drop him and he's going to get that zell. And then all of a sudden I heard the other ones and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Katie's been caught by that one before. Yeah. All right, we, we oh. back on the kabusi chase. Yeah, we got that. We got that survive. So we're going to we're going to push back to streets. I love I like it. it. I'm here for it. He's going to be there. I I've, I got the faith. I've I think his optimism. I think his spawn rate's like twenty four percent right now. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, it's very high. I like it. There's a good chance he could be there. That's something to pay attention to as well. Like we're running this, the difference in the spawn rates versus for each challenger. Yeah, definitely. It's tough. You know, we can't control what BSG does. It's just kind of. You know, no, part of but the we can keep of the track run. of the differences, right? Sure. So that yeah. people can, you know, be informed when we show them these stats, right? You know, this one was done in snow. This one wasn't done in snow. Yeah, I can right? track that too. Um, one of the other things that uh, Rob mentioned earlier was, you know, the difference of it being mid wipe versus the beginning of wipe, right? Um, <laughs> but, you know, just tracking stuff like that. Uh, th- uh, you know, we're at that 33% survival rate, right where we should be. Right. There we go. That's spot. what you said. You were going to rock that 30% survive, dude. Yo, Moist. Know, what's up, buddy? Really Good to see you. What was really interesting was that trap when at the very end of the three hours, his survival rate matched the survival rate of his uh stand- his account that he runs, his EOD account. So it's I'm going to be really interested. In yeah, it was like almost holds. exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, for everybody, right? It's because if you're if you're playing the way that you normally play, right, um, then th- that logically would make sense, right? That your survival rate would come out to be the same. Average out. Yeah. 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 You guys might want to mute my stream while I'm loading in because this <laughs> is not I wasn't ready for this. Oh, you're good. You're good. We got it <laughs> muted so that we can chat with you like directly. You're chilling. <laughs> I can't even hear you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud. What'd you guys hit him with? Uh, Lee. 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 Oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's our hype song. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Look at look at him get he's yeah, getting dude. into it. I don't I can't Love hear it. it at all, you guys, and even I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> Katie's feeling it. She's feeling the vibes. I'm vibing with it. <laughs> yeah, chat, welcome in. If you guys missed episode one, you can catch it on YouTube if you're interested in checking out uh traps run. Uh we've got our leaderboard here as well showing the trap put up level eight, 46k XP. 
in three hours. Uh, right now, Rao, I think Rao's sitting, he's at level four, so he's probably sitting around like 30k XP, I think. Maybe a little bit less. Uranio, howdy, welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry, Katie, what were you going to say? Uh, I, I, I was going to say, if, if anybody is interested in participating in this challenge, right, um, the <laughs> only requirement that we have is that you do stream, right, so that we can interview you, show your content. Um, but if you're interested at all, please uh, DM either myself or Zane on Discord. Our Discord link is right here. Um, there's no skill requirement, affiliate requirement, or anything like that. So if you have any interest at all, please please reach out. We want to know more about you. We want to know more about the Tarkov community as a whole. And we want to know more about how people play this game, right? What, what strategies would you take uh, right. if you were given three hours with a fresh account to get as far as you could? So, uh, yeah. If you're interested, please let us know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We've got a lot of people coming up uh, in the next few weeks. We've got Luau coming up next week, next Thursday, 8 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. We're going to be traveling oh, to Dallas for Lufest. And then so that week we won't have one. And then the week after, we actually already have a guest lined up. We'll get a promo out here soon, but that's going to be with Veronica G. What's Welcome back. Are you sufficiently hyped up, dude? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's the right there. Hell yeah. Deuce, I'm sorry. All the sound alerts are turned off while we're doing this. Look at Trap. Trap Trap said level uh, crazy week. My level's crazy week? Yeah. <laughs> I, three raids. I survived once. <laughs> I have PMCs have been non-existent. I've seen yeah. one PMC and I killed him. I, you did. I, wait, didn't you get two? I thought you found two. No, I I you didn't see any PMC. PMC. It's just the one with the RFP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then the one shot at him, and he, he managed to get away. Yeah, yeah, that's right, the one buddy, I'm good thinking luck. of. Your alligator you. one. All right, yeah, here we go. That's All right, buddy, good luck. Of. Thank you. Your alligator one. All right. No way this is real. The myth, the legends, the shooty loot. What's Sushi? up, Kitty Sushi? Right, so we're going to see you, buddy. Luan doesn't she? He's going to stream. Uh, if they don't come this way, for we're sprinting in for Kaban. Get hype. Get excited for it. It's going to be a good time. The return. Yes. This is a spicy push. Level is crazy weak, Trap. I love it. <laughs> Kitty Sushi, we're doing so good. This is our new, uh, the Loot Sack standard account challenge. If you missed it last week, buddy. Uh, episode one's on YouTube with Trap. And this is episode two with Ralatar. Uh... So I think it has to do with I, uh, doing, not doing grounds there. I don't I'm think so. For Veronica, you guys, I'm I'm just genuinely excited for already the amount. Okay, of that sounds like a Caban guard. No, it right sounds now. like a it's, it's, it's PMC humbling. maybe. It's, it's kind of thought um, it might have been one of those sniper. It's been really guards. amazing. Exciting and validating. Might to my right? left you, here. Know, you know what I mean? You you, mm -hmm. you think about something, it becomes a brainchild, and you're like, I'm I'm pretty sure this is a good idea, right? But you're there's that fear of what if it's not. Um, and you guys have done a fantastic job in letting us know that it it, it is a good idea. And that yeah, you're someone's in Concordia. Thank you very much for that. Um, can't we can't do this without you? So thank you guys for the constant support. You guys are the best. Oh, hard to hear me over Ral. Can you see she says? Well, I might die right now. I lowered his volume a bit. Okay. That one's just like your gain and stuff. You're the same volume I always have. I guess maybe his Twitch stream was just a little too loud. Can you talk for me again? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, can you guys hear me better now? Is that that mixed a little bit better? See, uh, his runtime ends. Your yeah. Your gain at, just seems a little low. Okay, you go ahead again. Eastern time. Uh, see, that's Eastern time. So it's in an hour and a half for us. Okay, I think that's better. I am very soft-spoken compared to those other nerds. I I tend to not be, unless I get like really really excited. I I tend to not be very loud. Um, I don't know. I am sad. I don't There's know. No it depends. No kabusi chat. <laughs> All right, what's Ralph's plan? I think I think he's got to go for the reset. This is our chance for a server. Shadow, uh, Ryle has been getting oh, tarped a little bit. He has a, a mule on that shelf. Emotional damage. Great idea. <laughs> a great plan coming in. Yeah, Shadow, he's been getting tarped really bad. Um, First he, raid, he got swarmed by player scavs, and he ended up dying. And then the second one, he got uh, the thorax bug against an AI. Oh, spicy with all those shots attack. going on on the other side. Oh, he's going to yeah, he rat him from in here. Lucky at Woods in his last raid, too. He got turned into a nuggy. Yeah, he almost died on his Woods raid. 
He's, he's at one out of three survive rate right now. Yeah, yeah it was it was spooky. Angel, thanks for the follow. Uh, okay. so yeah, the, the goal is right me. now. He's looking for com, uh, Bond Kabusi. I was about to call him Kanban. We're 100 percent just about to run Kanban. This, Dude, I, it's too close to Kanban, and <laughs> for those of you who know, you know. Hey, he's got pe people right in front of him. Oh, they're running! <laughs> I hear it. Yep. Yeah, there's another one. And they ran straight to the aspect building. Two people. One guy's outside in the parking lot to the right from Concordia. And there's a player there's in the no. aspect building right now. If Kitty Sushi really thinks you're the follow us, I appreciate you. Okay, so there's someone over there by Sparja. There's someone in there. As soon as I confirm this guy doesn't have a friend behind him, I might just third party this. Yeah, this is a tough spot that Ralph put himself into here. As soon as he gives his way his position, he's trapped in here. Mm -hmm. That was weird. Yeah, it's a definitely a risk reward here to to rat this particular spot, right? Mm -hmm. People aren't going to expect it, but once if you get caught out and you don't make your shot, you're screwed. Absolutely. And then he's got weird audio bugs of it making it sound like he's getting shot at. Uh, yeah, no, his, his right? character is even doing the uh, wince, right? The the. <laughs> How did that guy? Like, I didn't see him. That's crazy. Yo. Is he coming in? Or is he getting on the gun? He just got on the gun. No shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, and remember that. <laughs> Get ratted. Remember, Get ratted. Yeah. Remember, remember that Rao's name is like one Q four three two W A Q. Yeah, he just got bullshit. reported. <laughs> <laughs> also, he just made Stank Rat so proud in that moment right there. Like Stank, I hope you were watching. I hope you see this. I hope you see it. You should put a clip marker for that one. That was I a good did. One. Yeah. I did. Oh man. That was that was gold. Man got on the gun, dude. It's a death That's sentence every time. Man. And let that be a lesson to you, chat. Yeah, never don't get on that get gun. Get on the gun. Also, <laughs> check this garage. Yeah. That's, yep. okay, Clear your sectors. Just yeah, dude. <laughs> just just, just, just like throw a nade in that garage. Just, just cause. You know, he can go. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll I'm grab afraid this is a PMC right here. That, that would be a good one. Yep. If there's a PMC right here. Oh. I get a lot of against a man during the run. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know? Yo, I think honestly that goes on its own leaderboard. I feel like that he's, happens. Yeah, if you, if like you get banned duo. during For your him run, to get on that I gun mean, like that, it's definitely going on TikTok. I can yeah. tell you that. And now he's watching over there because this guy on the gun's like, "Oh, bro, I just got, I got on the gun. I just got one tapped." Yeah, he's right. No, There's I, a I can't. I can't move. This guy's right here. Yeah, he's a hundred. He's right, right in front of me. He's got a buddy. Yeah, that guy's trying to There's figure no out how the fuck his buddy yeah. died. He's right? like, what the fuck? I feel like if that guy knew Ralph was in there, he'd drop a Might nade a in. I would have, yeah. If he had one, not everybody runs a nade. Yeah, getting kills with those guns is fun, though. The mounted guns. Anytime you can kill somebody with it, it's pretty crazy. Sounds like a scab, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think so. No. You have false positive man in three hours. They have other problems. Right? I think it's a player. It's too hesitant. Scabs move around a lot. Well, if he's not aggroed, he'll just go to a spot and then he'll sit. He'll sit there and he'll like spin. Well, that's what I mean. That they spin. This guy's not moving. He, he's like he shuffles and then he stops. Yeah, it's a tough. It's a tough spot. That's why I said when he went in there, like you're you're you put yourself. There's in gotta a be hole. a scab. There's no way that a PMC is just sitting there swiveling back and forth like that. I, I kind of agree with it all. I think it's a scab, but it, it's just a tough spot. I can't hear the swivel. What you been up to, Shadow? Maybe he can go prone here, peek under. Be, yeah. I think he just ate two headshots. No, it's he's hitting the metal in front of you him. You can see the blood on the wall. Yeah, that is a that PMC. That was a PMC. And he ate a heady. Oh, man. Oh, the nade. He is not in a good spot now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. No! Damn it. 
<laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, uh, dude, that was rough. What was that guy doing just sitting there swiveling dude, in that I, we, container? Katie Seriously. was like, that's a player. And I, I'm sitting here like, that's a scav, right? Like, it's just he's just spinning. Um, that's crazy. Also, do we want to talk about the headshot of M995? Dude, he, he ate, he ate yeah. it. Yeah, he ate it. So to me, it looked like it hit the, the grate in front of you. Yeah, but there's blood on the back wall behind him. It still penned. You saw his head bounce. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's wild. Yeah, he's actually alive. That's He's fucking wild. level 60, 8,500 hours. I could have definitely played that better. I thought it was a scab, and that's the only reason I started doing that. I'm so what, sad. What a weird movement from him in that, that container for 8,500 hours. That's wild. Yeah. Crazy. I had a feeling it was a player. It, it wasn't. I didn't hear like back and forth like spinning, swiveling. It was more shuffling, if that makes sense. I'm taking a nap, oh have a nice night. Like if you want to freak it off, I was great. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 His, his U lock is at 61 out of 66 as well. So, helmets just doing what helmets do this wipe, I guess. Wild, dude. I was shaping oh. him to be a good one, but that, that, that. That room is so tough. Once you get spotted in there, like it's not yeah. a lot of not a lot of movement you can make. A hard yeah. spot to rat. I was really hoping to not be in there that long. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm so sad. Um... <laughs> yeah, going in there is really tough solo. I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, just like crawled under there solo. I've always had somebody with me to watch outside because yeah, as soon as that happens, you're screwed. You can't. You get caught in there. Uh, I think that's the w one thing is, I think the one thing that happened for me is normally I will, um, I can jump out the top using strength, right? But now my stats are slaughtered. Yeah. So I yeah. couldn't <laughs> just bounce off the top and be like, yo, I'm out. See you guys later. I didn't yeah. even know you could get out from the top like that. I didn't either. Super Dark War, what's up, buddy? Moves. Good to see you. How are you? Gotcha. Yeah, you'll, See, have to, you'll have to show me that on my big boy account where I got some strength. Because I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I can show you guys the tech. <laughs> All right. Let's get kitted. Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't survive a lot of raids. It's just the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. I do the dumb ones that stuff. you do survive, though, are thick as fuck. Yeah. Oh, I should have just not eaten that. All right, I'll be good on money. I think it's just going to be getting stuff done. Because, what, we're almost level five? <laughs> yeah, the stats are lining up, right? <laughs> I don't know. You're still one big raid away from crushing this out of the park. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Right, and, and still plenty of time to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're halfway. Yeah, halfway, yeah. We only need one raid. Yeah. Trap in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat, let me check ads. Trap's going to feel rough if I have a 20% survival rate and I'm going to run ads, chat. I love you guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, I... I... I think it's so interesting the the different like flexes, right? I'm gonna call them, right? Like the mm -hmm. twenty percent survival rate still out XP you, right? <laughs> like out XP you in one rate. I don't know, it's just it's so funny to me. You guys oh, yeah. crack me up. It's really enjoyable. Like, yeah, you might have beat me in levels, but I got a melee kill, motherfucker. Right, right yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just, sushi. I gotta string it together. I um we do do so Come we have, might actually be um we got Luau Impossible. next week, and then the week after Loot Fest, so not that Thursday, but the following Thursday, we're going to have Veronica G on, and then I've got more people in the works that I'm chatting with. If you can manage to snag, like, a guard and catch him out and, like, maybe steal a shit, possibly, but yeah, it's going to be real tough. But, hey, you just yeah, need that, that Peemer off the gun. gun, dude. Yeah. True. Get the get the juicer that's there to loot relax key, dude. Yeah, that'll do it too. Actually, if you if you can catch a peamer out, steal his shit, then go in there. Yeah, run that man's pockets. <laughs> run his pockets, dude. I'm at the point. I'm not even worried about the money. Mm -hmm. I just I just need to get some XP under my belt. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
I don't plan on having any money at the end of this. I'm yeah, no like need one to. Of those private server tournaments where, like, you see me only looting like the priority like meds and stuff because. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> once you're is. done, I'll log in and I'll screenshot all the stats and then wipe it. So okay. it's not that account's not gonna survive past tonight. So yeah, well, we will take a account. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got screen markers set up to catch like your heaviest weight raid, like longest shot, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, run and it then... dry, dude. Yeah, we'll take a screenshot of the skill screen at the end. So, and then we'll send it to you so that you've got it. Right I've got a, that. I've got a channel for you in our Discord. Okay, where you can see it. I haven't put any, but like all that's where I'll stick all the stats later, just for like posterity and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, it was tough, dude. I that guy, fucking tan that guy doesn't even realize how lucky he is. <laughs> yeah, M nine nine five. Yeah, he just unfortunately the pen took enough off of it. I should theoretically. I, I still right. can't believe that he was just swiveling in the container like that. <laughs> yeah, I should have slow walked my way all the way out. I think eighty five hundred hours in. May I, maybe you could have gone prone so that you weren't That's hitting what into I was the thinking. grate. But you might have been able it. to go prone. He yeah, you would have heard it. And I had no nade to toss, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I have a nade? I, I wonder if you could have backed up to the back of it and then gone prone. Right? He still may have heard it, but he might have been harder for him to see you. I think my only move there was to crouch walk over to the the gap that you can get out of, and then like and wiggle my body wiggle through, out. and then yeah. slow walk around the corner and head tap him. Yeah, no, you're not dealing with the great. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like the great, and then the U lock ate the rest of the round. So yeah. there's like there's this fucking blood spray on the wall behind him, and he's still kicking. It's just damn it. <laughs> so sad. That was oh, yeah. my chance. That was a calm up. That was it right there. Oh yeah, that guy. He had a um. Oh, he was thick as voodoo well. on an MDR. Yeah. Oh. He was he yeah. was so thick, dude. So yeah. juicy. But yeah, you definitely get the Nuggy Award. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you're, yeah. You're our... That was the lowest HP for sure. <laughs> I also get the most deaths to scav award. Lowest survival rate award. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Yeah, dude. You're, you're crushing it for award season, honestly. It's like golf, I told, right? <laughs> I told you guys, don't expect too much. <laughs> hey, as long as we're having fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, homie. Yeah. Good luck yeah, on this yeah, one, yeah. buddy. GG, GG's. Thanks, thanks. Thanks. Buddy. Thanks. thanks, thanks. Yo, Dark World, we're doing so good. We're chilling. This is episode two of the loot sack. I'm having such a good time. Oh, sorry, Kitty Sushi. That we have all the fun? alerts turned off right now. Sorry about that, Kitty Sushi. We, uh, yeah, we're we're trying to keep the the feed the main focus here. These iron sights aren't bad. Got I some seven and Appreciate you guys 40. coming in and saying hello. We'll be back to our normally scheduled nonsense tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what we're playing. Not, no clue. We've got Hell Divers well, to play. We've got Speed Crew. We might play that first, maybe. Uh, maybe we get hooked on it. And we just play Speed Crew. I, um, I have a feeling that might be a stupid game that hooks me, but we'll find out. I, I, I can already tell you from watching Hell Divers that I'm gonna love that game. I can't I, wait to play. Yeah, it. I'm excited for that one too. I, it's one I'll know I'm gonna really enjoy too. That's a player. He's got a duo. Oh, shit. That was a PMC that Raw just dropped right there. There's another one. Slow walk. You can hear the guy moving in there. Sounds like the guy's down in the lobby. He may have moved upstairs. I would go to the third floor. That's where I would go. But some people don't know that that's even an option on this building. You can hear him creeping around in there. Yeah, he's still lobby. He's trying to figure out where Raul is. Mm -hmm. Well, his buddies in comms going, it's a cheater. It's yeah, because that shot was also nonsense. Where's this man? Just slump that dude right oh, there. Oh, there he is. He's prone. Oh! <laughs> Bro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> is there another? Quirky, that is a fantastic idea. Thank you for that. We'll uh we'll try to get some of those made for for It'll next be a Thursday. Good idea. Yeah. It's a good idea, Quirky. Thank you. 
going on the board. It's going on the board. I love it. There's definitely another. Yo, imagine getting one tap by a white name like that. Oh, there's Can a nade. He's in the stairwell. Or he's... Oh! He used it to run away. Oh, he's pushing. He doesn't know where Al is. Did there's he go upstairs? More. Yo, what? There's two more. There's a four man. Yo, if they didn't know where he is, they know now. I think there might have been some team damage there. <clears throat> I think in that chaos, because I think I heard someone healing after he ran one's away. One's on the stairs, one's in by the elevators. Aw, thank you, Quirky Chick. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, Quirky. It means a lot. Oh, that's a good gun. That's a good... Oh, it's an M700, though. That's tough. All you pretty ladies gotta come, like, stop coming in here and making me blush, dude. I can't focus when that happens. <laughs> Got the M700, dude. The one tap wonder. I think yeah, you're upstairs now. We're about to watch him pop off now that he's got a real fucking weapon with a sight. Well, he's got armor, too. He's got a decent tier 4 rig on and yeah. a fast MT. Yeah. He's kind of chonky now. He's a little thicky icky now. He's got more nades. He didn't bring any nades with him, so this is actually huge. This oh, my God. Big the come up for him. He's also got green flares to get out. Big, a, big come up. And an FN 5.7 pistol. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he managed to grab any spare mags for it, though. I think that's what he's trying to double back to potentially get now. He wants to fight these guys. He wants all the salute. Oh, I would, I, and the XP. Yeah. All right, this is a big come up if we can get all four of them. No, maybe it's just the one. I think the one went upstairs. Is that an M700? What yeah, is that? it's yeah. an M700 with a voodoo. Just not used to the stock that it's using. Great nade if they're still in that stairwell. Oh! Oh, there's two. Oh, great shots. Oh. Bro. Wow. Let's go. Come wow. On. <laughs> you got the 7 and 40 in this thing. Yes! <laughs> Yo. Let's go. That just happened, Woo! chat. Let's fucking go, dude. That just fucking happened, dude. Corky, there's the highlight reel. There it is, dude. There, there it is. That's dude. a four man fucking reported him. That's a clip, bro. <laughs> that's nice a work. Quick report. That's a report. Four <laughs> of them, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I just that's said. A report. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a, all four of them reported him. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, GG's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, god, I'm feeling that was I'm feeling that was it fucking right impressive. Now. <laughs> that was some good I just shit. Let's save these two mags. Get that mag. Well done. Well done. Ran that squad over, dude. I, uh, yeah, I would have reported that. I'm gonna uh, be honest. <laughs> what is that sight? Oh, okay. It was because of the. It's the two. It's the two. No, no, no. It was because it, it was like pushed up against the body. Oh, so, like, I saw <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph's bricked up, rolling Yo, thick, dude. Fucking sick in chat. You guys, you gotta leave. He's only got two hours on the account. He's fucking cheating. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Chu? Chu, what's up, buddy? Chusky, he just took out a four man that 100% reported his ass. Oh yeah. There's dude. no no. He's a, he's a standard it. account, and his name is like one Q four three two W A Q or something mm. stupid like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely just shit on this four man. Chew, dude. how are you, buddy? Just outplayed. You report him. You see how cute he is, right? dude, right? Look at how cute he is. <laughs> how you are you, brother? You got two man. hours on the account. True. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two hour account. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, there's another. Oh, my what God. There's that? another player. It's a, Run five man? it's a five man. 
Oh, damn, well, dude. Thank you for coming in, too. Oh, again. no shot. There's Arena. another one. Yeah. What? Oh, that's a nade. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, I'm not peeking oh. it again. I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm not peeking it again. Well, he's going to peek it again, though. He's going to fucking do it again. That guy's like role playing me in the juice bin. What is that? What's up, Ranger? What's up, buddy? Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, man. We're having a good time with it. How's the arena raids going, Chew? Ranger, thank you so much. Oh, that scared me. Man's crazy. Oh yeah, dude. Ginger homies unite. Smack in the PvP on Arena. Dude, Chew, you pop off on Arena. Uh, a different team then. That, There's dude. two of them, I think. Yeah, Ralph stayed here too long. Might be just time to leave. Yeah, I think he needs to dip. I think he's going to stay for the fight, though. Knowing Ral? Yeah, probably. Oh. Did he hit that? There's like a there's like an eighty percent chance that hit. Sorry, I just saw that shot. That was nasty. If he hit that, yeah, Chew, we got to get you on the challenge, Chew, bro. I would love to have you on here. Ranger, you too, buddy. Oh yeah, it's the spicy angle we keep trying to hit this fight from. That would be something. Chew. Oh we. <laughs> I think it would be fun to get you on this, bro. Three hours, no hole, like just as much fun as you can have on a standard account. All right, buddy. Good game? Good I luck. love to hear it. Good luck. Go smack people up, dude. Let's get something set up, too. Uh, DM either Zane or myself, and we'll get it scheduled. Oh, I'm game. I can't read. Yeah, dude. We'll figure, I'm gonna, I'll DM you, bro. We'll, we'll, we'll slide in those DMs, dude. Yeah, dude. We'll figure it out. Does have 69 rubles? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, so I got two more. I think there's, they might be trying to steal Rouse loot. I... Oh, that guy survived. There's up up on the third floor. Did you see that, that Katie? I did. Yeah, that How did he survive that shot, dude? It's got to be a weird hitbox with that curtain. Yeah. He's got two more people here. This must yep. be a two man that came in. It is. It's a after he team. wiped the four man. Yeah. <laughs> He's creeping. You can hear the one moving around to his left. He's going to try and sneak his way down this ramp. Hmm. Yeah, he's just trapped in this corner of the map. This yeah. is literally like where he spawned, and he's just been stuck fighting he's here all raid. Been stuck. It looks like he's retreating now. I don't quite know his thought process here, but mm. given think, the slow walk and the... I think the goal is to rotate, take a different angle. Yeah. Rouse not much to to leave a fight usually. You can hear the one on the wood still in the uh, apartment up there. An impressive nade to us. I don't know. The longer okay, he fights, he's this, getting the, out of this. Yeah, so I say the bigger chance he has of getting hit in the back. Guy on his right. Oh, totally different PMC. Just got rinsed. Ooh. Ooh. A vector, dude. I, vector is just nasty. I love the vector. I love running a vector. Look at that scab just eating. <laughs> <laughs> you saw him just like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, he's still going to... He's going to catch these two trying to come out of here. If they keep trying to push this, I think what they're doing is covering while the one guy scoops loot, and they're going to dip. Yeah, it's the, the question is, is they going to try to dip towards Raul and try to rotate behind him, or are they going to go back the way that they came? You know what I mean? Because he's going to catch oh, him there, out here. There's, there's a body. You just saw one. You just saw him. Somebody else pushing him? Be the duo of the guy. Maybe that was that team running away. 
I mean, the guy that... Nobody, we saw a body. There's still a body in that apartment lobby. Yeah, this is somebody different. Yeah. So much traffic on streets lately. It's just crazy how many people you'll run into. Mm -hmm. The other thing, too, is he's he dropped his original gun. So he's just working with whatever ammo he's got here. Yeah, he whatever he's looted. He doesn't have anything that he can repack with. Honestly, I think it might be a good idea for him to reset here if he can find his way to an extract and get out. He's dropped four PMCs, numerous scavs. This would be a really big XP raid and a if loot raid for him. He can get the him. survive bonus, yeah. Right, if he can just get out. Oh, am I dehydrated? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, it's just his PK wearing off. Low though. Okay. But he's close. He's gonna have to. He's jump actually. About he's soon. got five PMC kills now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, think he, I don't think he connected with the guy in the first floor that he shot through the garbage bag. I don't think that one. Not leave my loop. I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the raid we find he, he just, hit that shot. I think he just said, "I'm not leaving my loot behind." <laughs> <laughs> I think he's planning to go back up and oh oh that's his head. Do you see the head, right there? I'm a little behind. Right there on the on the front of the the tank. That's a head. Right there. Yep, that's right. You can hear him. Oh yeah, they're jumping. They're f they're still trying to fight him over there. I don't think that was connected. I should have no, used the sniper. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, that was a sniper moment for sure. A little bit of a misplay. I mean, you can reposition again. These guys are really laser focused on where they think Rowl is. So if he mm -hmm. just keeps rotating on them, I think he'll keep staying on the upper hand here. Yeah, he said he didn't want to leave his loot behind. I yeah. love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sniper Scav. Coming for his head, dude. Mm -hmm. Sniper Scav's down. Still got this duo in front of him. Just based on their movements and stuff, I don't think he connected with the first guy. Through the garbage bag. I'm pretty confident that that guy's still up and moving over there in that that mixture of... Yeah, now that I've seen two bodies together again, I think you're right. It could have been a three-man. Could have. I only Can heard two. Cannot leave behind the shinies. So correct me if I'm wrong, he's now on the other side of that building, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that lobby that he was killing people in isn't right in front of him. Yeah, so if he had gone straight through the lobby, this is where he'd be. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, there's one on the stairs, I think. I just saw him. Jumping on his left. Oh, they're right in front of him. Uh, jumping on his left is spooky. Oh, his gun just jammed. Dude, this is so tense. Did that go under that nade? Yeah. Ooh. One ah. guy died, and then he died oh, there. Oh, man. Dude. That was such a tough fucking raid. Brother. Good effort. Bro, the, the, the gun jam. The gun the jam. Gun jam. Bro, yeah, the, you got the, cucked by that vector. I'm not even going to lie to you. You would have had him. I think you would have dropped him. I think that guy died there right at the end. He did. He did. Yep. Yep. A 6 PMC raid, dude. Crazy. What a monster. What honestly. Did, where do you end up XP-wise on that one? 38, 69. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Um, yeah. <sighs> Rough, dude. <laughs> we so heard sad. you we heard you go, I can't leave the shinies behind, and we were all like, oh <laughs> no. no! <laughs> I'm, I'm over here like he needs to take this dub and get out for the XP, and then you go, I'm not leaving my loot behind. And I was like, well <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't leaving without my goodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, well shit. Alright. <laughs> Dude, 
Can you imagine Killer Seven on that account, dude? Then you're getting reported crazy. every time. Seriously, every though, time. Yeah, you just got. Rep- <laughs> you've been reported probably close to half a dozen times tonight. At yeah. Least. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Oh, that was such a good <sighs> one too, dude. Good try. Good try. Thank you. I'm yeah, that, so sad. That yeah. that four man at the beginning though, dude. That's a clip. Yeah. That, that one's going on. That's the, the on highlight the, reel. That's in the sure. highlight reel for next week, dude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that is a highlight reel for sure, dude. Uh, I'd be so I'd be so upset as that four man. First of all, I'd be screaming cheater. And second <laughs> of all, I'd be so freaking upset. Oh uh, yeah, I was I was feeling myself for a minute. Mm-hmm. No, you were playing well, making good decisions. Yeah. Was... <sighs> all good the, things the, end in tragedy. I the guess. gun jam, <laughs> dude. The, gu- the just gun, gun jam. jam. And what are you gonna do? You, you put your reliance in someone else's maintenance of a weapon, and it fucking failed you. Honestly, if I would have switched to the bolt action there and then repeaked him, I probably could have won. Could have racked him right in the chest. Yeah, because yeah, I put bullets on him, mm-hmm. but I was just like, I I don't know how many bullets are left in the sniper. Yeah, it was getting I low. Ringing that thing off. Hmm. Well, that's what we were saying too. Is like you dropped your original gun, so it was like right. you're just using whatever those guys had left and what they brought on them, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. You just need one. Okay. Just, just need, need one. one. What? Survive. Sur- survive. One good survive on streets. One, one and you're good there. survive on streets, and you're there, dude. Streets. Streets is my home. I just wish I could. It is not uh, your Timmy's home. It's your Chad's <laughs> home. Your Timmy is like, bro, what the fuck? What are, what are, what are we <laughs> doing? He's kind of working it, so. Oh, dude, he's he is, putting in the effort on that he last is, one. He uh, is. Actually, I won't lie to you. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> 8 PMC in my four raids. Yeah, I, that's honestly, that's really impressive, especially at the low scats that you're at, right? You're rocking fucking shit tier ammo, shit tier recoil, no yeah. no sights whatsoever. You're pulling yeah. off shots with a red dot that I'm like, I didn't even see ahead. What the fuck did he just hit? <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> no, it's tough, dude. It's the mistakes are just so punishing. Just like in <laughs> any any time thing in Tarkov, man, every death it eats so much away at your your potential points, right? Yo, Six over yeah. here is talking mad shit, dude. Yeah, Six said, I don't know why he's sad. That's how most of his raids end. <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got the highest KD and the lowest survival rate when you put them together. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> it all averages out, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Works out in the end. That's what teamwork is for, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, gotta fi- you find that teammate that's got the high survival rate, low KD, you team up with them, and you guys are golden. Golden. That's why I, that's why I team up with Sick. Hey, it is. <laughs> that's why I teed it up for him. I was hoping he was going to smack it home. <laughs> trying my heart out over here. <laughs> when I heard that guy wheeze and go over, I'm like, okay, this is it. This is the last guy. That's mm-hmm. all I need. They just kind of kept coming. That's the thing with streets, man, is it, you just, every shot that you fire is an alarm bell for anyone in the area, and they all come running, dude. Streets oh, gamers gr- are all the same. You the guys grenades, hear, too. Yeah, you yeah. guys hear shots, and you're like, and you start running towards it, dude. <laughs> True. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, you're not wrong. God, I, want, I almost got I killers. want the treats. Dude, you did one. one of my goodies. You were one away from Rockin' Killer 7. On a level four account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to watch out. I got the iron side AK in my hands. I'm dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Putting out the heat, dude. I know that first guy's reaction where he's sitting there chilling, watching, then just he's gone. Looks level four. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, dude, especially because <laughs> that shot was ridiculous. I didn't even see him until his body slumped. I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Of course, I have been known to be like a T Rex. Like, if it's not moving, I don't see it. So, you know. Uh, same. <laughs> Couple yeah. mistakes could have been refined there. Like, using the bolty on that distance kill instead of trying to get the easy headshot with the vector. Uh, it- switching to the bolty at the end. Clearing the jam before re peeking with the vector. I could have done so many things. Yeah. 
It's it, again. That's what makes Tarkov Tarkov is that you've got to make split second decisions constantly, right? You're constantly pivoting, changing your plan, right? Oh, something else just went wrong. What do I do now, right? And you know, sometimes you get caught out. Sometimes you make the right decision, right? I think that's what really separates some of the really good Tarkov players from you know the average ones is how good at you are are at pivoting in those moments of oh shit my gun just jammed right what's the right move here is it to fix the jam or is it to switch the weapon right mm -hmm. yeah i just wish one day i'll be above average that's that's my goal yo imagine being below average like me you know what i mean it's no, just you're, crazy it's you're crazy goaded. down here <laughs> we know you carry zane sometimes sometimes not most times i'm space cadet who doesn't know where they are <laughs> I'm spinning around going, what? <laughs> Where? Uh. Uh, uh, most most raids, I feel really proud of myself if for every call out that was made, I was able to sight in and see the enemy, right? Whether it was a PMC or a scab, doesn't matter, right? Like, getting shots on it, like, fuck it, I'll get there. If, if I can just see the person that you guys are talking about, I'm proud of myself. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, I'm on it. <laughs> Uh, seeing people was one of the biggest challenges when it came to Tarkov for me. I would say it probably took me like 800 hours, um, before I was able to spot people better. Yeah, it's, it's really tough. And especially with like all of the different callouts and things like that. And like your orientation, that's a really big thing for me, right? I'm, I'm not a maps person. I don't have the 3d map in my head. Right. And so I get really turned around in a lot of these places. Oh. All shooting, no brains. It, it's, it's, it happens to us all. Even Zane, like I was giving him crystal clear comms yesterday, and he just got loud. <laughs> straight into the enemy. I'm like, like, it happens to us all. It's just you I'm know. Like... <laughs> I heard That's all so about fucked. those. I heard all about those crystal clear comms. Like, I want you to know. He, I'm like, I'm like right log off, and then just start yelling. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he immediately came to me and was like, "These fucking comms, Katie." <laughs> Dude, I'm like, I'm literally next to him, and he, and, and then he's like, I'm going to fight the goons. I'm like, cool, let's go. And he's like, I'm already across the street. I'm like, what the fuck? The I, fuck? I'm like, we're right next to each other. <laughs> I'm like, I'm running up on you. Whole okay. saga. He's like, I, yep, I hear you coming. Like, I see you. He's like, yep, that's me. And then that guy turned around and he fucking shot me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, good luck. Oh, Got this, bro. Oh my god, chat. Ralph's That's why he all teams with me. He's all shooting no brains. <laughs> just the worst, dude. Right? That's what it is, man. You just got this, oh, dude. You no, got this if caveman he, with you who just Expo fires his gun. That's it. That's what he does. That chases bullets and fires. I think fires. spawn in here means there's no expo. <laughs> to be well, fair, no, he's actually, really good at that. Maybe? It could be somebody down there. I don't have the scope for he this. He needs GPS? No, I need GPS. <laughs> like, I'm, I... literally, I'm literally running up behind Rao, and I'm like, I'm running up behind you. He's like, yep, I hear you. I'm like, okay, I think I see you. He's like, yep, that's me. And then that dude turned around, and we made eye contact, and that guy went, that's an enemy, and he just shot me in the fucking noggin. Gave you know? a little kiss on the forehead. I, I took a little head throat action, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, uh, when it's non-consensual yeah. like that, it's <laughs> a big. Oh. He's like, he's like, he's he's by the tree. I'm like, we're on woods, bro. He's like, yeah, dude, the rocks by the tree. You go to, what? And he's like, they're they're right behind Dickhead, and they were actually like 200 yards or meters away from Dickhead in like a totally different right, direction. Right? Right? Like, <laughs> and sometimes, like, it's just there's no good call out. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. to, to Ral's defense a little bit here, it, that was a trash call out. <laughs> but but to, a little bit to the defense of how difficult it can be to make those call outs, sometimes there's just nothing good. True. You know what I mean? Like, near dickhead is the best that you can do. Well, like, near dickhead when it's like 200 meters. Oh, there's oh, the arm. Oh, yep, there's the scav. Arm. Fucking Bro, not the laser, arm. dude. Oh, my arm is gone. I don't have the means to deal with this right now. I'm about to re peek it while he's taking pain. What a madman. Yo, why do I remember Trap having CMS? He must have found one. Yeah. He found one. And then Trap actually went and unlocked Jaeger. He did, yeah. Oh, no. Chat, that jump 
that Ral just did or tried to do, I hate it. I hate yeah, it really so bad. much. I give up every time. I try once and I'm like, fuck it, and then I walk around. You can't do it with uh, level one strength. You need like you need like five to ten, I think, before that becomes doable. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've been running around with the Chads and they make that jump and I go, oh, fuck it. And I have to go around. <laughs> Yo, you can put that captain's mask on. That's what I was telling to do earlier. Put on the the scav yeah, disguise put that, that kit. Scav disguise. Does it matter with his arm being like that? Yes, that will yeah. screw up his hip fire accuracy and his ADS. It'll give him more sway in his gun. He's gonna tremble um, a little bit. He'll also take pain if he tries to vault over anything that requires his character to use his arm. Um, so he's taking right now. He's got a painkiller up, and the painkiller helps mitigate those effects. Yeah, but it, it doesn't get rid of them all together, and it when it uh, when the painkiller goes away, the effects are more severe for a so second as he deals with the, like the. Well, it's like the withdrawal effect of the painkiller when right. it wears off. It gives you like a vignette, right. like Hopefully. blurring mm -hmm. of your vision. Best case scenario, we find a CMS kit in here. He's on a on a med hunt. It's kind of wild to me he hasn't found one yet, or if he has, he hasn't gotten out with it. Mm, he hasn't found one yet. There's going to be someone coming from right hey, here. I think he would put that in his butt as soon as he found it. Maybe we catch him off guard. He's got plenty of heals. Piece him up, grab his kit. The morphine on the other side, that's useful. I'm like praying for a CMS for him. Right? <laughs> Good Poor thing I found guy. a splint because I didn't bring one with me. <clears throat> that calic was like blending into the bench there. I see that, yeah. Notice, chat, how his pace keeps slowing down every time he takes the death. Mm -hmm. He's being more and more cautious. All right. Yeah, he's waiting for a player to rotate this way. He saw one. So he's going to go in relaxation room. We'll see if he uh, has that I can't leave my shinies mentality this raid. <laughs> We're going to be waiting. <laughs> oh. What's a scab? Mm. Probably shouldn't have taken that shot. But he needs the XP. Yeah, that's a loud M4 call. I just gave him away, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be a good thing, though. I know he wants the PMCs to push on him, so. True. All right, we go to Lexus. I don't know why PMC can't open a door while he's drinking juice. I can fucking do that. Yeah, dude. And nonsense. I'm not even a highly trained combat operative. It's fucking nonsense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, saving it for the money. Yeah, I got the hand-eye coordination of a gamer, which is actually good. Let me fucking do that. Do you know that they uh, you control Predator drones with an Xbox controller now? Mm -hmm. I did, actually. Yeah, it's just like a, a controller medium that a lot of young people Kavon are familiar with. Up. I think we're dead, though. Yeah, I actually, I remember growing up, one of the things that really impressed people, like in my athletics, especially when I was playing soccer as a keeper, was my hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, that's so impressive. Like, I play, video play, a games, games, right? play a lot of video games, right? Play a lot of video games, and they're like, yeah. huh. Yeah, it'll develop it pretty quickly. Oh, defib. Portable defibrillator. That's that's poggies. Uh, oh, I actually yeah, have yeah. a spare ibuprofen. Yo, is that a uh, higher loot value than the lead? No, the no, lead X is still worth more. Okay. Defibs are worth like 400k, I think. And yeah, then later they they that fall that down to like to craft. Yeah, they fall down to like 100 to 200k usually. <coughs> God, it's cough. Unfortunately. We lost our arm very early. That's 
Honestly, with Kaban not being here, I think his best bet would just be to take mm, the reset. Be honest. Yeah. Bit of a blunder. He's running out of time. He needs the XP. Yeah. Bit of a blunder. Those are construction scav shooting a PMC. He could try to go mm -hmm. third party that. But he's already kind of in here. They're pushing to him, those PMCs, so he might be able to stay put. Somebody's in here with him. I heard it. I think they're an aspect. Oh, we just killed it. Oh, there's something else over there? Crazy amount Damn. of headshots I took. That shot, dude. Yeah, I, that's crazy. I thought that first one killed him, honestly. Honestly, it's cr it's crazy that he was able to make that shot. That was a pixel shot, dude. It was at Sparja. I really want to catch a PMC slipping in. I know. Turn dude, this into a. You just cannot a, find a, a CMS. I, I walk out with a lot of. Goodies, Unreal. Honestly. I'm a little scared. He's not getting but lucky. I tried to not lose an arm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not that good at not losing it. Yeah, Nikita's not helping him. My at all. arms tend no, to just, not like, at all. fly off my body. Uh, Aspect hasn't been hit though. He could get a serve kit really easily here. Oh, I think I just heard a footstep. Uh, so Godark, he doesn't have the ability to right now because he doesn't have a CMS. So yeah. uh, with the standard account, they actually don't give you any CMSs to start. Um, and Raul's strategy, he hasn't been doing any tasks, so he hasn't unlocked uh, Jaeger, the barter. Yeah, which is who does Honestly, the barter. Honestly, we might take a quick reset CMS. instead of continuing to push so through he just with doesn't a. Doesn't have access to a surgery kit. A borked arm. I think he hits this med room here. Maybe get lucky with a surgery kit. And a double is two. Man, no surgery yeah, kit that still. Wild. That's wild. He hits so many med spots, reset. too. Dude. He just can't reattach. Cannot get lucky here. Yeah. That's wild. I mean, this is what we were talking about, right? The variability the of Tarkov. For that big man. Um, it, everything's RNG at the end yeah. of the day, you know? Mm -hmm. you you got to get lucky and find it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I you're, you're going to reset. It, it I plays think I'm a factor. Run but out. It's not the biggest one. Right. Clear my conscious. Options here, you can get out of crash Go site. Crash site. Yep, Maybe peek from move. Concordia and see if I can see what they got going on over there. Or I was thinking about getting spicy and taking part in that fight. Yeah. Like I from maybe, a pure like PMC kills perspective, like Ralph's maybe a silly little goose already, and die right? and then reset. You know, it's just, I think oh, trap the BTR is mad. More total. Really? Oh yeah. no. I think Ral has nine I gotta PMC go. kills now. Because you remember his the first BTR two raids, angry. he didn't see a single PMC. True. That's an SA-58. Trap killed two people every raid, even on the ones where he died. It's, yeah, that's true. He was. Tra Rao just had the one big raid. Yeah, got fighting. I feel that like I get like involved. Ketter. Rao's going to get involved. I feel like, he again, of course he of it, is. What I want to do, He's I feel like I get gamer. involved. He's that streets gamer. He's a... <laughs> 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 yeah, got I feel it, like right. I get involved here. You gotta, he's going to map that for Thorin. You can't say no, chat. You heard the man. He wants a piece of that action. He wants a slice of that pie. Oh, these guys are right in front of him. They are popping yeah, off inside of Sparja. He's going to try it. What he wants is he wants to get in right as this fight finishes. Yeah, so he can just mop up the winner. Yep. All right, just in time to get everybody like in the like post. Like, oh, we did it. Let their guard down for half a second. That guy win that fight. I didn't hear anybody die. Either. Raul doesn't have a way to get in here silently. Two people alive. There's two. Yep. One was healing. They're healing and looting? Is it a duo that won? They don't know he's there. Yeah, but a duo won that fight. They're healing and looting right now. <laughs> yeah, this will be a really big dub if he can get these two get their loot, and get out. <coughs> That's... Oh. Is that an AI scav? I definitely know he's here now. Ooh, no! That, that hurt. Got Did caught it? on the left peak. Yeah, and the hit punch. Oh, 
Dude, brutal. Oh, man. Yeah, he walked, I think he walked up on the logs and then walked down them. Yeah, like a little set of debris that he ended up on there. Yeah, yeah, he ended up at a higher level and, and then caught the, you out on the left peak. The hit punch on you there was just nuts. Is that right? They killed the PMC. Those are yeah. the players go, Sam. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. I, I risk it for the biscuit. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, you got to push for the points, right? Chew! Yeah. Yo, you know what? It, it does highlight we'll make our own the gamer music in our minds. Uh, when it comes to Tarkov. Like, you, you can we'll see in, we'll the in. tournament mentality that you play with, yeah, right? Especially just, when it comes to, like, the challenge and stuff like that. Like, I, I see it coming through, right? And all the decisions run, that you make. Run and die really quick. <laughs> run and die. <laughs> uh, no, more so, like, uh, you know, you made the decision. You're like, I'm going to reset. And then you heard the shots and you were like, uh, oh, that's in our minds, yeah. too good to pass up. You know what I mean? I'm right here on top of it. Yeah. You, like, there's clearly a battle going on. You could have came out on well, top. It's like right? we've been talking from the very beginning, right? It's all a gamble, right? And when you when you gamble and it pays off, it pays off good. In yeah. Tarkov, right? It pays off well. True. Everybody coming in from Chew's stream. Welcome in. Welcome True. in. We are the Shooty Loots. If you don't uh, know us, my name's Zane. That's my wife, again. Katie. Um, we are doing episode two of the Loot Sack, which is our standard account challenge where we're ru running with Ralatar this week. Uh, if you missed episode one, it's available on uh, YouTube. Check it out. We ran with Trap HD. He's one of the good homies. And honestly, it's it's been really, really fun. It's been really exciting to put these guys on standard accounts and see kind of like... You know, the strategies they take, what happens to them, how they deal with the adversity that Tarkov sometimes throws at you, like getting triple tapped by a scav in one shot. You know what I mean? Yo, yeah, see, yeah. thank you for the it's gifted sub to chew. A really pleasant time, Still right? You know, we spent some time, just... you know, talking beforehand so we get to know a little bit more about. Yeah, we do a little uh, interview Ralatar, off the rip. Right? Yep. How, how he got into content creation, how he got into yep. Tarkov, you know, mm -hmm. um, some of the work that he's done with various ch uh, charities, charities in this space yeah. and things like that. Um, and so it's been a really good way for us to get to know you guys as the Tarkov community, right? Um, and kind of uplift you and your stories and tell uh, more about you, right? And then give you a chance it to is, showcase and I mean this. how you play Tarkov, right? Going Whether one of the ways I expected it to go. Super sweaty, like Ralatar is playing right now, you know, as a, a tournament player, or if it's for, you know, laid back, you just want to go yeah. and kill so, scabs on the What we were talking about earlier, Ral, Dude. right? Is like it's 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 you're either gonna fucking pop off and get snowballed and just be rolling, or you're gonna get tarked the hardest you've ever yeah, been dude. tarked. Uh, yeah, you're, you're kind of like the equivalent of betting Puppy, all in, what's up, girl? Like every raid, you know Good what I mean? You're you. like, fuck it, all in. <laughs> dude, thank you so much yeah, for the raid, buddy. I'm dude, I'm gonna DM you. We got to get you um, in on this, brother. I think it would be so much fun. The problem is, I think the dying it's th to three the hours on a standard account, right? Just you just obliteration. get to. Really started you get to just whatever strategy you want to try to get as much XP as you can, right? You can run resort, yeah. you can run streets, you can run lighthouse and farm the rogues, um, whatever strategy questing, I, like whatever whatever you push for. I think it, it this is an opportunity for you to showcase your play style and see where you stack up against other creators, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. We try again. We've got a leaderboard wonder, here I, showing I Trap on. where That's he's at right now. Uh, Trap got eight levels in his three hours and forty six k XP. Uh, we're seeing if Ralph can beat him. He's at level five right now, so he's got some work to do. But yeah, I still one good streets raid away. You get dude. out of there with that Caban raid that you want to get out of there with, and you. you I hope you see that motherfucker, dude. That would be awesome. I either want some juice or PMCs, or I mm -hmm. want Caban. Uh, I think we got just oh. under an hour left. I still can't like 40, believe 50 minutes, that one guy inside Alexos that like you know I, I know it was through metal and then he had the U lock on but he just tanked the nine nine five dude is crazy. Happy, so good to see you. Crazy. Absurd. Uh, I think the end time is eleven forty. Uh, eleven forty seat. So we're at forty two minutes. Forty two minutes left. Trap. You know, Lone Wolf sent me a stank clip. I love it. Thank you guys all so much for coming in off of Chusey's Raid. I, I appreciate it. I think last I might be in single digit survivals. Oh, that's brutal. I think Trap, uh, I think he got like 11 raids total. Yeah, so it was he was single dig digit survivals as well. Yeah, he was five survives, oh. five deaths, and a run through. I mean, percentage-wise. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think like nine oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Chat, if you're enjoying the concept and you like what you're seeing, hit that follow button. Not, Leave not the notifications great. on. Uh, it's a great way to know when we're going live. We do this every Thursday now. Um, yeah. Also, join the Discord. Uh, that's the best way to get uh, all updates on what we're getting up to. Also, chat, we're going to be in Texas for Loot Fest uh, alongside Chusky. Next week. And Rao. And Rao, so, yeah. yeah. Lots of people going to be Next there at week. Loot Fest. We've got one more um, round of the Loot Sack, or the loot sack uh, happening right before Loot Fest. A bunch of words and things. Trap's uh, going to be there in Texas. Trap, are you going to Loot Fest? Oh, in June. Oh, uh, in June, dude. Rip, dude. That's right. You got your new orders, right? Um, yeah. So we'll be we'll be in um, there, and then I'll actually be going back to Texas in March for work. So that'll be cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got Luau, Luau Boy with us uh, next Thursday, the twenty second. That'll be last stream for that weekend while we go to Loot Fest, and then we'll see you guys the week after. We don't have anybody planned for the week after, just to give us some time to just kind of chill and recoup. And then uh, we'll we have already have somebody lined up for March seventh. Our good friend Veronica G is going to give it a go. It's gotta be Luau's exciting, got the small guys. Pee -pee. Rip, dude. Luau wow. doesn't even have a chance to defend himself. Wow, I don't even know if he's here dude. right now. <laughs> just just coming out, fucking swinging, dude. Yo, trap. Did you pick up Hell Divers? Yo, where's our PP command? Hello. Is it PP? Oh, I think it might be turned off. And I think it might have gotten scooped up and everything else getting turned off. You mean how I'm torturing you? Veronica, how am I torturing you? Why didn't PP work? It is in here, Quirky Chick. We do have a PP bot. I don't know why it's not working. It's not working. The hell? Chat actions. PP. Listen, what did I do? I'm so innocent. You guys are always accusing me of doing stuff, and I didn't do anything. I'm so innocent. Oh, the command got unmapped somehow. I wonder if other commands got fucked up. Terrified of playing solo? Nah, you got this. You got this. So the fun part about playing solo is that you don't have to worry about TK. So everything that you hear can just die. There is no... Is that you? Is that you? What are you doing? No, you just murder it. The PP command got deleted somehow? I'm not here much, but I know enough to know you're not innocent. Quirky, wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! You just gonna come at my character like that? I'm so wounded right now. I could be innocent. All right, buddy. Good luck. You got this. Appreciate <sighs> you. Yeah. Absolutely. PP with, commands working. With confidence. She came at me That's with confidence. With confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Chest out. Absolutely. E. E. <laughs> Thank you, Quirky. I like that it laughs at you no matter what size PP you got. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. Rao's already got running right in front of him. The, the Terminator scab, dude. It's coming right for him. Yeah, dude. Fucking sniffed him out the gate. <laughs> Poor scab or uh, PMC needs some soap, dude. There's just so many PMC spawns on this map, and all of them can be filled. It's crazy. Like you can literally come down the street, turn a corner, and right and be right in somebody's face on this map. I think we're yeah. gonna get to the bank and hang out in the bank. I'm gonna Everything just moves so quickly. Vest. I think that's part of my problem that I've had with like mentally mapping this place. Right? I've only played it solo a handful of times, and that's why I know the southwest corner of the map or right. east. Sorry. Um, but when we're playing together, like as soon as we get in, there isn't a chance for me to like figure out where we are because we have to move. Yeah. Right? Um, and that's not your fault. That's just there's a player spawn right yeah. next to us, and like we have to move or we're it's gonna. Kind of die. the way the map's designed. Yeah. Yep. And so I don't really get a chance to get my orientation or my bearings before it's just like, well, we're fucking moving. Right. Uh. Can you play? No, you can't. Well, actually, yeah, got you, you can. can. You can map it through controllers. I wouldn't recommend it. It's hard, it. and a lot of the buttons like get weird. But people have done it before. Like play Tarkov with a controller. There's a there's a few YouTube videos on there on how to set it up, and it definitely has some trade offs. Oh, um, it's not the way that it's intended to be played. I was new farming killer just now. One raid, you had eight other PMCs at no backpack extract. Oh my god, that's this wild, wild, dude. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> in a single raid. Yeah, no caban. 
Uh, were they all hunting Killa? Because that's kind of crazy to have basically every PMC on the map oh, yeah. trying to so go to a backpack. Because the, the spawn rates for him were so low for a while. Someone's in check. Um, now that their spawn rates are higher, a lot of people are pushing their tasks. So, like, everybody's farming. That makes sense. Um, like, the bosses right now. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I was like, why would you go interchange without a backpack unless you're Killa hunting? A lot of people do, and people do for the tasks. Like pe like when they do the uh, the database, right? Getting the yeah, I can see that. I just I bring a backpack with me just in case because of the motors and stuff like that that you can find. In for Ollie. sure, um, a lot of people like are afraid of the extract campers on the interchange because like everybody camps. Oh, what the scav? What the fuck just happened? That was a little sussy, huh? I could only see his legs. What did he shoot me in? Head jaws. See through walls. What a name. Uh, yeah that that's the most suspicious thing I've seen all night. His stats aren't too crazy. How did he see my head? Yeah, that was that was Weird. very suspicious. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're not doing so hot. The Tark keeps on Tarkin, dude. <laughs> Nikita giveth and he taketh. Do we do we gotta go back to woods? <laughs> That's crazy. I yeah, that one's kind of got me a little flabbergasted. My jaw hit the floor a little bit with yeah, that the one. Guys, the guy's stats aren't too weird, but that way that that kill went down is that, very weird. That was either desync or some serious weirdness. Yeah. Because yeah, on your screen, all you saw was feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For it, no backpack pushing, ever coming to power. I do a four minute no backpack. Tech. 11 PMCs, no backpack. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. The gushes, the gushes. All right, so it, this is actually something interesting that we can talk about kind of naturally because we're watching it happen in real time. You know, Tarkov is a brutal game, and a lot of people can get stuck in this cycle that you're stuck in right now where it just seems like the game is just constantly like. No matter what you do, the game is like actively trying to defeat you, right? It can feel like. What do you do? Because um, you know you you do long sessions of Tarkov, and this is just part of the game, right? But what's what's something that you can kind of talk through for maybe some of the people in chat or watching that are newer to the game? Like, what's kind of your um, your approach for managing some of that frustration? Like mentally. Uh, for me, I know there's going to be the way I approach it. I know there's going to be. A lot of days of ups and downs. You know what? We're going to do another streets. Um, there's, I know there's always going to be a lot of ups and downs. So when I'm sitting there and just it's happening over and over again, I just know it's a matter of when am I going to come out the other side? Because um, really, none of the gear matters. <laughs> the I, I've been saying this and sure you can vouch. I've been saying it forever. It's rubles are made up and the gear doesn't mm -hmm. matter. So. <laughs> It's just kind of you ride the ride the tide, and I always say if you're not having fun, like if you're frustrated, step away. Right. Like if you're starting to get into the bad mental, you're just gonna not have fun. And we play games that have fun. So if you're ever not enjoying it and you're getting screwed over, just walk away from it, or just sit and scav, throw on a TV show, and just run your scav on repeat, recoup money. A lot of people get stressed out about their rubles going down. Right. So scav and watch a TV show. Kick back for 30, 45 minutes. Okay, um, okay. Now I need to know, though, what anime are we watching? I don't know. I got a ton of them. Like, if, if we're scaving right now, what anime is what anime if are we watching? If we're scaving right now, I'm watching My Little Monster. I agree. I agree. I don't okay. think I've seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one either. Uh, I'm slowly watching through it. I would like, I'll watch Solo Leveling, uh, okay. My Little Monster, Classroom of the Elite, uh, you know. Oh, so you got that crunchy roll. Yeah, I got so many. I got yeah, so many go. other, like weekly releases and stuff. But um, yeah, no, yeah. that's kind I, of the way I, think, I approach it. I think you touched on a core piece, like two kind of like core pieces of it for me as well, right? Like the big thing is having fun. I mean, like mm -hmm. the whole point for me for video games, video games are an escape. They're a way for me to like just have fun and like not worry about shit, right? So like if I'm stressing out while I'm playing the game, you know, I'll, I'll tend to move on, right? Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like you don't have to play Tarkov 24 seven, right? But like the other piece of that too is, you know, the money thing, like in previous wipes, I used to get really stuck about making sure that I was like maintaining a certain ruble count, right? Because I didn't, I wanted the buffer. And I think the more you play, 
the more comfortable you get at the game, right? One, you know, yeah, you die less often, but at the same time, you know how to get all that stuff back, right? Like, I remember when I first started playing, it was like, oh, I've got this fucking dope gun or, like, this crazy armor that's really cool, and, like, I've never seen it, and I don't know how I even found it, right? It was in, like, a stash. It was totally random, and I don't know how to get that thing again, and that would, like, contribute to that. And as I got more into the mindset of, like, hey, you know what? It's all just stuff, and I can get more of the stuff. It doesn't matter. Like, it was much easier to let the... Like, the game is just so punishing, right? We've been talking yeah. about that all night. It, like, every mistake that you make, the game capitalizes on it, and it makes you feel it, right? Oh, and that um, bad mental, it compounds. You know what I mean? If you let it, right? If you don't take that break, if you don't step away, if you don't, you know, change it up, do something to get yourself to recognize, like, hey, that this is a game I'm supposed to be having fun right now. You, you can really kind of compound and go into a really bad, like, negative mental space playing this game. Like, for I, sure. I'm guilty of it. I've seen other people do it. Right. Um, I've, I can do it with other games. In fact, you know, I was playing a game the other day that frustrated. It wasn't the game that frustrated me. I was just frustrated in general and then came across a boss that also frustrated me. And I literally had to get up and walk away from my computer for 30 minutes mm -hmm. over a game that fucking 14 year olds play. You know what I mean? Like, I was I was heated about it and I had to walk away and be like, are you kidding me? Why am I so mad right now? Yeah. <laughs> Right, Jew? Yeah, I, the I bowl. think um, usually, especially if Tarkov's just Tarkoving me, I'll start doing crazier stuff. And I usually shoot better when I'm not waiting for people. So usually that's when you'll see me do crazy pushes. I'll take fights. Because it's like, I'd rather go out saying I did something dumb than be like, oh, Tarkov got me. Right. Right. Same. So like today Same. I've been dying. I'd rather risk yeah. or reward it. Right. Like with the the four guys and then the two and then the one other guy it was like okay i'm gonna go all the yeah, way for this because crazy. i've worked for this i'm getting tarkovs i don't want to walk away from this like, right i'm like, comfortable losing it and t the chance of the win is worth the loss right yeah well and and, you, and i agree with that i'd rather lose to something i realize is my skill than tarkov yeah yeah it's, it's just the yeah. way it goes and like you're talking to the guy who will go down to 300k and play on 300k all night like right. the rubles don't matter either you lose it in raid or you lose it at wipe Sure. What am I exactly. going to do? Farm up 200 mil, stress where my rubles are just to have it all deleted? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter and it all just boils down to whether or not you're having fun. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's well, the thing that I'll I can start definitely vendoring say. cases. I don't care. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, honestly, the only time that this game really starts to get under my skin is when I keep dying to stuff that's like not related to my skill yeah. level at all. Right. Like, I want to die because I'm bad and the other person was just better than me. Right. Like, I don't want to. Like, I want to like, know why I died. Right. That's the worst one. Like, I, if I can't figure out how or why I just died, that shit drives me nuts. Yeah. Um, I always say anyone can die to anything. Like, I, it, it's going to happen. Anyone can die. Anyone can kill anyone, regardless, especially with now the new instant kill head boxes, hit boxes like throat and stuff like that. Anyone can right. kill anyone. Um, death to someone isn't a display of skill issues. Like, your skill level, like regardless you're gonna die and tarkov's mm. a game of one pov Super so you'll neat. never fully understand why you died what caused you to die the best thing right. you can do is have a light understanding of it but tarkov is not meant to be a game where you understand what's going on yeah well, there's That's been so many times where i've killed somebody because i was tracking them for like 10 minutes right mm -hmm. and from their perspective they went to loot a box and then they got sniped right <laughs> like <laughs> yeah yeah now that makes sense i, th I right. think that's a, a general question i struggle with and in we'll, life we'll continue back. this later good luck buddy thanks good luck buddy thanks yeah Chat. Mm -hmm. i think fantasy. it's, it's I'm definitely have to check some of these out juicy that sounds oh, yeah. good it's time to add some new stuff to our repertoire oh <laughs> rao's got people right in front of him two man Eight. sounds like they heard him he's got to stay chill here yo figgy what's up it's good to see you Figgy. that man's on the move Swing left. Swing left. Oh, no. Oof. Oof. I fumbled that. Yeah, fumbled that one. Time to move on. Or is yeah. he going to chase it? He's going to push it. Hey, it's Ral. He's going to chase this. Ral's pushing it, chat. It's so tense with the pistol. The last time he ran the pistol, though, Chad, he had a big come up. PMC is struggling with the footwork here. Piggy, it's good to see you, buddy. I think that's his head right there. It's a good strategy, though, to get up on that barrier to give him just a little oh, bit yeah. more height to see. Those unusual peaks, man, they make a big difference. Yeah. Just 
for odd angles, things like that. Yeah, just things that you wouldn't think about. We probably should, huh, Luau? Have both of us run it at some point? Probably. I was thinking about that earlier. <laughs> we can't just sit here and judge you guys? <laughs> right? Like, you can't just let me be fucking, you know, like, what's the word? Judgey uh, McJudgerson. Yeah. All right, Ral's doing the creep walk. Uh-oh. If this guy gets wind and he's put making this push, he can just rinse him right through this fucking cardboard right here, this plywood. Oh! He hit that shot. We're all connected there. Oh, he killed him! No, he did not! Let's go! <laughs> Reported. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Stretch insane, it out. Dude. Stretch it Get loosey goosey. Oh you know? my god. It is. It is it, it's well, gun really, gaming. Uh, He's on the MP5. Great, but. <laughs> gun gaming it up, dude. I had to do a little fumbling before we wow. picked it up. We'll Ran that it. man into. Wow. Oh. He's got company. Oh, it's a scab. Easy peasy. More. Oh, it's super fun watching Zane compete. And I'd run it, too. Right? If, if Zane ran it, I'd run Two it, Two scabs, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, how many headshots, uh, dude? It, it's I mm. uh, Thanks, man. I appreciate that you guys do enjoy watching, like, the competitive stuff, too. It's it's a lot of fun for me. Um, All right. And it helps with the nerves there, when you guys are there finally. to support. So yeah, we, got, we got we uh, got the semifinals of the Evasion solos uh, Saturday at noon Eastern. Yeah, maybe we can come up I with got, something creative and we can do like guest hosts for the days yeah, that you run one and I run grenade. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got um, the we, Trey is in my semifinal. M's in there. Yo, Enemy HT was the only other person that killed me in my group. He's in there with me as well. This weekend is gonna be insane. It's gonna be nuts. Yep, Saturday, Saturday noon, noon Eastern. Eastern. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It's gonna be fantastic, you guys. So it's, they're the offline command. solo challenges, is what they are. So he'll be playing by himself in offline raids. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think Kaban's here. Various different Which is challenges. Which crazy right? um, that I can't get this man to spawn. Someone might be in Sparja. Well, and then if I make it through that group, here, so top five of that semifinal, that. move on to the finals, wrong, which is it Sunday. Will suck, but. Yeah guys it is very very exciting he did Thank so you, well in the first round he i was almost took first place, place in tied for first place basically the entire tournament up until the last read and, and then um, the only reason why i took second was because the guy that took first killed me right in the last two minutes of the last raid yeah. i and i almost killed him had i killed him it would have swung, swung, the swung the other way and i would have taken first mm -hmm. it was so close I hit him. I took his stomach in his arm, and because of the angle we engaged at each other at, the stairwell ate the shot that would have hit him in the head, and he Which killed me. Which was actually the second time that day Maybe that not. he had run into an altercation. Third. Oh, third. You are not wrong. It was the third wrong. time. Yeah. He was the one that stopped me at the ramp on power. Oh, I was going to say specifically where a stairwell the saved the life of someone that you were, you were oh, shooting Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The two times I tried to fight somebody on a stairwell, I lost. Those yeah. are the two times I died. I yeah, you, got, you lit their here, stomach though. and arms up, but the headshot got eaten by the, the by staircase. By the staircase or the railings and shit. Oh. Oh, player. Ralph's pushing this. Yeah, he's, of course he is. And then the question is, is the guy in the road or is he behind in the alleyway? In I which direction I heard is two he going? Different sets of fire got there. A PMC. Yeah, there's a PMC up here in front of Ralph somewhere, but oh, oh, what? Oh my God! The that panic. laser oh. scared the piss out of me. I saw it just <laughs> for a second <laughs> flash across my screen. Oh my God! The panic. Ooh, a Grizz. That's pretty big. Oh, that made me sweat. Chat. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. <laughs> if you're not following, please consider clicking that follow button. It's free. So the player uh, we're working our life. way up to 1,400. We need 20 more, and we're there. Um, also, keep the notifications turned on or join the Discord to get notified when we go live for future episodes of the Loot Sack, as well as um, for a lot of our other various activities. Somewhere. Usually, we run community raids on Saturdays. Um, I, I think really we're, gonna, we're gonna like be doing a Hell Divers so stream here maybe there. tomorrow. So if but you guys I'm have seen the Hell Divers two playthrough, um, Katie and I are gonna probably play that. Maybe get some chat. Uh, I know Shadow has it, so 
You think you fell asleep like a little right early now. last Thursday? Do you all do a post competition interview? Yeah, we do a we do a little post interview about the run. Nothing too long, like t like fifteen minutes is kind of what yeah. we aim for, just we to kind of talk through the end of the raid, um, give a second to kind of like decompress, final thoughts. Um, yep, yep. And then we kind of like to ask PMT's if there's any upcoming an projects or, or anything like that that the creator has uh, yeah. upcoming, right? Some of the know, coffee any, shop. Uh, sorry, co conventions or things like that that That's they're going guy. to. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of some final thoughts. Yep. There's a player to Rouse right. That's sniper scav. That's shooting at that player. Remember, chat, if you missed episode one of the loot sack, you can catch it on YouTube. You can also catch I should have this episode up by Saturday. Um we gotta do a little bit of we're gonna do a little bit more I editing say, to it before we post it. Editing the, this one. The first one we just we just clipped it and threw it up there. Um, but we're gonna put a little bus? bit more elbow grease into this one. Yeah, yeah. So we did. We did definitely talk to Trap about that. You know, how confident did he feel in his performance? Right? Did he think that his strategy w performed well for him? Um, things like that. But it's it's definitely. I think I died uh, here. Something that we did with Trap and something that we're going to continue to do with the competitors <laughs> is give you guys an opportunity afterwards to kind of talk about you know how you felt it went. You know, if there's anything suggestions that you have for the formula, you know what you really enjoyed about it, what you didn't, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Trap walked in there and he just went. I think I die here. <laughs> Of course he does. There's a player around here somewhere. <laughs> that reminds me of Traps Run. Every oh. time he'd go somewhere, I die here, I die here. He got looted. I hate this corner. I'm traumatized by this corner. There's a player around here somewhere. I <laughs> love it when he does that. Ryan does it too. Yeah, dude. You just walk into something. This is where I die. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's in car. Oh, God. Yo, why would you... Fuck. Honestly, if I was Who's that car, guy? I would have let that go. You're he's trapped a, He's there. on the other side of it. He's, I don't think he's in car. Just so confidently. I die, I die here. here. Yep. <laughs> And the other thing is, it continues to do it. It's one of those things where it's like he fully recognizes he's making a mistake and is going to continue to do it anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> this fight is wild. Dude, Riles been running into people in some funky spots. And there's Yo, so I'm much garbage on so the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's clipping into everything on the goddamn ground. He does it again. Yeah, it's like part of that is like what we were talking about with that mentality of like it's all. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, he's not in a good way here. There's more than one back there. He has a nade. This would be a really good time to chuck it over there. Is there two of them? I'm pretty sure there's two. I swear one was on that side. But yeah, just knowing that like I'm gonna this this move might kill me, but it also might oh, no. help. Oh, 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 oh my dude. gosh! Oh, please don't hit me, Scav. We're cool. We're homies. And Grizz is saving his life. Oh, right the now. nade, dude! Oh God. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. I'm blind. Brother. That's just a rough go, man. I'm he was so further blind. left. Streets is being so unkind. I'm so blind. I, I was... know I had to hit that guy in the ULAC so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, ears are ringing back there, dude. I had six headshots. No, these are just all my kills. Damn. Ugh, I'm trying so hard. I'm washed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's so tough too. And then like once once you're on that back foot in this game, man, it's so it's, hard. It is very and that difficult. Was, like tough position like you're fighting the one guy, his buddy's like not helping him at all until you end up trying to make the flank and then you're getting and then you're getting yeah, shot up by and then sniper all of a sudden scab, he's right? got like, like a left flank on you. Yeah. That was that was tough. Treats being yeah. unkind. Bro, I'm trying to push people with my MP5 and my P-Helm <laughs> and my pack. 
Hold up, up dude. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, we're going to sit right here. We're not going anywhere. Dude, they are turtled up, yeah. dude, in the car. They caught wind of a PMC 10 minutes ago and stopped running anywhere, dude. They were just uh, I chilling. Saw some Ooh. people play like that. I swear they hear a sound and they freeze and they don't oh. move until it's quiet again. Oh, oh yeah. they do. 100%. Mm -hmm. And uh, a big problem with that, too, is the pop. The fact that audio pops and lets you know someone's there yeah. makes mm -hmm. the game Yeah, so people bad. hear the pop and they'll just drop into a corner and they won't move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the binaural, I don't know if you know that, Katie, right now, but binaural audio has an issue where when a PMC, when a player walks into your, into a, within a certain radius of you, there's an audio pop. I didn't know that, no. Yeah, it happens every single time. It's, like, fully consistent. And so it's basically like having cheats on to tell you, like, when there's somebody nearby. Wow. Yeah. It's an issue that's going on with binaural right now. Uh, is yeah, that from rough. the new patch? When did that happen? It's been this whole wipe. Really? Yeah, yeah. it was in their last wipe. Yeah. I, I've got binaural on. I must not be uh, like catching that it was different, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'll show you a video on it that makes it really obvious. And then once you once you hear it like isolated and pointed out, you'll hear it every single raid. Yeah. It's like constant. And so some people will hear that and they'll literally stop moving because they just know that someone's nearby. And so they'll like they'll wait near like the high traffic area for you to come through. And that's, that's wild. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's uh tough. That explains that behavior a lot more though. All right, and why you see that really really common just people freezing. Yeah, yeah. it's this, Turkey's in a weird state right now where it's like either moving at like full speed super aggressive or not moving at all are like the only really two play styles right now. If you're somewhere in the middle, you you're kind of in a rough spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A majority of people also um uh, like more and more people are kind of dying down on the moving. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's Tarkov's moving in a very slow-paced direction. Yep. Yep, for sure. Yeah, I've noticed right. that. Like, specifically on Shoreline. It. You got 14 minutes here, so this is probably going to be your last raid unless you get you get smoked off spawn. So yeah, there's a 10-minute right. buffer uh, for you to get out once the, the, the timer, timer ends. has ended. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll make this last one unless I get smoked. Man... I knew surviving was going to be my downfall. It's tough, man. It's hard. That that one where you had the the seven PMC potential that would have been insane. Come mm -hmm. up had you gotten out of that one. The XP yeah. from that one would have yeah. been nuts. Mm -hmm. I'm still I shocked. It... I haven't seen Caban once. That too, man. Twenty four percent spawn rate, and he hasn't been in a single raid. Like it's not even like you've been fighting, and then you just heard him in the distance, and you couldn't get there. It's just been quiet. No, he just hasn't been there. Yeah. Which, yeah, statistically speaking, is is. Chat. I gotta run ads. I love you guys. Well. I'm sorry. Yeah, like Ed Ruff. We're yeah. going high risk, high reward. Either I'm going to fall on my face and do nothing, <laughs> or we're going to pop off. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, the name of the, the game, right? This is the raid, man. This is the raid right here. 50k this XP is, raid. This is the raid. It only takes one, dude. Right? That's the mentality you got to have. This is the raid. Every time we come in, this is the raid. Right? Yeah, true. I'm just sending it, hoping for some sort of come up. Yep. I, hey, I was feeling was, good about that pistol kill, though. That was good. Yeah, that was nasty. I was like, okay. If he had anything else, he had an MP5, too. So I'm like, ah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw your face when you opened that up. You're like, are you shitting me right now, dude? <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I needed. <laughs> you couldn't have been a little juicier? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking work with me here, dude. Right, right. Yeah, no, it's tough with the bosses with their, their spawn rates, right? You know, it's something that I talk about sometimes. Like, I kind of wish there was some sort of mechanic to spawning bosses, you know, yeah. which it probably wouldn't be available to you on the standard account level one anyways, right, even if there was some sort of process to do that. But, um, you know, like, the the easy one, like the softball I think of is Killa, right? There I, th I feel like Killa should have a way for you to spawn him into the raid because he's got a safe room and everything like that, right? Like, um, you know do something to like piss people off like go into their special their safe room or like send out a transmission that causes them to come out there right you know like make sanitar think that he's supposed to come uh like you know come do a drug deal or something right so that you can jump them yeah what's like, up uni um, who'd you hang out with on customs i could see it like if they have like their static percent chance so they could just be there in general and then like 
killer if you go into his armory and then you activate the extract and like if you do something like that Mm -hmm. so activate the the bottom door then go into his safe room it like spawns him somewhere in the map or like uh Sanitar even like you go in his room and then like you go in another room and he comes go- out. Did you hang out with but them or like did you murder them or them like the <laughs> of them spawning? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of tough on how they would balance it. I think for like, sure, forty percent boss spawn rate in general should be it. Yeah, I just nice. think like it'd be nice if it was something like you spawn them so they pop in like partway through the raid too, right? So it's not like <laughs> just right off spawn, you just sprint right there, you see him and then you leave, right? It's something like there's some sort of mechanic to it. Um, I don't know. I think it would make the game more interesting and make the maps feel a little bit more alive. And then really easy to tie those things into quests like capturing outposts and shit like that, right? Where they're like trying to drive people to specific zones. Yeah, You murdered them? Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. We fought the goons twice last night. I saw Sturman and the goons like every raid last night. And I'm what, like eight raids deep and haven't seen Did you get any of them? So it's like... Yeah, and the goons twice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just RNG. Oh, nice! You're running with Cobra right now. Nice, nice. You don't have it yet. Oh, this for his one, quest. I'll be Hell yeah! Ten percent survival. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. That's so impressive, bro. So close to the single digits. Uh, almost, almost. Almost. I'm really behind on my tasks this wife uni. I got a lot of work to put in. <laughs> that in uh, I think I have like a seven, eight KD. Yo, my. I don't even know where I'm at with my tasks this wipe. I have not been playing a lot this wipe. It has definitely been a lot. We're in the beginning. I'm setting the bar nice and low. Yeah, you know, we got to figure out where the the floor on that thing is. You know what I mean? Somebody's got to do it. I got the floor. I'll do it for everyone else. I'll do it for everyone else. I'm jumping on the floor. Listen. Somebody somebody has to jump on that bullet. You got it covered. You got it covered. You can beat me if you survive two raids. (laughs) Yo, so what you're saying is is that I need to actually run for this set, right? So that there's a chance that I could actually come out ahead of you. There you go. Absolutely. I feel like... That's the strat. If... I was playing well enough to survive. I could put up a serious performance, but because mm. I suck, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what it is. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, it, yeah. it yeah. is what it, it is. You just, you know, you do as much as you can. We all do our best. All right, it's a I'm bit. Doing all I got, chef. It's a bit. I did all of this for a bit. It's, it's a bit. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> all right, I'm rushing. All right, on. good luck, brother. You got this. Good luck, brother. You got this. How you doing, Uni? Uni, thanks so much for coming in. It's a in. bit, What's up? Day. Ral is not having the best Yeah, go fights. follow Ral. Go say hello. Give him some love. Um, He is very good at this game, you guys. It's very evident from the fights and things that he's pushing. He's also, just go say hello to Uni. Unlucky. Give her a follow. She's close to hitting that 1300. Yes, please go say hi. She, tell her she smells, okay? Call her stinky. Call her stinky, yes. All right, let's see if he can run into a player here. That's what I was hoping for. He's hoping to catch somebody out on this Absolutely. run over yeah, here. Yeah, they're going to be right below him if they are. Always. Yes, yes, 1,000%, yes. Oh. Lighting on my monitor looked weird there. I thought there was a laser. It's not. Really tough angle for him to push with the no scope yeah. concern. This is a bit of a spicy decision, I think, from him here. Yeah, I mean, Ral is is kind of taking. Try to make something happen. This is our last raid on this account, with, so you know what I mean. Choosing the strategy that he chose, mm-hmm. um, which it, again, it was a very high risk, high Let's reward hope for a strategy. Right? Had he come out on top in any of these raids, right? If he, he comes out on top on this raid, there's a, a good chance that he still comes out on top of this leaderboard right now. For sure. And I hate it when there's like trash or debris in the floor. I look like a person. Beautiful. Love to see it. Make sure you post a picture in his Discord. That my mouth hurts a lot. Okay, so shooting. I just wanted you all to know that. And nobody really has any Someone context on the other side for, of this room. Uh, for why. Yeah, I know. Uh, my my jaw's been bothering me for context. I haven't heard anything but those shots. Grinding and stuff. Um, if you see me make weird faces, right? Like I'm like ah, or something like that. That's why. That's why. Yeah, DMJ. 
Yeah, quirky. Oh. I hear a swivel near him? I guess not, because Ralph's not reacting, so I don't think I heard... I don't think I heard what I thought I heard. Thankfully, I got some meds that are going to help calm okay. it down. We'll see if it gets better. Go by players, players fight and scan in front of him by a uh, school or kind of up at the where the relaxed key spawns. I feel him before you said it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll catch me kind of rubbing my face and stuff. That's why. Yeah, I, I... It's so hard. Like, everybody's a homie. I don't know who to root for here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like right, I want Rap to retain number one, but you also want to see Ral do well. Exactly. Like I want to see Ral do well. I want to um, see everybody perform at their best, and 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 that be like how the leaderboard right. sets up. But at the same time, this is what Tarkov is, right? Sometimes you load in, you get unlucky, and you yeah. can get unlucky multiple times in a row. Like you can have three hours of just shit raids. And I think that one of the side effects of this that I hope people can see from this a little bit, right, is that it's not it's not only. Like, even the people who play this game a lot and are really, really good at it can have a string of bad luck, right? Yeah, right. Like and you can get really caught on your back foot in this game and end up in a situation where you're just stuck. You're not doing well. Every, it yeah. feels like no matter what you do, no matter how, what decisions you make, you're constantly getting caught out. You're getting caught between two groups of people, shit like that, right? Yeah, no, I mean, Ralatar is objectively very good at this game. Right? Absolutely. He's, he's a very competitive player. He's placed top 10 in several different competitions, mm -hmm. right? Um, he's been good playing the game for a while. He's got game. a lot of hours in it, multiple kappas. Yeah. Is that guy gonna know where? Oh. That was impressive. Oh. oh! You think you got him on that one? He didn't push. The guy followed up the last time that happened. He didn't follow up that time. Yeah. I think Trap might have, or uh, Rob might have got him there. Hard to see. I think there's two more. Maybe zooming. That just spawned. Shotgun Gamer got you. Damn, oh, Uni. The, the gamers will be out tonight, I'm <laughs> noticing. Are you on the hunt for Rushy today, Uni? Yeah, which stepdad are we hunting today? <laughs> I need to do some boss hunting. That's kind of the stage that I'm at. I need to finish wet job, actually. I really need to do some shoreline. You want to splint? Or like a daily or something? Yeah, like... Maybe other for therapists. I was getting pushed. We just killed one Woo! of them. Ooh, that was a great fucking. There's somebody burst. underneath Rao right now. Oh, it's a scav. Oh yeah. my god, look at that thing eat, dude. You guys, look at these rotations that he takes. This is. This is how you keep people on the back foot. He's just running right. low on ammo. He never sits and holds a position when he gets caught like this. Right, I wouldn't say caught, right? When he gets in a fight like this, right? He'll peek once or twice, but then he's moving. Mm -hmm. Every time. We got one left. Daily for therapist, you get one an HF1. Oh. That's worth it. That would for that the could be two samples, that's right? Yeah, I think it's the last out. one he's waking out. I still need my 3BTG, the one that I spawned dead. on that scav and got insta-clapped. Insta Try running a scav, uh, a street I gotta scav. kill him quick. That's all just I got. Just it. Hell yeah. Trying to get that thing done. That's so worth it. Absolutely. You got yeah. you got to, right? You got to. Absolutely, yeah. In that rotation. Oh, scav pushing in. Is that scav? It's gonna go for the player, it looks like. The other player. Players stuck fighting other scavs. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ral, it repeaked you. Oh! 
I just hear the door on his right open. He's got to be so careful here. It only takes one bullet, right? I think the guy's inside. Yeah, he's officially reached his... Uh, Reach good idea. We tried factory. Some nerds scav attack well, you. You got TK'd. Oh, oh, over the wild TK nade. Damn. Brutal. Tell Pot Belly. Oh, I, I didn't kill this job. guy. All right, he needs I to. I thought back for off. sure I killed him here. I thought he did too. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Get back in the damn. When did he get damn. back in the building? Dude, damn. That is rough. Oh, I headshot bro. the one. I thought I killed him. I we thought you did too, the yeah. one in that, up in that office. Because he didn't push you that second time when you ran away, so we thought you got him. I did a lot of damage. Nice oh. try, dude. GGs, 31 to 50, dude. dude. GG's. What are you going to do? Yep. That's a wrap, brother. All right, let's see how bad the stats are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you mean how good they are? Come on, some hey, fantastic. Despite stats. despite the setbacks, you know what right? I'm saying? Right. Uh, a lot of it was poor performance. What you gotta do? You know it happens, yeah. <laughs> but that's why you shrug it off. Oh yeah. You know you have a good day. It is what it is. It you is keep on trucking. The game will still be there, right? Yeah. Like I said, though, I did not expect. I expected it to go one of two ways. 11% survival rate with a 6.63 KD. Juicing. How many Yo, PMCs yeah. you end up with? 10, 10. PMCs. Nice. nice. Yes. Not great. <laughs> yeah, well, you had the first two, you didn't even see a single PMC, right? No, no. Uh, the first three. This is the first two, maybe. I don't know. I went a lot of fighting scavs. Yeah. A lot of scavs. I mean, you went for a very high risk, high reward strategy. We talked about it at the beginning, right? You know, you you knew that if this was either going to work out really well for you, or it was going to kind of look like it, it looks like now, right? Yeah, um, yeah. it's either going to be, yo, this is crazy, or oh my god, this is awful. Yeah, yeah, you you hit this challenge on hard mode a little bit. <laughs> I am right? proud of the six point six KD with a eleven percent survive. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that that's definitely gonna be a stat even in itself. That right there. You definitely had the highest single like PMC kills in one raid, right? Like six in that one raid was oh, yeah. the highest individual raid for sure. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, and that's a definitely a highlight reel. For yeah, sure. yeah, that one will be in the highlights. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm a I'm a real kill. only clip the good stuff kind of guy. You know, oh, there's yeah, not a yeah. lot of good stuff, but you just gotta you gotta flex the good stuff. Uh, hey, hey, his, there was some good stuff in there. <laughs> History is written by the victor. You know, yo, what that I'm that alligator run that's got to get clipped. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, the yo, serpentine, the, dude. Unreal. Hey, all right, man. Sorry. Now, now that you've run through it, what are your what's your initial thoughts, dude? Yeah, what do talk you think? Talk to us. How do you feel? It's dark. Uh, standard account sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have never owned a standard account, and it is criminal. What yeah, you get. they really don't give you much to work with, and then you add on the added effect of like you're not doing the tasks, you've got no rep with any of the traders, right? right? Yeah, you, you really have like a CMS the, the whole run. The pool of stuff to pull from when you start losing is not great, right? Yeah, no, like, uh, as a standard player, scaving has to be, like, the bread and butter. Because, like, you don't have a CMS kit until you lock Jaeger, which means you have to go through ground zero. And then mm -hmm. you have to go to woods. And mm -hmm. that's insane to me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah no, it, it, and it, especially it really highlights how difficult it is as a, as a new player with a standard account to come into this game. How especially different the landscape is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, not because cool. I don't even and think then, you, you didn't get the Grizzlies to start, right? You didn't get the. Uh, we start with CMS. We start with Grizzlies. We start with more guns, right? You get yeah. the MDR. That was something that you didn't have access to. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, that, you start with two M4s, two MDRs, the M700, right? Right. The two MP5s. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You get the MP5s, but yeah. Um. On the, on the standard still. I th I think the other thing too is um being this far into white, and having a fresh account. Mm -hmm. That is brutal. Yeah. It's a huge just like power differential between you and, and everybody else. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's something that new players don't necessarily understand either, right? When they come into the, you know, their, their buddy gets them into Tarkov, right? And they can tell them, like, yeah, it's mid-wipe. You're going to have a harder time, you know, than, than other players. But that concept doesn't really click until you understand the Tarkov ecosystem, right? There's, that's mm-hmm. not something that you can understand until you've experienced it for yourself and go, oh, shit, yeah, I'm at a massive disadvantage. This fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's huge. It's so bad. Yeah, well, then, like, with ammo being even more restrictive, this wipe, right? Like, as you die, you don't, you can't even rebuy your eight five five like you could before, right? Yeah. You're just, you're yeah. stuck. You got you're screwed. You got RRLP is like the only thing that you can buy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that. Yeah, PRS for the five four five, like it, Yeah, you don't get the big, um, like reservoir of ammo to pull from, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which helps quite a bit as well. Yeah, I think it uh, it's it's really been fun to kind of watch and, and hear you guys like comment on that part of it because like Zane and I when we talked about this we knew that that was going to be the challenging aspect of this was the standard account part, right? Mm-hmm. Throwing you throwing you guys on a brand new EOD account, right? That's you know there's some challenge to that, but not much. The, the challenge here comes from the fact that you don't have any of the things in the the niceties, right? The <sighs> quality of life improvements that we have on the the Edge of Darkness accounts, you don't have any of that, mm-hmm. right? And it really no. makes you think differently of how you start your wipe right how you start the beginning of your your gameplay well i think it forces you into like certain strategies right like i wonder now like going through it and feeling the pain of the setbacks is there anything that you would have done differently strategy wise or do you think you still would have attempted the same way and just hope that the dice rolled out differently oh i'm full sending um i don't enjoy playing tarkov safely um so regardless what happens i'm full sending for everything or nothing Uh, i guess i mean like maybe like do you think maybe you should have pushed tasks in the first half right get a few of the unlocks like get to jaeger get your cms or something like that and then turn around and start sending for bosses or do you think you still just full send boss and and hope things shake out because that's something else to talk about is you didn't even see kaban Tonight, that once, right? yeah, and that's not something that you can control. It's just he does. He wasn't even on the damn map, right? It's not like you just didn't get there. He just literally wasn't there. In this, Veronica, format, thank you for the gifted sub, Doral. Three hours, and the account does not stick with me. I would do the same thing every time. Um, yeah, because even if Caban's not there, I loot all the meds I need, like I was doing in the beginning, um, mm-hmm. and I would bank on getting a good kit from a PMC, right? Yeah, like. I would but you were so close, the... right? Like you, had, you <laughs> yeah. killed the two guys there at Lexos. You had the huge group of people at the any one of those. You would have had a perfectly fine kit to then snowball yeah. through, right? Mm-hmm. So, like even I... even when the chips are down, you're still rolling that dice. Yeah, I'm still gonna go because if it's not a long term account, like if it right. was a long term account, it would be different. But if sure. I'm just trying to see the best I can do in a short period of time. I'm going to roll the dice for large scav spawns, boss spawn, and I'm going to try and get a juice PMC. Like or you're going like to take the risk every time. Out. Yeah, because yeah. to me, I, I don't find the joy in the game of getting stuff in my stash and playing it slow. I like, I want to challenge myself where I'm chasing seven PMCs down when I came in with a naked AK. And right. <laughs> Can I pop off and get the spoils of it? I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't like, I could have played this where I was playing super slow, hunted scavs, slowly made my way around. Detached, oh, you easily could have scooped that one guy and left before you even finished off the four man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That, it just wouldn't be fun because it's like, I like when the raids snowball hard. I don't care mm-hmm. what's in my sash. I don't care any of that. I want to have those big raids and that's what makes Tarkov fun for me. So I would always push for all or nothing. Hell yeah. I've been mean, as someone that also loves to push and take those risks. I'm a huge fan of it. I think that's the way to like in general, I think it's a good mentality to have for Tarkov. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, even on a long-term account, right. You know, you, yeah, there's some longevity and like wanting to do the tasks and stuff like that, but just taking that out of it, I think you you touched on it earlier, saying that like you're willing to go down to 300k on your main account. You'll vendor your cases. You don't give a shit, right? Like it all, it can all be recovered. <laughs> it's it's more it's more about chasing like the high octane moments, the the PvP, the fun interactions. You know, like taking scavs hostage or whatever it is that you find joy in in the game and focus on that rather than so much like the ruble count, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly, because I play it for fun, and fun for me is the dopamine of slaughtering a full four man, slaughtering two more after that, like. Right. That's that's the the fun of it. So I'll I'll push that every time. Yeah. That 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 makes sense, you know, just knowing you. And on like the more <laughs> but 
just this is who you are right you're a high octane person and i love that about you um the, i think that just goes though the more confident that you get in tarkov that mentality comes because i found even myself doing that i'll be on a scav and i'll get bored looting i'll be like fuck it i'm gonna go find a pmc right you know what go i mean go start some shit like i'm gonna go start some nonsense right i'm bored uh so yeah. like even i'm starting to get that way where it's like i'm hearing shots and i'm like ooh, i want to go fuck with that right because like otherwise why am i playing yeah yeah right? like yeah what oh, what's what's the point of sitting in safely like just running 500 scavs and then playing your pmc super safe to like yeah i don't think i've ever had like over seven mil in this game right it's never i've never been like a ruble hoarder right i kind of just like i want to play to hang out with the homies right and like as i get better the more inclined i am to like want to push those fights and things like that yeah i i mean and and as it comes when you're on like when the shots are on, like on, on, you'll rack up. Like I've racked up hundreds, a uh, hundred mil plus because it was like two weeks straight where I couldn't lose a gunfight. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I'll burn through it. And you yeah, set other it's... goals, like get the key cards, right? Get the infinity gauntlet. So I played a little safer until I farmed up to like 160 mil for the infinity gauntlet, right. but I don't stab, right. right? It's always, it's always just running my PMC. You, you yeah. make your PMC what you need. And then I think that's like the, the true test and makes the game a lot more fun and like pushes that adrenaline push is when you don't scab anymore. When it's like, okay, I'm not going to go back to my scab. It's all on my PMC. Let's make it happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely adds another layer of challenge to the game for sure. Right. Uh, and one that you don't usually like mentally want to take on until you're confident in your ability as a PMC. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. and I guess, uh, do you have anything that you'd like maybe think could be done differently with the challenge or, or anything like that? Um, for what it's, uh, what you have it set up for and like the goals and everything, um, not necessarily. Uh, if you wanted to make this a long standing thing, I think something cool would be to do like seasons of maps instead of just having it be a free for all. Mm -hmm. I think it would be cool. It's like, okay, like the next 12 weeks, we're putting everyone on woods putting everyone right. on customs yeah. um, because That's that'll a good put idea. more of you know, the, you know, the overlying goal of highlighting how different people play. Mm -hmm. I think this is kind of a broad spectrum. I think it would be more focused if you did it on one map and you could really like compare even better. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with that. That's a good that, idea. That's something that we talked about a little bit when we were setting this up. Yeah, um, like, you know, if everybody's running woods, you know, you've got options. Like, you can go push sniper scab for a scope, right? You've got, you know, certain things. That you, there's a lot of bushes that you can hide in. You know, you can try to get that come up on a PMC versus how, you, you know, you were attempting streets all day. It just, like, forces you into a little bit of a different play style. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it it's definitely, it, it forces a different mentality a little bit because it takes away the ability to task. Right. I think that was one of the things that, that led us to the formula that we have now um, is that with with a singular map, you take away that you can task as a part of the challenge. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it, it's definitely like we wanted to be less restrictive to start with, but I think it would be still fun, you know, 100%. to still to swap it up. Right. And like, yeah, yeah. Do and we could still season. do like, hey, that, you know, for the next little while, it's free for all. And then we're going to go back to rotating through maps like, you know, we could alternate off and on. It's a good idea, Ralph. Thank oh, you. No, man. It's a fantastic idea. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. It's just, you know, my perspective, because obviously we're not going to play this. Well, some people might. I'm not going to play this like I have the account forever. Right. right. So it's, it's a short term thing for me. And I think. Overall, that may be, you know, just more of a learning experience, but uh, that's definitely can be like a down the line. Hey, all right, we finish up who we're going to send through the first batch and then change it up. Do what you want to mm -hmm. do, but make it yours. You know what you guys think? Do what you want to do. Do what you have fun with. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, hell yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate you tagging in and, and you know, running well, week two with us, dude. And before we All sign right. off, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about any upcoming oh, yeah. projects or anything like that that you had going on that you wanted to chat to know about. I know you're coming to Loot Fest uh, next weekend, right? You're going to be in Texas mm -hmm. with all of the homies. Um, you know, what else? Is there anything else that you've got coming up that you want people to know about, get hyped for? Uh, there's some tournaments coming up soon. Ooh, uh, the, what you the got? Hunt announced uh, a bunch of lists of tournaments that they should be dropping soon. So I'm just waiting for them to announce the dates, and then that's where you'll see me. Other than that, I'm just hanging out, running gear through the ringer night after night. 
That's love it. it. <laughs> That's what I got going on. I love it. <laughs> well, chat. If you guys want to catch more of Relatar, please go follow him. Go put on those notifications. We we want you guys to be able to watch him compete in all of these lovely tournaments. He's very good at this game, um, despite his performance tonight. There's <laughs> <laughs> the shade. I'm, from no, I'm, Katie. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was beautiful. That's it was. Great. It was you the were, best. You were run, performing, bro. dude. I I honestly I was very impressed at times. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Um. Yeah, I think we, we were talking about this last night, Rao. You know, you sick and I about you know, Katie's just not vibing with it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I do not. I love every last one of you, beautiful people, and you Katie know it. Is all confirmed. Uh. Wow, dude. Wow. Uh, <laughs> even even with my survival rate, I will have you guys know my KD ended right about where it is on my normal PMC. That's is it? Hell perfect. yeah. Dude. I that's, love that. That's so what's much. been crazy. That's two for two where like mm -hmm. some of the stats are like right in line. They're they're with, so with in the line. main account because it's just the way you play, right? Mm hmm What's the survive rate on the main account right now? Forty two percent. <laughs> so you were close and you get one of those one more come up and you would have been basically right there <laughs> one more pmc and i would have been a beautiful beautiful man running <laughs> you would have yeah it, out of curiosity do you play solo often or do you mostly play in duos um so a lot of the time i usually play in duos but i'm actually stronger solo i'm significantly okay. better playing solo um I mean, with comms but, uh, as good as yours, that doesn't make sense. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. No, it's more of I don't have to worry about someone else's actions, so I can quickly yeah. flip back and forth, and and I kind of just vibe. I get in that zone where I just shoot everything and and just live my and life. I, I think we saw it in that fight in the school. Katie actually commented on it while you were moving that you like you 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 take multiple rotations, right? You don't often repeat the same spot. Um, you're always trying to change up your angle and your your avenue of attack, and the more friendlies you have there with you, you have to constantly explain those movements, which just slows you down, right? Mm -hmm. um, having to having to explain what you're doing so you don't end up in a TK situation when you're playing solo and you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you just get to kind of like drop into the zone, and next thing you know, you've killed six PMCs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I... I'm I'm my brain when I'm focused up on because I when I'm fighting, I'm thinking about where I can move, where they can move. And I'm kind of like playing out in my head. So mm. it doesn't work well. As you've seen it, like when I'm in those situations, <laughs> the mouth doesn't, the mouth it stops doesn't working. Do so <laughs> like thinking about communicating is like here in this tiny little bit of my small brain. And then it just, it, it ends up in a, a mess. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. I was curious because of the, the survivability difference, right? You the ten percent versus the the forty three percent. You know, I, I I wonder is it just because your duo does what I do and is the Timmy bait and like runs out and lets you know exactly where they are? Um, no, you know. I'm the Timmy bait. Yeah, I feel oh, like you're it's the, Timmy the other way around. Okay. It's usually yeah. sick that's mopping it up. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. I um yeah, I just recently <laughs> after like the last three nights of pain. Oh, I got I got it up to a forty three percent survival rate. Prior to go. that, it was thirty nine. So it's only forty three percent because I've been surviving. A lot lately yeah okay okay yeah look so at like, that kd yeah. right in line dude yeah, dude look at that sexy pmc look at him dripped up dude the yeah, new face shield's so good they're they're gnarly yeah so this is you know well hey, that's hey, right man. about where it should be Th thank you so much for participating in our challenge man I, I hope you had fun uh we had a blast watching you i think chad had a really good time you you honestly uh, did very well like I, I i hope you know it was all jokes earlier no, no, you're good. You don't have to apologize. I already know you hate me. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. It's true. I have so much hatred in, in this little body. You know what I mean? I just, I I, that's what I do. I just, I spread my meanness with the world. Yeah. Yep. I hate you all. Awful. <laughs> all Awful. right, brother. You staying up for a little while? Uh, yeah, I am going to go now hunt Caban. <laughs> on you're the gonna main actually account. find him. I love it. Uh, now you're gonna get him back to back raids. He's gonna be first raid. Back Very first back. raid. You're gonna find him first of all. Don't say that. This, well, I should be saying that. That, that yeah, account's no, gone no. for me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very, <laughs> very first raid. It's gonna be juiced. You're gonna find him, and there's gonna be like a three man there that are all gonna get wiped by the guards, and then you're just gonna take all the loot. Yeah. Huge I'm, come ups. I'm here for it. Coming, I'm coming here. in that's, quick. That's what's about to happen for I'll, sure. I love it. All right, brother. All right. Have a good rest of your night. Good luck, dude. GGs, GGs. GGs. Good night, Thank good night. Thank you. Have a great night. You too, buddy. Take care. Thank you, Raw. Chat, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed episode two of the Loot Sack, our standard account challenge. Um, 
that, I mean, it's just it's crazy to think about how many individual situations during that run, if they had just gone slightly more just, in Raul's yeah, favor, how just, different the end result of that would have been. Yeah. Honestly, just one survive out of any of the raids that he died. I think yeah. just one of them would have set him up to be in a position where he might have been uh, right right in line with yeah. that, that level eight right there. Yeah, I mean, he had to feet. fight so hard for the few survives that he got. And then mm -hmm. he was constantly, I think, think about how many situations he ended up in tonight where he was getting shot at from multiple angles. Oh, uh, yeah, he's right? constantly being pinched. It wasn't very often that he was actually running into, you know, I think the going into the, the med room when he got stuck there, that w was almost a really, really strong play the guy just ate a 995, right? It went through yeah, a metal crate unlucky. and it hit the U-lock and then it didn't kill him and then the guy just had enough nades that he was able to bring him down, right? Any, so, so many individual situations where Raul was so close to it tipping in his favor and he just got tarked and, you know, it's just, it's rough. It's the name of the game. It's just kind of how it goes. And yeah. we know that going in. And he knew that, you know, we were talking about it before. Oh, yeah, he knows we the, started, the, he's, the you know. risk of that strategy, right? right? He knew full well, you know, when he started that it, it was going to go one or two ways. Right, right. Well, chat, I think that's all for us tonight. A couple of reminders. Tomorrow is a regular stream for us. Um, I think Katie and I have a couple new games to play for you guys. We got access to yeah. a free copy of a game called Speed Crew. You guys, I'm stupid um, excited to play this little game. I'm yeah, not, not going to lie to you. It's similar to like Overcooked and Played Up. It, if you guys remember when we played Played Up on stream. Um, but it, you're a pit crew during a, like, a, like an indie car race, right? Like an F1 race. So um, really in line with Katie loves racing. She loves F1. Yeah, if you guys know that about super her. super into F1. Um, I watch it with her too. I'm pretty under, in the know of what's going on, at least through her, right? And uh, we like those games that make us yell at each other and challenge our relationship for some reason. So yeah. uh, as we play Tarkov for you guys on the Yo, daily. You guys want to you know? hear me nerd out on a topic for like hours on end. Get me started on some F1 shit. Yeah, start like, talking about the, the F1 moves. Start talking yeah. about like who's moving to what team and who's retiring. Oh, dude, or and, like the <laughs> specifics of how the the car works Ooh. Yeah. or like why Ooh. the car looks a certain way that it looks <laughs> yeah dude I, yeah. i'll go off for days Katie, katie's got the backstory on the why behind every li library on yeah, the dude. fucking track dude <laughs> everybody on the grid she's got the, she's in the know she yeah knows dude what's I, going I, I know on. the the juice dude. <laughs> like that gossip if one girl oh yeah what's up debbie yeah. god good to see you you melt oh it's it's actually so hot when people are fucking <laughs> excited about though. shit yeah, uh, that's yeah. Like, I, I love like, watching like, people uh, nerd out about. I want to see the passion. About. Yep. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I think we might try that one out first, and then we have Hell Divers as well to play. Uh, we'll probably be showing that one off for you guys tomorrow as well. Uh, or depending on how which way the wind blows, we may end up on Tarkov, uh, and then Saturday. Um, I'm in the Group A B yes, chat, semifinals. Come by and come say hi for the Evasion Solos tournament that started last week. We came in second place in the Group A, which allowed us to progress forward to the semifinals. Top five of our group of ten move on to the finals, which will be on the 18th. Um, so my round is Saturday at noon Eastern time, noon Eastern demigod. So if you guys are around, if you want to come by, show some support. Um, I, it, it really does mean like, seriously, it like childhood trauma bullshit. It really fucking means a lot to me when you guys should come through, uh, and show up for those things. Literally just a, a, a yeah. little wave. Pop Col by, say hello. S say hello. Then, that means so much to yeah, us. Yeah. You can drop the lurk and you can leave. You don't even have to watch the thing. Just knowing that you thought about me, um, cause you know that I'm, you know, in the middle of, of working on something, you know, that is something I care about. Right. You know, I, it really does mean a lot to me when people come through. So we got that going on this weekend. If we can make it through the semifinal, and it's a tough group, you guys. Here, let me see if I can pull up the uh, the promo for it. Did I save it anywhere? I don't know if you did or not. But, yeah, it's going to be a real real tough uh, group tournament this, oh, I did. this weekend. You guys, I'm very excited for him on Saturday. He performed so well last weekend, and I know that if he carries that performance into this weekend, he's going to do really well um, again. So, we're definitely we're there. We're rooting for him. I I know that he can do this. Um, and I also know that even if it is a bad day on Tarkov, right? We're we're all right there for him. We all love him. We all support him. Um, and it's not going to change a damn thing about how we feel about him. So, uh, I'm very very excited. Very so, chat. Here's the bracket. This is what it looks like on Saturday. You'll be there. Thank you guys. Thank you, Dark War. Appreciate you. The Lewis drama was big. Yeah, quirky. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we've got uh, Pun Skilled, Trey, Dylan, Cyrodrolic. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't say his name there for some reason. Enemy, we got Broken Monkey, Fatty McMuffins, Jug, M. In the Group A stage, the only two people that killed me were M and Enemy. And I killed both of them as well. So we really held our own. I, when I'm, I'm telling you guys when it was literally it came down to like one bullet it was the difference between me getting first and second place. Um, after that, if we can make it through, it's a tough lineup, you guys. It's a tough group. If we can make it through, that we'll be in the championship, and that is just going to be even harder. Blue Dude's good. Fudge is good. Rip Actual is good. Apollo C is, like, unkillable. Um, Toadster's pretty good. Bubbly's good. Tevi's good. Like, I haven't seen Harmless play, um, and I'm not sure about Drawn or Franzi, but, like, a lot, a lot of really good crew uh, coming through. That'll be really interesting to see who survives the Group BC semifinal, which takes place at 3 p.m. Eastern. So, chat, if you guys missed it last week, this, is a, this one's a set of five different mini games across five maps. Um, a lot of different rule sets to, to keep in mind. Um, lots of really interesting ways to score points. It's very different from a lot of the normal um, tournaments that we've seen in the past. So it's, it's, it's actually quite, quite fun um, as a participant. And I think it's really, really enjoyable to watch as viewers as oh, well. Oh, it's a blast to watch you guys. We're playing on uh, offline co-op servers. So everybody on the map is somebody that's in the tournament. Lots of high octane PvP, great rotations, everybody's positioning. Everybody's their best kits. <laughs> everybody's um, thinking about how to score as many points as possible. They're making yep. they're making great moves. Everybody's super skilled at the game. Um, it's a really really enjoyable environment. It's like Tarky at its best, truly. Yeah. So if you've got the time to come through and check that out, it is just a, a riot. It's a, a really good time. We're gonna so. bring him a Chipotle burrito so that he's got sustenance oh, while he plays. I love me some Chipotle. Maybe I, maybe, I, maybe I will crush one of those as, as motivation on that's, Saturday. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You miss evasion. Unfortunately, you got lunch and beers with your former boss at noon. Hey, that's all right, Demi God. That's IRL good, shit's man. always got to come I first. You. Um, you know, hope they'll be thinking of us. You know. Yeah, right? I hope that that goes well. Right. Yeah. The, the networking session uh, is a is a good or one. Or just if it's just a chance to, to hang out. You know, whatever the goal is. Thank you, Dark War. You know, Thank it's important you. to remember that, like, just like we saw with Rao the day, Tarkov's Tarkov. You never know what will happen. You know, there were a lot of the raids that I had, I got lucky where I didn't get one tapped off spawn. And I saw a lot of people before they saw me, which, you know, is the name of the game for Tarky. You, uh, sometimes you get rolled over, you know, yeah. sometimes you do the Tarkin, sometimes you get tarked. Yeah, sometimes so. they see you first, you know? Right, right. Fine, so you can do. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Chat, no matter what, um, I adore you guys and I love competing in those things, not only for you guys, but also just for myself. So, um, I think it's going to be a great time. We'll see how that goes. And then following that, y'all, next Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we got episode three of the Loot Sack. We got Luau Boy coming through. Uh, he's another one of the um, kind of founders and kind of head. They always don't like it when I say, like, like the the, the or like the runners or whatever, but they're kind of like the leaders of the Black Flag Nation, Black Flag Gaming, which is a um, active duty and veterans focused community uh civilians welcome as well obviously katie and i are civilians both of those are both those guys work really hard to create a inclusive and safe um friendly place for our active duty and our our, our veterans you know those that have served the united states um and you know canadian and other militaries as well we just um we want to make sure that everybody's got a a good safe place to to game and make friends meet new people uh that have a little bit of understanding of um the kind of life that they've you know maybe led. So if you are active duty or retired personnel, you, military personnel, if that's a space that you think you might just be interested in, please consider joining the discord um, trap from episode one. You saw him and Lou Alboy that we got next week. They're both heavily involved in that community. Um, and they were big supporters of us too. When we first started, we love everybody over there. Mm -hmm. um, a bunch of amazing people that have ended up in that, oh, yeah. in that space. They've done a lot of really great things, uh, charity wise and, and stuff like that as well. They're great people. Charity wise and uh, to taking care of their own community. I think yeah. that's one of the things that I'm really proud to say about the BFN crew is that, um, they take care of their own over there. 100%. And if you join in, um, they're going to welcome you. So, mm -hmm. I'm um, really excited to have Luau on. He hasn't streamed in a little while, but he loves running the hardcore format. So I would say out of everybody that we've had on so far, he's the most comfortable playing on a standard account mm -hmm. and like understanding of some of the restrictions that that comes with. So, and Luau has been playing Tarky for a while as well. So yeah, very competitive he, guy too. So expect mm -hmm. him to come out the gate wanting to beat. Trap he's going to want to beat trap for sure. For sure. And you know, you guys may not have met him. This is a really great opportunity to meet somebody that is, um, you know, one of the pillars of the community, and Tarkov, um, you know, 
and we all create our little slice of the internet and the one that trap and luau have helped form um is a really really great place to be so please stop by next week to see luau he's uh he's definitely going to want to perform well he's going to i know that he's pumped to give it a go um we're getting him to turn his stream back on for the first time in a little while so that he can participate yeah, so dude, that's that that is so like humbling to hear right he's he specifically told us to be like i'm going to stream again so that i can participate in this challenge uh and that is crazy um and so nice to hear i i love that you guys are that excited about this concept um and we're going to keep providing new and innovative ways to make this better um so if you have any comments suggestions constructive criticism whatever yeah. it may be please let us know we want to hear it we want to make the changes we want to we want to give you guys you know uh Something fun, and something, enjoyable, yeah, something and enjoyable, interesting, something yeah. safe, something that you you want to come back to every week. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So, chat, uh, keep an eye out for the full vod of this. We're gonna, I will do some edits to it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more than we did for episode one. But episode two will be up on YouTube in the next couple of days. And then, last thing to talk about, we've got Loot Fest coming up at the end of the month. So yes. we will be in Fort Worth, Texas from the 23rd to the 26th attending Loot Fest with a lot of other Tarky peeps. We've got a channel in the Discord to kind of keep track of that and what we'll be up to while we're there. Um, there's another Discord for that, for the Tarky group that's going to be there. So if you are going and you're not in the Loot Fest Discord, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and you're going to be going to Loot Fest, DM me or Katie, let us know. Yeah, let us know. We'll get you invited into that Discord because that's how we're going to be orchestrating a lot of the meetups while we're down there. So as with that... That means that Friday and Saturday, that weekend, there will be no streams. Streams will be canceled because we'll be out of town. Yep. All right, everybody? Love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys really enjoyed your time with us today. Um, I hope you had a blast. I know I did. It's always so much fun to hang out with Ryle and chat. I love just gaming with him and chatting with him. Guy. Learning more about him as a person. Um, on the interview side of things, if you guys have any feedback, we do have a spot in the Discord for you guys to drop feedback. If there's like specific things you'd like to hear us talk about with certain creators or in general if you think there's types of questions that you think would be more interesting to hear from if you have any suggestions you guys want to hear us talk to them more right maybe right? The maybe this portion's not long enough maybe it's too long right let us right. let us know let us know what you're thinking what what is the most interesting to you guys we're gonna raid all y'all out over to ralatar um so stick around give him some love um he's a really really great guy good friend of ours and yeah you guys thank you so much for your support thank you for being here um, we've said it a few times but this was our brainchild for a little while and it's just really amazing to have you guys all come out and continuously show support and uh, just it's it's just been really really exciting to see how much you guys have enjoyed it so thank you guys Makes so much very happy. thank, thank you, you for you. being here Trap thank you so much for being our guinea pig last week I know you're excited to, to still retain your number one slot on the leaderboard um, and I know that you'll be tuning in to see how Luau performs next week so See you guys tomorrow. We will be live 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow um, for a as of Let's undetermined stream. Yeah, we'll call it a variety stream it's tomorrow. It's a variety stream. Mango, good Mango. to see you. Thank you so much for coming That's through and hard. saying thank hello. You, thank you. Chat, if you guys are a subscriber, go ahead and copy this first message. I'm going to paste it in for you because every time I do this, I'm like, oh, I need to fix that. And then I fucking forget. Copy that one if you're a subscriber. Paste it in on the raid. Say hello to Rao. Give him lots of love. Um... Streaming is his main source of income. We didn't really talk about that earlier, but he is a, a single dad. He's got a kid that he's taking care full -time of. Full-time content creator. Uh, yep. Full-time content creator. It is one of the ways that even if you just bring him up on a lurk so that he can farm a little bit of ad revenue off of you, um, please consider uh, including Rylatar in your rotation of people you support. We're a big fan of him around here. So yes, yes. And last um, but not least, if you guys have any interest at all in participating in the Loot Sack or you just want to chat with us, please reach out, DM Zane or myself on our Discord, um, and we can get something. We'll scheduled. get you on. We'll get you figured. The only requirement is you got to stream. Okay? Love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.